Oh my god, sorry. I I have to finish something real fast on the end. I always start I, I always start everything last minute. But yo, what's up, Genji? Already number one in. I can't believe it. I think well, besides the first one of my or first earlier stream, this is the first time I've seen you before everyone else too. Well, big fan. And hello, Maple. I saw you here as well. And I see I see Carly. Sorry, I was so late to say hi to everyone. I've been I actually was just taking selfies, unfortunately, and uh, uploading to Instagram. But because we did, I'm doing a really scuffed um, Kachin cosplay today, the, uh, based off of your community votes. But apparently, uh, Kachin won on both. Um, uh, Kachin won both on uh, Discord and during the poll last night. So congratulations, you guys will see a stuff cardi. I mean stuff ka card kachin card cardi ching. <laughs> kitchen. You're gonna see a scuff kitchen today. <laughs> it's 3 a.m. for you, Pearly. Oh my gosh, you've got some rest, Pearly. It's uh 2 p.m. for here um, on my side. But we're happy we're finishing up all the best tournaments today. So um let me see, I I messaged uh, Discord already to make sure that um, people are signing in. Are checking in real fast, and then I, Julia, <laughs> and then um, so but I allow them like around one hour ish to join in, so that's okay. Uh, let me know, make you know if the volume is too loud or too low because these ear earbuds are like drowning uh, everything that I am hearing in general. But welcome in, Roman. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I took a while to post the ad. I took a while to post the actual Abyss finals um, for from yesterday to today because I passed the F out. Even though we ended the stream at around 4 p uh, 4 a.m., right? Maybe 4.30ish? I went to bed at 5 a.m. just after cleaning up and everything as well. And then I had woke up at 11 today even though I was just rolling around in bed hoping. <laughs> Hoping to just get an extra minute or two of sleep and then after that I ate. And then uh, here we are, got, getting ready. But yeah, we are here early today, but it's not for you, Sun Eaters. Yeah, Sun Eaters, uh, you're on the other side of the time zone for uh, for us, right? So it's uh, afternoon for me, but it's probably like midnight around for you. And hi, Pearly. Welcome in, welcome in, Beam. You can't wait to get your ass kicked today. We'll see about that. There's a lot of um, interesting matches today, too. And hopefully everyone's able to check in soon. And welcome in, Zynox. Um, I know you, Zynox doesn't play uh, Genshin anymore, but I hope that you are still interested in the uh, this uh, speed run um, that we're gonna be having the finals today. There's gonna be seven matches to go through. That means that's gonna be around seven hours. And then you're like in a row. Yeah, Beam is also not feeling well because he got a booster shot recently. And uh, Yudia, you're, wow, you went to sleep here in Cardi's voice, and now you're waking up here in my voice like we slept together or something. No way. <laughs> oh, Rebo, thank you, welcome in. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing that you went to bed hearing me and then woke up hearing me as well. Because my voice, it did recover a little bit more um, from yesterday. I am able to talk a little bit without um, it, without my voice being in pain, <laughs> but it is still a little bit uh, tired. Oh, no, you're so... Wait, like, damn it, Leviathan, I just said that I was told that I was feeling better too. Uh, it's because I did talk a lot yesterday um, with the, you know, basically the 13, almost 14 hour stream. Um, but right now, it's just a little bit uh, tired. It's not that bad, um, I don't think. And I don't feel sick. I did I did make some tea um, with uh, emergency right here. I need to finish up my coffee from the side and then I also have water so I have many many things here on the side too welcome in Zelda hope you're gonna be enjoying the ma final matchups for today too uh Cardi your school is starting on Tuesday you're so nervous you got this you got this Pearly don't worry hopefully school will be easy for you this year around too this is so surreal you woke up to Cardi yesterday step around the same time and woke up to see <laughs> I know I don't stream two days in a row and yesterday it was a freaking 13 hour stream too be so you were basically with me from start to finish for the tournament and now you uh, we are back again for another seven hour stream. So I'm probably so I think it was the same thing for me. I, yesterday I spent the whole uh, day with you guys and then now today <laughs> I'm gonna spend another uh, whole day with you guys too. 
Cardi blessing us with long streams. Enjoy while you can, Levi. Then because uh, after uh, today, I'm going back to like four or five hour streams. Uh, I also ha I still have work tomorrow as well, so I'm gonna see if I could go into work a little bit late. Uh, just because I've been so tired um, hosting this, but. I was really excited to see um, for the tournament going so well and there are so many um, participants this time around too. So even though yesterday was a very long day, very long stream, um, I'm glad that we at least got to as much matches as we can, which I am going to talk about um, for the next ones in the future. Morning boss, good morning Epic! We have another... Um, Another long stream today, but we're hopefully everything's gonna be going well. Um, and also, Rufo, are you gonna follow the bracket order? Because if so, uh, you'll be your last. you uh, be last on your first match, which means you're. Um, Rufo, I think since you are um, friendly, Casper is here. Let's go you two first. Um, because I know uh you are also at a different time zone, but even then, depending on who advances to the next stage, you still have to wait until everyone else have to go through. Um, have to go uh, play their stages first before um, we continue to see if you're gonna fight uh, someone else or if Maple uh, advances, then you could uh, basically go to sleep. <laughs> I, it's honestly, we don't know. I, it's hard to tell. Um, and right now, I did say that we're gonna start the matches at 3 p.m. So in a half an hour, I'm giving some of uh, the participants to come. Um, Giving the participants time to sign in as well, and while we are winning that, um, I do like I said, I do want to talk a little bit about PvP Abyss and uh, how we're gonna do this more in the future, because um, as fun as it was with um, having so many people join in this time around, it really was um, stressful, <laughs> a little tiring, uh, ma making me burn out, posting all this by myself and. I think we do will have to limit limit how many entries we're gonna have um, for the next time around. Um, I still don't know how many people are interested in this in the future, and not everyone will be able to join at every tournament. I get, I get, um, I suppose. So it's really hard uh, to determine, you know, what we're gonna do next time. Because I still think um, we're st just building up um, the community right now too. We're still trying to spread the wor uh, world uh, word around. And um, and I know not everyone will be able, to, like I said, no everyone will be able to join. But there is still uh, limitations I need to start putting because each match is around one hour long, and um, not everyone is in a different time zone, and not everyone is able to stay and you know survive um, like I would. <laughs> You're gonna meet your bullies. You're really scared. Oh no, Pearly! I'm sorry. I honestly don't have any good advice when dealing with your bullies um, or anything like that because they they just usually like to well bullies just basically like to bully the weekend so I don't have any good advice for that unless you want to just consult to a adult and have them place you somewhere else um, so you don't get to see them again but hopefully you get to talk to like a facility member to help you. You should be here for the majority of it. Okay, awesome. Epic, you got no raid till later today? No problem, Epic. It should be fine. Um, there's not much we need to go through. Um, I don't think there's much you need a mod for it as well. Um, if anything, it's just doing the exclamation mark commands. I'm doing well, Roman. Um, I slept that or I slept around six hours, which isn't uh, that bad. It's still quite a long time to sleep. But for me, um, when on my weekends, when I don't have work, I tend to sleep for 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. So as you could tell, <laughs> I'm a freaking sloth. What can I say? Love to sleep forever. I'm just that good in bed. <laughs> you think 12 is probably a good number? Uh, well, 12, I think 16 numbers is safe, like Zelda said, because um, 16 members, uh, or 16 players is like an even bracket um, for for having like a top 8 uh, finals and such like that. So, uh, whereas 12 is going to be... 12 is gonna like have some people are gonna be skipping matches, whereas 16, everyone has to play through their matches like that. Um, and yeah, that's what Zelda says to you. If but uh, if it'll take too long, you can cap it lower. I think 16 is fine, honestly, because we could always do. If it's 16, there that means eight matches in one day, which is a hell lot better than 12 matches, and I could always start early as well. 
um, like before. And then after the that matches, there will be seven matches the next day. So I think sixteen is my limit. But my uh, concern, my it's always my concern if we're gonna ever get enough people, like sixteen people, um, to join in. Cause I know um, we got a lot of support, a lot of entries. The uh, this what has one um, around be right at the last day. But normally, I feel like it's kind of hard to get even 10, 8 to 10 people. But that's just, that's just me. That's just how I feel though. Cardi, it's okay, you always make me happy. Oh, I'm glad, Pearly. I hope that you get some rest though. I know it's in the morning for you, so make sure you uh, sleep early too, Pearly, since you have school soon. And welcome in, Dar. And yeah, Epic, if you are able to help, no problem. If not, then it's okay. Just if anyone has questions and you're not able to, um, Answer, just direct them to uh, uh, exclamation mark PTP of business. So, and complex Lu Lua, welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> wow, I don't have a love command, Roman, but thank you so much. I also think that we should try to schedule the matches, it'll help organize a lot. Yeah, Zelda, um, because I am the only one kind of organizing all this and getting feedback from um, Beam and uh, sometimes. Uh, actually, it was mainly just Beam helping me um, on the side as well. I was just not able to organize everything um, well at the last, basically at the last minute because like I said, I was not expecting 21 people! I was expecting like 14, 16! <laughs> but as this was a learning experience and this is just the third one that we're hosting uh, this time around too and we'll see how the future ones are gonna um, end up. I wonder if it makes sense to do Chamber 1 for first bracket elimination? Mm. Chamber 1 is usually the easiest time, but Chamber 2 is also enough for them to like make a, uh, to have a part, uh, the other party do a comeback. So if anything, it'll be two chambers. But at that time, even then, it's still gonna be quite a while to go through all the matches. Just wanna worry about, uh, <laughs> thank you, Epic. Don't worry, I was saying that, um, if I die on stream, it will be documented on here as well. It's okay, you always all. Oh, thank you, Pearly. This card break? Wait, what's this core, Ray Roman? Crazy, uh, wait, crazy? Core, do you have such a crazy long stream? Um, I hope you're well rested and happy in today. I did eat today. I had half a sandwich, so I have another half a sandwich for later tonight as well when I get a snacky. But, um, I will be okay. I'm surviving through coffee. And, um, I also have water and, a uh, tea on the side. You still feel sleepy, Maple? Good luck with work tomorrow, too. What do you mean this core, Ray, incoming, Roman? Please don't scare me like this. You can see that happen, but not in Abyss where the uh, Jesse check for each. Yeah, that too. If anything, I do think the first two chambers is um, a good timing. Whereas the third chambers is always the one where people might struggle with, especially with the Mangu Kenki. It's alright, 3 a.m. school is at 9. <gasps> get some rest, Pearly, get some rest. You still up since yesterday? You don't know why, but you can't sleep. Is it the nerves happening, Invokers? Um, is, are you just uh, nervous for today? Because you do. there are a lot of co tough competition around. Yeah, a fixed schedule is good. <sighs> I'll think about it. I do think that 16 cap is fine. But like I said, you guys, sometimes from what I noticed as well, not everyone was able to check in right on time too. So when I want to do some matches, the other person is having internet issues or is um, av not available because they have, you know, life they had to go uh, through as well. And it's, it's just really hard trying to organize um, everything. But if, the, if you think fixed schedule as in like having a separate time that they have to be here and make sure to order us, I will think about and try to work around it. But like I said, I have so much going on behind the scenes that um, I don't want to stress myself or else I'm just in immediately quit rage quitting everything. Because I was very close to that yesterday. But I don't want to get through too much pressure or get too burnt out and not host this in the future. Because it was really fun. I am excited for all the matches, but like I said, this is one of the first few times that I am uh, hosting the Abyss tournaments, and I don't want to get too overwhelmed um, for something that I want to, you know, for something that's kind of small in the community right now. You're always happy to tell behind the scenes if you need anything. Thank you, Zelda. I am also very bad because I don't reach out to anyone. The thing is, I'm the type where I would say I'll do everything myself. I don't like asking people for help. So you, as much as you guys are <laughs> suggesting um, all these ideas and um, saying that you'll help, 
It's not you. I, I have a problem where I don't like asking people for help because I always think I'm a burden to them. So if you don't reach out to me, I will not reach out to you. That's the, that's just my own pro issue with those. But I will thank you guys. I'll definitely keep you in mind for it to Zelda. And Misha, you're so glad you may join this time. Misha, are you on break right now? Um, we're starting our finals today too. Um, so I'm just catching up in chat right now, waiting for the current contestants to um, hop in. But our first match today is going to be Unfriendly Casper versus Rifo, um HC. So then, and um, before we go to the rest of the matches. Yeah, for some, like the only time of my opponent that you beat was Chamber 2. Yeah, so then you have to be like a community, uh, community time of Chamber 1 and 2. But that will be for the other Olymp... That will be in the future. If I think I am going to cap it at 16 participants um, next time around. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Pearly, get some rest. Bye, I'll see you next time. Please, good luck in school too. You will maybe recommend limiting to NA for now. That too, epic. Limiting to... Uh, uh, from. Okay, let me see. I have a list right here too. The problem is, did you know that half of these participants are in Asia server? Ha okay, yeah. Um, we have 21 people, but all the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 people are in Asia server. NA is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 people are in North America, and then only 2 people are in EU server. So, it is, it is really difficult getting everyone together in with the same time zone. Also, hi, Sherp. Um, but... But then, I also wanted to um, give everyone a chance to try as well, um, besi besides all the time restraint. And even with- thank you for the host two Davis and Yuki. Like and um, be without just- I mean, not only the- what am I talking about? Okay, so I want to give everyone equal, uh, equal opportunity to try, because we've seen a lot of amazing uh, matches from yesterday, They're crazy accounts. And if we're just limited, limiting it to one server, I feel like it's unfair to um, everyone else because they are also playing the same game, same limitations, but they just um, probably spend a little more or a little less than the other. Uh, but having someone match up together um, when they're so evenly neck and neck close, it was just so fun to watch too. So if anything, we just need to um, uh, uh, fix it in a way so it's like the skill players are definite works uh, are included so we're gonna have more neck-to-neck uh, -neck matches you can think about what will you ban for strong Yuki oh uh, Invo did you also uh, check back the old vault on when you were watching Yuki's um, fight Cardi Tigger thank you Levi then I'm just uh, enjoying my coffee right now and uh, you know basically going over my thoughts on what happened yesterday and I, like I said, I don't want to be um, overly stressed for everything. Um, yeah, I don't want to be stressed out for this event because I do love hosting a PvP of it. I do love the Cardi Cup because I feel like it's something that um, I created. Um, well, I mean, of course, I had help from Beam, and of course, I had. Um, I was. I took this idea from uh, the Chinese global community, but I feel like this is something that I am actually putting um, all my dedication and time to. And um, it's like oh, my little baby <laughs> in a way that I'm trying to, I guess, nurture and nourish it is the way to explain it. And hopefully everyone is get, um, enjoying watching and participating too. That's why I do not want to disqualify anyone. That's why I did not want to limit. Oh, thank you so much, Lorenzo. I did not want to uh, disqualify anyone. Did not want to, you know, cut down the participants from 21. Um, people last time as well but um it, it was i think i overestimated myself um i definitely overestimated myself but we still did it yesterday we still survived so today it's gonna be another long stream we have seven matches to go through so that's gonna be another seven hour of content and but hopefully um everyone is gonna um here to just enjoy their time no matter how long it's gonna be and i hope hopefully all the participants that are here today um that are gonna be fighting later um please bear with me i know i'm slow at everything and uh i know i am not the best at anything but i i will i, I swear i will do my best to make sure we're gonna get through your matches um We'll get through your matches. <sighs> okay. And yes, you have two and a half month break. That's good, Michelle. We need to find a play again too. It's been so long. <sighs> okay, I need to, okay, I need to take a break. That really got. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm still emotional because I didn't sleep enough. 
Hello, Wares. Yes, I'm in a kitchen cosplay today because um, it was voted by um, the community. And since we're doing a little cosplay stream today, we're also uh, finishing up uh, our PvP Abyss tournament. So if you're curious to exclamation mark PvP Abyss, we are having our finals um, matchup today too. And let there be Asia fights and then any fights. And then yeah, maybe. I would have to do that epic in the future where we separate from NA time zone to um, Asia or EU time zone. And then we'll have, um, if that's the case, we'll probably have different brackets and hours. Like they have to time, uh, tune in at this time to, to fight their opponent and then turn, tune in this time to fight their opponent and such like that. There is a lot of little logistics um, we could do um, for sure, but for uh, it'll take me some time to organize it then. <laughs> Thank you so much though. I actually cosplay a lot of Genshin um, characters as well and I feel I, I, I really quickly did my makeup today so it, it's actually a little scuff but I'm glad you enjoyed the cosplay rare. Mm -hmm, you try to get that idea yeah. Maybe I have a big mm -hmm. anyways let's have yeah. Yeah for sure beam. Um, I will I will work around it too, um, but I, at least give me like a few days to take a break for me to digest everything, relax <laughs> before I focus on the next next tournament. And what's the fun fact, Beam? After 12 games, only Banat, Shinchu, and Zhongli have appeared in every game, either banned or picked. Oh wow! Shinchu, Banat, and Zhongli is necessary. You're doing great, boss. Thanks, Epic. I will do my best as always too. I already have confidence. I love you and your yeah. Thank you, thank you, Davis. I I just I'm just I just need to push myself. That's the that's the my own problem. And hi Mimi! Kitchen cosplay looks great. Oh thank you so much. Oh I forgot to stand up for you guys. I, yeah, I know Sheriff. You don't know it way too much. No, the championships are just starting, Demi. Uh, Demi. So um, we're gonna be starting soon. Um, I'm waiting to see. I think a, a few more people to uh, sign in um, for the tournament. But our, our first matchup is gonna be Refo HT versus Unfriendly Casper. Oh yeah. So this is the Kachin cosplay. Oh my god. I didn't. <laughs> This outfit is really pretty, um, too. I do, uh, she has, like, the velvet gloves, but I don't have that on right now. Um, but the material, like, you could, there's a lot of detail on the material, like, the gloves right here. And then on the accessories, <laughs> oh, I almost tripped, on the accessories on the side as well. So, oh, thank you, Rokioto. Thank you for the host, too, Rokioto. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And yeah, it's an early stream today, because we have a lot of matches to go through. And, uh, let me see. Fun fact number two. Despite getting picked in 10 teams, Diona has one of the lowest win rates among the characters that appear in more than half of the team. Beam, could you also do some, uh, notes for me? Can you check in who every Hutao team that was picked and on the teams that have a, um, that have a main healer, like, Hutao was paired up with, um, if I remember, it was, like, with Chi Chi Jean or so like that. Did they actually win their matches? Cause I see, I remember seeing a lot of Hutao picks, but uh, but with the ones with Staff of Homa, they weren't able to utilize the full damage of it too. If I uh, when I noticed that they also had a um, main healer on their team, yeah, you got here just on time, Demi. Win rate is a little bit whack, so take it with a pinch of salt. I'm surprised that you're taking so much notes on this too, Beam. I hope that it's not too stressful for you as well. And it's so pretty. Yeah, um, this one took so many months for it to get here, but it turned out really well. Nice classic. Thank you, thank you, Tensa. I'm going to. Um, I was. I wanted to go top to bottom, but because Rifo says that they are um like around. For real, they're in EU time zone, if I remember. They requested first. Thank you, thank- Oh, Calculator, welcome back in. Thank you so much. Um, Kachin is one of the more comfortable uh, outfits that I have worn as well. Really comfortable outfit um, for me to wear, so I don't mind. Um, so I'm actually glad that she won, because I I would be struggling in Ayaka. Also, did you guys see the Ayata leak? <laughs> I'm ready. Also, welcome- Yes, Rifo is here. He wants to request it an early, um, early matchup. But then after that, we could probably uh, uh, go with Boy Made Evil and then Aaron BM. Because I don't know where those two are at the moment right now. And, uh, but I do want to go in order. And also, hi- Yes, and good morning too, Gucci. 
Um, oh, Gucci, I don't know if you were here earlier, but I was expressing how um, I did, I do feel bad about our um, random matchups as well. Because uh, that Gucci Z was um, originally supposed to be um, part of the tournament, but I, um, but unfortunately, um, due to the time zone, he was not able to participate in it. Um, but in the future, hopefully, we'll organize a better, um, and there's going to be a cap in the future as well for limitations on um, on the final matchups. Barbara Yuki, yeah, Yuki's Barbara. Um, actually, I believe Yuki's Barbara was had very low HP to heal, um, but they did massive damage with Vapor Eyes. Yeah, Mimi, were you thinking of doing cosplays in the future again? Um, cause this is only one of five um, Genshin cosplays I have. Um, but then I also have uh, Lumin, Mona, Ayaka, Yaimiko, and KFC Noel too. So let me know what characters you are gonna cosplay in the future. I'm very curious about that. I love looking at cosplays too. Okay, um, so since I see at least, uh, you know, um, if there's, a, is there any other questions you guys have before we, um, start, we start heading over to our first uh, uh, matchup? Cause it's, um, almost 3 p.m. But let's, we should, uh, let's not delay it any longer. Um, I, I also finished my Genshin dailies. <laughs> so we don't, I don't need anyone to help me speed run through that today. <laughs> and, and so we could just hop up straight into the matchup. <laughs> Where did you get it from? So I get it. Um, I buy all of my cosplays from this Asian cosplay store. Oh, Mimi, do you um want to give me your Discord or so? I would uh I um I could send you some links to it because there are these uh two different uh, cosplay websites that I use. They're di a little bit different in quality, but they are a couple. They take a couple months to wait, and then I do give. I will have recommendations to buy wigs from other stores compared to you know uh, these other stores. And then there's also contacts. And no, I'm kidding. I mean, there's just I I'm, I'm just very passionate about cosplays and um there are a lot, lot of little um details to go over but if you're interested i could uh, message you when i'm free maybe tomorrow or so and okay let me add you uh, um on the list right or uh, wait let me copy and paste this yeah let me um add you on and sorry it's not copying well okay let me add you um on my friend list and then um when i have time well i'll dm you i'll dm you um, okay, now the problem is how do I add friends on Discord? <laughs> I actually don't know how to remember. I don't remember how to add people on Discord. Add friend. There it is. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Request set. I cannot give you that specific thoughts about who type will be healed because you haven't finished getting all the data. Oh, no problem, Bing. I'm just surprised that you're taking so much data and uh, information with it. You're making an Excel sheet with all of that, right, Bing? Because then I would like to see that Excel sheet when um, it's available. Fun fact for number three, but not so fun fact for Cardi. Zhao has the lowest win rate out of the character that I'm hearing in more than half the game. Listen! Listen, you know what I heard recently? Zhao does not have his own dedicated um, support um, like uh, like Cairo has or Pyro or Electro. Zhao does not have his own artifact set, which is increasing a plunge attack or anything, but he is still able to compete with the top DPS <laughs> in Genshin right now. He is currently, he's been nerfed a lot since the beta version of Genshin, but he is still able to perform well in office in general, okay? So just get, just let me have them. Just let me cheer for Zhao however I can. Oh wait, but since today I'm Kachin. Hold on. Since but today, <laughs> since I'm Kachin, this is actually me with my Rex Lapis uh, Zhang Li fan. This is very uh, canon accurate to the co character. <laughs> Will someone fix that for Zhao? If I remember, um, someone does have a really strong Zhao. Um, I don't remember. I believe. Okay, I don't want to. Dox anyone in case um, their opponents are listening, but hopefully we'll get to see another Zhao gameplay today. Misha, you um, raise your friendship with me as I tell a tragic backstory to stream. Um, but I don't know what tragic backstory you want to hear from me because I tell you everything already, Misha. 
You hope Xiao gets some support one day. Yeah, because technically the only support Xiao will get will be like a C4 uh, gene. And not everyone could afford a C4 gene, right? You'll share the sheet with you when it's fun. Yeah, no problem. No rush, stream. It will be interesting to expand on this with whether the Xiao team's one or half. For example, my Xiao team was extremely competitive, but your other team was not. Mm. Yeah, it all depends on the pick for sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Tell me something you're passionate about. I think I kind of went all over that. Okay, so after I tell the story for my um, dear wifey, which by the way, if you guys have not checked her out yet, here is her... Um, here is all of her social media for exclamation mark Sorkate. Wait, how come the command's not working? Sorkate underscore? Oh, well, there it is. Okay, so she's the one that did my beautiful PNG tuber um, and also my starting screen like right here. And then um, also she did um, does a lot of amazing Genshin artwork. So I'm sure you've seen her art um, art at some point in your life if you're very active on Twitter or Instagram. Because look at this, look at all of this. I'm re I really love her Yang Miko prints as well. This one's my favorite <laughs> um, out of all the three. But then uh, she also draws the uh, she does open com uh, sketch commissions. Even her sketch commissions are super clean. Like yeah, look at this, how amazing her her art is. Um, she also did a sucrose recently. I really love the background for the sucrose. It looks like very majestic and very uh, um, fitting for like her alchemy alchemy style. But this Kokomi. This Kokomi. But yeah, um, so please go check her out if you haven't yet. She also has an art print shop too. So if you guys want some of this art um, on your wall at home, you guys know where to find her. Oh. Okay. Uh, sorry, my nose is itchy. Oh, I forgot to put the chat back here. And Jean is the only standard banner 5 star you've gotten. You lost 250-50s to farm her standard. So she's a C2 right now, maybe? Oh no! Jean is really good. But yeah, I feel like for a gacha game, it's always fun like collecting the characters too. Um, instead of just getting uh, just straight up one character. This is so much fun. You don't want to see another Jean. <laughs> I only had Jean at C2 as well. And But yeah, in the beginning when I was rolling for... Um, for Xiao, she keeps on breaking my pity, so I like benched her for the longest time. I did not want to level her up or use her. and But now I'm like buying a Jean cosplay. <laughs> That's something that you can definitely do, but this is a lot of data you need to input. Yeah, no worries, Bean. Just take your time. Don't worry about inputting the data or anything. Um, thank you for doing that for, um, for all of us here, and we'll be just uh, excited to see the matchups later. Okay, so... So yeah, uh, for the story um, about what I'm passionate about, I guess the mo uh, I guess I was just talking about po co that, talking about cosplays in general. So I have been cosplaying for many years now, um, and it wasn't really until the past few recent years that um, or, well, I guess the past two years don't count because of COVID, we weren't able to go out or anything. But it wasn't until recently where I started to go more. Um, Go more crazy, I guess, for cosplays. Um, like actually improving on my makeup skills and um, buying cosplays that are have nice quality, like the Genshin ones, like these, and um, having uh, props for my cosplays too. So I get, and I'm actually really happy to see that people are coming um, up to me and asking for cosplay advice on where to go because I feel like wow. I, I think I reached a lo cosplay level where I'm pretty proud of, where I'm confident in my um, own abilities and I'm like so excited to help um, other people as well start their cosplay journey and who don't you know, who doesn't know you know where to even begin I was like alright let me walk you through at least for you know cosplay wigs, um, contacts and stuff, uh, stuff like that and uh, even makeup too uh, I think it's just really fun um, to see uh, people start cosplaying as well, so we could. It's very uh, so we have like a similar in interest, and and it's nice to know like, hey, I think I reached a level where I could actually help others instead of me fumbling. I don't know, uh, like that. Okay, anyways, C4 Chain, have you tested G4 Vijaya? No, you have no heroes. <laughs> yeah. Or I thought if you rem uh, don't you guys remember yesterday we also have someone that had zero that literally leveled up their Shunha from level seventy two to seventy three with only like the medium uh hero one. Oh shoot, Jenny! We only raid Alpha Giga Chat. Jenny, welcome in. Thank you so much for your raid. Can we get a shout out? Yes, welcome. Yes, thank you so much for the shout out, Sherp. And welcome in, Jenny. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Oh, hello, Ducky. I see you. And hello, Kirishima. Hello, JT. Um, Bob, JT inserts on, <laughs> an insert on a 
A name here? Oh, I may here. Okay, and now Kirihima. Hello, JT Pod. Hello, hello, Kahida. And welcome in Jenny. Oh my gosh, Jenny, I know you were here uh, yesterday um, lurking for a lot of the street, a lot of the matches too. So today we are gonna be finishing that up as well. We have seven matches to go through, and I was uh, just about to switch over to for our first matches today. Um for uh, Unfriendly Casper versus Rifo AC. So, um, this is technically, we're in the quarterfinals right now for PvP Abyss. And we're gonna go straight, uh, after that we're gonna have a finishing up to semifinals and grand finals. And thank you so much for the follow as well, Kirishima. But thank you, thank you for a wonderful, I hope you had a wonderful stream too. What were you doing today? And welcome in all the raiders. Oh, Pablo and Ducky, I see you as well. And you, oh, just call you insert. So we're doing Pizza and just had to come. Yes, we're finishing up um, all the matches today, Jenny. So I um, I know you were like here yesterday for quite a while. So I hope you enjoy the matches today as well. Because we're going to have a lot of close matches. A lot of tough competition. And thank you for the follow, Insert. Um, we are going to be starting up soon. Uh, yes, and Ducky, if you know Rifo HD, um, he is actually the our first match of the day. So while we are here... You were doing some fishing? Road to 2k- Oh my gosh, I am so bad at fishing. I barely got the catch the other day too. And I still need to get um, two more copies um, of our like to ascend the catch to R5. It's only at R3 right now. Uh, let's see, thanks for the- Yeah, oh, news. thank you so much again for the raid. And they're constantly- Thank you, thank you, Neliko. Um, I have- I do a lot of Genshin cosplays on stream as well. And my community voted for Kachin for today, but I also have Ayaka, Mona, Lumine, and Yaimiko. Uh, Yaimiko is my favorite waifu, so I'm really excited for her to be released soon. But if you guys have a favorite Genshin character, let me know who it is. We are gonna hop on over to our PvP matchup- uh, PvP Abyss matchup right now, because it's almost been one hour since I streamed, and we have seven- matches to go through today so that means seven hours to uh since each match is around one hour long so that is going to be a very uh long stream but i hope for those who decide to say um check out um the matches uh give your share to your participants and we're gonna do a lot of gambling too to see which um who is going to be uh, the top uh who's gonna be winning the abyss because we have the grand prize of one of the first place winner to be a hundred dollars second place is 50 uh, third place winner, which gonna have two people, are gonna get thirty dollars each, and then for the fourth place winner, uh, play, fourth place um, participants, which are gonna have four of them as well, they're gonna get at least five dollars in Genesis Crystal or Welcome Moon. So I want to give some. Um, so this is just something of me, uh, some, a way for me to get back to the community as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the matches and uh, watch everyone basically struggling to beat our to be the best. <laughs> You're so happy you made it on time, Collector Ring. Yes, I'm sure everyone would appreciate your support too. Yeah, Rifu is really so strong, Ducky. I was watching his um his matchup yesterday as well, and I could tell he is another tough contender. So I hope you're also interested, Ducky. We're gonna be starting soon. And you love your cosplays if you didn't live so far away. I would love to cosplay. Misha, I know I love to I would love to cosplay with you too one day. Um Kasten, if you said that you would one day wanna do a ride in, I would be your Yaimiko. Okay, so let me see. see. Oh, my castle! Thank you, thank you, Jenny. I'm getting shy now. But right here, we. So the, this is the bracket um, for the tournament uh, matchup. Um, so here are the top. Uh, here are the four matches we have to go through. And if you guys do exclamation mark players, it will bring you straight to the bracket as well. Um, if you do exclamation mark PTP abyss, it will show uh, bring you up to this Google document of all the rules that we have, how the draft order is gonna go. And um, for right here. Uh, this is the drafting interface that we use while they um, choose their characters. It also has the prizes um, right here noted as well. And then, uh, so they do a coin flip, um, in the, or well, I flip the coin for them in the beginning. And this is, oh, let me reset. This is how the drafting interface looks like. So for the ru uh, rules and such here, there's only one shared character allowed between both teams, so that is Shincho. While well, everyone else has to be different from um, the other members, and there's four global bands, meaning that none of the um, parties are able, none of the participants are allowed to use them, uh, use those characters. So let me reset this real fast. And uh, I feel like this is very interesting. We join one if you have time and one is available. Yeah. So insert. I plan on doing this almost a monthly thing. This uh, is the third time I am hosting the Cardi Cup, which is um, uh, I guess that's my <laughs> that's what I branded myself. Um, but it's just a PVP of this tournament. Uh, this is the third month I'm hosting it too. 
um, and we started off in the beginning with four participants, and then the next that was back in November. In December, we have end up with eight participants, I believe. A total eight, and then uh, this time on my th uh, third uh, third time hosting this, we had a total of twenty one people joining. So it was it was a huge spike um, of interest from the previous time. But I'm so glad that people who who are not um, not only are they not uh, for the ones who are not able to participate or um, you know join and fight, they are having interest just watching it in general. So it was um, really fun for me to host, and I also would like to try it um, and make it a monthly thing along with giving out prizes and uh, such in the future. Okay, but right now let's uh, see. Um, uh, let's start off with our first match of the day, which is Unfriendly Casper versus Rifo. Please choose heads or tails. Um, and and I do have a Discord available where all the rules and all of the uh, chat uh, will be seen um, on there as well. This is where we are hosting um, the tor um, hosting this uh, tournament because they had to stream via my Discord uh, for um, for me to uh, show on uh, screen right here, and that's where um, all that we are figuring out their player picks and bans. Sounds pog, what are the rules and bracket times? Oh, um, insert, if you ch could check out the PvP abyss here, all of the rules, the drafting rule sets can be explained on the side. Um, this one, um, I, um, my friend Beam has typed it up for me and then I just tweaked a little bit of the details, but basically, um, uh, lo the lowest combined you with a player with the lowest combined time used in all chamber wins. I'll be going over, um, I'll be going uh, over how the drafting phase into uh, drafting phase works right now too. But please read it over if you have any questions before you ask me. But it's just that during the tournament when I'm hosting it right now, it's going to be difficult for me to um, answer everyone's questions or give a, a correct explanation when I know we have um, a lot of uh, matches to go through at the moment too. Okay, so right now, um, right now on our Discord we have. Um, we have Rifo and also um, Maple um, ready on the side. Uh, hop in VC2, please. <clears throat> and I know if my voice sounds a little bit tiring, it's because yesterday I had a 13 hour stream where I was basically uh, co uh, commentating and uh, hosting the whole thing too. So I'm sorry if I sound a little dead and I'm not as energetic, but we'll do our best to finish all the matchups today. But yesterday, yeah, I'm so sorry. I would. Um, uh, I spent one hour going over all the rules yesterday too, but I don't want to delay any more time because we need to start off our matchups now. But if you, ha um, but during um, the non-tournament days on my regular stream days, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, come onto my, come onto my stream on Twitch, um, or even on my Discord. Just DM, uh, message me on what you're confused about, and I'll do my best to explain it to you. But all the rules can be found in the tournament. All right, can be found on, um, can be found on the draft right there. Okay, so right now we are having uh, our first match is gonna be Unfriendly Casper versus uh, Rifle. Um, here is the side. You will get to choose your Gamba um, after the drafting because we noticed that after the drafting, um, you guys could decide which which team looks stronger um, compared to the other. Then you could bet your points on it. And so for right here, um, Rifle decided to choose uh, heads, and Unfriendly Casper is tails. So we're gonna flip a coin, and tails is the winner. Um, maybe Maple and choose A or B. So after they um, after they win the coin toss, they have the option. The winner of the coin toss um, has the option to choose uh, right here in the draft order, player A or player B. So this one um, we made it try to make it make it even as a way where um, you know player A they get to have the first uh, they're the first one to get the first ban um, to see if they want to target ban the uh, player B. Or, and then, uh, and so forth. And, but then the second phase, then player A would be the one to get their, um, I mean, player B would get their second uh, ban first and such like that. So we're gonna do the drafting um, now. Uh, Unfriendly Casper has decided to choose player A, so I'm gonna rename, uh, rename it here. And you'll see how um, the drafting works. Player B is gonna be Refo HC. So with that, um, everyone has, uh, they all have 30 seconds to choose their first character. Okay. Uh, Maple, 30 seconds to choose your first ban. And so all this is happening on my Discord because they're typing in chat right now to see what characters they're banning or um, picking. And immediately, um, Friendly Casper has decided to ban Raiden Shogun. So that's an interesting pick. Okay. Rifle, you have one minute to choose your first ban and also your first pick. 
So this is just basically we're going back and forth. Everyone has 30 seconds to um, uh, choose their character, so this is what the timer is for. And immediately, Rifu is banning Xianling as the first character, not but not surprisingly. And let's see who their first pick is. And their first pick is Xun Cho, banning the two meta characters right here, delaying the, um, preventing the Raiden national team from working at this stage. Okay, and then now we're going to the next part, which is, um, okay, Maple, you have one minute to choose your next two characters. So now that the first fa uh, ban phase is over, now we're going back to player A for the first and second pick, and uh, that will be one minute right here. So j that's basically how it goes. I oh, I forgot to exit my <laughs> Genshin, so let me do that real fast. Uh, you all soon. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, oops. Oh, tap a lot. <clears throat> I assume band characters are, are generally the same. It's it's really different because we do generally have like some band characters, but this is the first time I've seen a Xiangling band right here, insert. And um, for here, oh, from friendly, Casper decided to pick Benny and Xin Chou. So for what this means, that Benny Boy is and Xin Chou. So we, um, one of the rules for the Abyss is that only one, uh, because it's a shared pool, you can't have not, you cannot have duplicates of the characters. But I only allow one duplicate on both sides. So unfriendly Casper decided to target pick Xin Chou, so he's able to steal that from Rifo's side. And but now Rifo cannot choose any duplicate characters from unfriendly Casper's side. So now going back. Okay, next two characters by Rifo. Hello, regular guy. Welcome in. Thank you. We're starting our first match for the day, too. So I'm um, sorry if I'm a little bit slow on um, your messages. But we are having a lot of exciting matchups. Okay, and Rifo decided to pick Fischl and pick Jean Lee. Fischl, Jean Lee. Right here. Okay. Maple, next two characters. After uh, 12 8 for there are 19 unique characters banned. Yeah, there's a lot, <laughs> a lot of characters. Yes, about who tell healer earlier in yesterday matches without with a healer won two times and lost three times. And without a healer, one win, one loss. Oh, so it's still pretty even, Zelda. I can't believe you. Wait, you remember that status too? And oh, Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. I love your kitchen. It's Cardi Chin today. Thank you, Star. I love you as always. Um, we're gonna be doing our um, PvP Abyss right now. So I'm so sorry if I'm a little bit distracted um, on stream. Oops. If I'm a little bit distracted, I'm trying to your messages, but uh, we have a lot of um, matches to go through and a lot of fun, um, fun matches to see. So Maple has decided to choose for his next two pick is Jean and Zhao. We were just talking about that earlier. A uh, Jean and Zhao team. Hope, uh, Zhao, like I said, is one of my biggest, uh, of my favorite characters. So we're gonna see how Zhao is gonna perform, even though he had the lowest win, win rate on. Um, no, lowest win rate on uh, this current tournament. Okay, Rifo, pick your fourth character and then choose your ban. Okay, Rifo is. Oh, I forgot to do the timing. Okay, that's fine. Rifo is deciding to pick Eula and ban Kokomi. Oh, so I believe Rifo has taken notes on Unfriendly Casper because his Kokomi is one of the strongest ones we've seen in the tournament so far. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay, Maple, please choose your second band and fifth pick. So definitely that is targeted towards um, um towards Casper. Oh man, you feel as though if I am to join one of these, you really need to... Yes, insert. A lot of people um, realize that they need to build up a lot of the characters. Not just DPS units, but it's mainly the support here. Um, It's mainly the support carrying the team. So you could see how important having dedicated supports or having one character from uh, Gone from your main team could hinder your time so much. Kaching is the noise your wallet will make next time you sub to you. Wow, <laughs> Star! Thank you for your support. And a friendly um, Casper has decided to ban that uh, pick Diona and ban Goro. Diona pick and a Goro ban. Very interesting. We of all the characters, it's gonna be a Goro ban. Is this another targeted ban on Rifle's side? Next two characters by Rifo, please. Because if you guys uh, remember, Rifo, I believe, has a really strong Ito. Uh, Ito from the previous matchup. So is this what he's trying to target to uh, prevent him from using a, his Ito? Once again, Maple is on his path to proving wrong with the Zhao pick. <laughs> yeah, uh, being Mabel says that he's been gearing a lot of characters on the side to make sure that they are available for the Cardi Cup too. 
Not Kokomi. I know Kokomi is really fun to watch too. Ready to do a big gamba on Maple again? I guess we'll see Leviathan. Change name of people in draft. Yeah, I do. Uh, Gucci. I changed them after the uh, the draft phase. Okay, so Rifo has decided to pick Rosaria and Mona. Rosaria and Mona. Okay, uh, next two characters, Maple. Yeah, I know, um, I haven't had the time to change it. It's just that usually, uh, I don't want to change it midway when they're doing the pick and ban phase, and we still need, and, and I was waiting for them to see player A or player B. So after the pick and ban, they have seven minutes to prepare their uh, teams, and then I have, I'll give you guys five minutes to um, gamble, and during that time is when I fix up all of the uh, name on the current matches. So uh, I do have a system in, uh, I do have a small system in doing this, even though it's a little bit confusing. Okay, and Maple has decided to choose Chong Yoon and Toma. We have seen their Chong Yoon and Toma play yesterday as well, so how are they gonna fare out with this team? Okay. Okay, Rifo, your last two character picks. Oh, immediately he's going in for the Sucrose, oh sorry, for the Sucrose for his seventh character. And also, he is thinking for the last character, who is it gonna be out of all the, the remaining roster left? So far, we have not seen any Traveler plays too. We did not see any Traveler, any Sayu gameplay. We even saw Ikea gameplay, but no Amber yet. We, and there were also Yanfei as well. We were able to see Yunjin, Yanfei, uh, Yunjin gameplay yesterday too. Oh, Rifo, your last character? And uh, there was even some Venti gameplay in Ningguan too. And Barbara was also there. Um, no Klee, no Shenyan, no Razor, no Lisa. And I think that was it. Everyone else did have a, have a turn. And Rifu is choosing Beidou as their last character. Okay. And last character from Maple. You're like, cause you're gonna, you're streaming right now. You're super excited for this. Oh, Luxuria, no problem. Enjoy the lurk and thank you so much for hanging out here. You love this, by the way. It's great. Thank you so much, Ducky. I know that you're always doing, uh, doing your best to uh, clear your abyss as well. So maybe Deer will be giving up some new team, I mean, new team comps and ideas for you to try next time. Travelers to leak. Geo Traveler is honestly OP with um Jean Lee, and with like full Geo team. Okay. Maple, your last one? Oh, and he has decided to choose Ganyu! So here is everyone, this is the pick um, for Rifo and um, Unfriendly Casper's um, matchup for today. But now they're gonna have 7 minutes to prepare their team, which is moving their artifacts, uh, selecting the 3 5-star weapons to use. I will be uh, copying this image to the tournament chat. And we're gonna move to live now where they're gonna be uh, sharing their screen. And at that time, we now we are gonna start the gamba between Arifo and um and Unfriendly Casper. Who is gonna be the winner for this matchup? Unfriendly Casper and Rifo HD. Who will be the uh, winner for today? Oh wait, who will win? Huh? Wait, did someone else start a prediction already? Oh, okay. Thank you, Sharp. Wait, I could totally do that. It's okay. Oh, thank you for for helping, Sharp. It's okay. I could totally do that if you want. Because I know you're at work right now, too. Okay, so now uh, let me restart the timer here. Seven minutes to prepare. Let me turn the music lower. Oof. Okay, the stream... Okay, let me see, it's just taking a while to load from Refill side. Okay, this is Unfriendly um, Casper's... Oh! Uh, Refill, do you, would you be able to restart or something? I'm not able to see your stream. Ah, thank you so much for the follow, Snowy Ribbons! Hope you're enjoying your time here. We're gonna be starting our tournament matchup soon. Oh, wait. Hmm. Rifo, can you restart your stream? I'm not able to watch it or have it load. You just lost your 50 50 to Chi Chi? Oh, regular guy. Do I have to um, give play that song? I lost. 
to my pity to Chi Chi. I mean, I pulled a Chi Chi. Okay, so here it is. We're having both of them uh, awesome quality on the side. So on the left side is Rifle, right side is um, Unfriendly Casper. He actually pulled for a C6 Ganyu, but as you could tell, he is only using C2 Ganyu right now. His uh, other constellations are not open. And please show off the 5-star weapons. Okay, Unfriendly Casper is using Polar Star on Ganyu, Primordial J Cutter on Shincho, and J Spear on Zhao. So those are the three uh, five star characters he's using, and then Rifo, um, Rifo, please so, uh, show us your three five star weapons too. And thank you for all the hug, you guys. Um, I have a ah! oops, I have a Zhongli pillar on the side, but because um, it's very uh, hard, tough to carry it around, I'm gonna hug the little doggo for you guys instead. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Rifo is using Homa, Broken Pines, and Skyward Pride. Homa on Zhongli, I believe, Broken Pines on Eula, and Skyward Pride on... Is that... That's a Claymore, right? On Beidou? Oh, wow, so many good characters, Bandix. Yes, Misha, this is the thing. That's just how the PvP of this um, works. It's because um, there are four targeted global bands, and with a shared pool, no, uh, they won't be able to use the same characters as they want. And unknown user will come in too. Yeah, we do not see any alloy team comps at all, Sun Eaters. Okay, I'm gonna be enjoying some tea. It's so hard to decide, to try to decide who to pick. If it's hard to decide who to pick, then you always pick House Bondo's calculator. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'm going all in. Sheriff, who are you voting for? Oh, for Maple? You got the double screen working? Yes, epic. I finally figured it out on how the double screen works. I just had to double click. Time to, uh, Polar Star, not Amos. I believe it's because he has maybe a uh, high refinement on Amos Bow, but not on Polar Star. Maybe only one copy. Remember, the five star weapons are limited to refinement rank one. Any higher than that, they are immediately disqualified. Oh wait, people here have multiple cons. You don't think you can compete very much? Honestly, insert um this uh tournament is very uh geared oh I have to change the thing. It's geared more towards um low spanders or um dolphins. They're the scary ones, um unfriendly Casper. They're the they're actually the scarier ones to fight against because of the on uh, the limit that they set themselves for um rolling on characters that they like. Um, that means that they spend more time and more artifact and I mean more resin to get artifacts on those characters. So, so yeah, the the uh, free to plays or I mean not uh, low spenders like dolphins, they're the scary ones, not the whales in um, this rule set. Okay, so refill is good to go. All right, nice. Uh, tournament is also done. If you're good to go, please head into the abyss and start organizing your team. And um, and the first matchup for player A is going to be Unfriendly Casper first. Okay, so let me fix up the timing as well. Uh, so, oh, time. On the top. So, they still have a few uh, minutes, two minutes to prepare. But on this way, let me open up my tournament timer, courtesy of um, Yufu. Yeah, so uh, Cardi's commentary on toy, <laughs> Broman. Can you tell that my voice is actually pretty dead right now? I cannot scream or go crazy like um, yesterday, but I will do my best to provide you um, um, good commentary once again. Exact. Uh, yeah, Amos because it's R two. Yep. Okay. Wait, did it not lag? Oh, it was lagging again. Okay. Okay, so this is the team matchup. Sorry, it was not uh, loading earlier. Okay, on this left side, Rifo is using um, Zhongli, Shincho, uh, Beidou, and Sukos is gonna go for a Taser team on the first half. Second half is gonna be Eula, Eula, Fischl, Rosaria, and Mona. So Eula main DPS with Super uh, Conduct with Fischl, and uh, Rosaria as the deep battery, and Mona is essential for to break the fire um, of his selector. And then for um, friendly Casper's first half is uh, Toma, 
Toma, Bennett, uh, Jean, Jean, and Zhao. So double healer, but with double Nemo, double Pyro resonance on the first half to support his Zhao. And Toma shielding will be able to um, protect him. Um, Protect Xiao from uh, immediate danger. Second half, we're going with the freeze team with Shen Chou, Chan Yu, Gan Yu, and Dai Ona. So, everyone, good luck with all your points. We're going to start off with Unfriendly um, Casper's um, Abyss matchup today. And then, while I scale this higher, Maple, um, feel free to head in Abyss. Uh, here, both of you guys head into the Abyss. Wait until the first chamber. And um, start off whenever you're ready. I'll turn the volume in the background down um, so you could hear the abyss music playing. And everyone, good luck, have fun. We're gonna see. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, I clicked watch stream. It's just lag. Oh, Stratos, welcome in. Nice kickling. It's a Cardi Chin cosplay today. One day you learn how to balance your increase damage in your world. No problem, Star. I, it's just farming artifacts really. Okay, now we're starting off with the Toma. With all the bursts, um, Toma getting the shield in and now getting run in. Quickly getting that uh, Zhao burst in as well. We're gonna um, and we're gonna do a lot of plunge dangers. Nice damage around 49k on the per, uh, per plunge. Doing amazing damage already. Uh, over a third HP half uh, gone from just one Zhao cycle. Now it's should be able to get more DPS down too as well. Everyone's getting really good on energy once again. You getting the very decent shred um, on Sucrose. I believe that should be the one they're using together. And then another cycle of Zhao plunges around too. As you could tell, he's got a very. Oh no, unfortunately, he's not able to utilize all the plunge attack because the uh, array went back into uh, summoning his minion mode. Oh, but with a nice teleportation by the, min uh, by the minions, he's able to put force him back to next to the main body um, with Bennett first too. So that means that if, as long as he's able to do a Zhao, another, getting another Zhao first right here. Quickly finishing off the minion, he's able to utilize the Bennett burst and going back to the main body again. But it seems like that took a little too long to set up, so then there's no more uh, Bennett to help him out. But it's okay, because Zhao Solo is still doing main, a lot of main damage, even charge attack at around 30k. So there is a, this is another new Zhao combo that people are trying out, which is just plunge, and then hold, uh, click, and then hold um, charge attack, which is maximizing your DPS. Not, not instead of just straight up plunge attacks. So here we are going another cycle in. He does have to prepare for the next um bat, uh next Primo Geo fish up too, but instead he is finishing it in le in a minute and forty seconds first half. You like it when Cardi says run run? <laughs> yeah, when I freak out and be like, you guys better run. Oh, Maple, I am not on. <laughs> oh, you got this, Maple, don't worry. So they do have to finish um, one chamber first before we are watching the second, uh, the next competitor. So right here with the Ganyu Freeze team, um, it is a very good setup right now. We have the Diona shield and he, um, Diona shielding and healing, a very necessary character that are, um, we see in almost all the picks so far in the tournament. And Ganyu is a very strong um, opponent, uh, strong uh, character to have um, in this current abyss, because this current abyss is currently favoring towards Hydro, Hydro and Cairo. But the problem is, even with this one, the bane, the bane of um, everyone's uh, existence is the 1.8 million HP Maku Kenki in the third half. As strong as um, Ganyu is uh, for against all the other characters, against Maku Kenki, he's gonna have to um, suffer quite a bit because of all the ways that. The Maku Kenki is able to run away and also block Ganyu's charge arrows. But before we even talk about that, let's go back to here where he's doing massive damage against the Pyro Lector as well. He needs to force him into shield phase, ignoring the fire of the Pyro Mage at the moment because he wants to force the, the shield down. And yes, he got it, nearly getting the burst. If you stay within Ganyu's burst as well, um, you, you get an extra uh, crit, Pyro crit damage, I believe, with um, Ganyu's passive. So here he's going through the rotation thing, keeping the enemies frozen, but very low on HP on Chanyu, almost dead. So he quickly had to change it to Diona, just doing some rotations on to make sure everyone is healed up on the side. And yes, there is the Chanyu again. Another Ganyu burst. Now he just has to melt the um, the pyro shield. But unfortunately, uh, using ice on fire is very difficult for melt. The best one is uh, water. But we're gonna end the time on the first chamber at six minutes and thirty four seconds. Six minutes and thirty four seconds is going to be uh, one hundred ninety seven seconds on the first half. I mean, for the first chamber. One ninety seven. 
Okay, so now let me mute this audio and go back to refill stream and now we'll see how he's gonna perform um on the first chamber with his lineup it's okay star i understand if you're busy you need to go but no worries no worries i'm just sorry that i can't um keep up with all the chat too while um, midway posting this May the best king come when yeah for sure Aiko. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this as well. Wait, you're not late, you just got back from work. Yo, welcome in Shadow. Yeah. Uh we just started the first matchup today too. So right now we're having Refill versus Unfriendly Casper. And this one's gonna be um uh Refill's uh team, which is just uh Taser Sucrose um with Shali Shield. Uh, versus the Perpetual Array on the first half right now Doing really good damage already 1 third HP down with just one cycle of the burst Um, 30 seconds gone already Ooh, no crit on Staff of Homa, Zhang Li But, uh, Zhang Li, it's okay, there's no need to work Uh, to crit, guess he is there just for to provide for the tanky shield Since there is no healers besides Shincho on this team He has to make sure that Zhang Li's shield is up at all times <laughs> Oof, unfortunately, missed out on the... Missed out on Beidou's counter right there, too, at the Inverno phase. And in the first few seconds of the minion phase as well, you're not able to generate any energy particles because you're not allowed to hit that enemy at all. So here we go. We're getting back to the Super Spacer team, um, getting some good DPS down. That, uh, the enemy is about, uh, just a little bit left done. Oh no, unless he stalls like this and teleports away, that's gonna be costing him on some time regarding, I, regarding that. And there's no energy on any of the characters right now too. But he has to prepare that for as soon as he finishes going back to the main body right here. Oh, okay, I was like, it's that's the main body, right? Okay, that was very confusing at the moment. Okay, going back here, getting some, um, doing some cycles rotation in once again. Two third HP down, and then oof, this is already slower than um, unfriendly Casper's time, at least for the first half. Maybe he could make it back um, the second half as well. But right, um, immediately, Super Close Taser team is putting out massive damage at the side. <sighs> Oh, did it work? It's always hard to get in the infusion on Sucros down too. Oh my gosh. So you are allowed to have one retry throughout one reset throughout all the chambers. And um deciding that he needs a better time on the first half. Wait, 6.34? No, it was 6.43, wasn't it? Maple's time was 6.43. Offense, yes, this is a big offensive reset. So he is risking a lot for a chamber one reset now. That means he's not able to use um, any reset for the next two chambers. Wait, which person is this? Calculator, this is Refo. Refo HC. Rotation seems off. Beto probably doesn't have enough PR. Beto did miss out on one of the per uh, one of her bursts, right? As um, the array went into invulnerable mode, so that did that did hurt the rotation a lot. So, but right now we're going back through um, the rotation back to Sucrose Taser team, putting out massive damage. Ooh, nice um, nice counter. But I believe it did not crit. So here we go. Going to have to go back to rotation, getting um, enough needs to do some energy. Oh, waiting, waiting for the counter. There it is, 22k counter for Beidou. Okay, Shinju. And then switching over to Beidou again, another... Oh, no! Was... Okay, that almost missed. It's just barely grazed it. Here is the summoning the minion phase at around... A third HP down. He needs to get, get quickly DPS versus uh, the minions down so he can focus back on the main enemy once again on the main body, but like I said, Sucrose Infusion is really difficult to work with just because it's, uh, it's just so hard to control it sometimes as well and then you don't know and you can never guarantee or control where her burst is gonna hit as well unless you're like right in front of the enemy so right here, he, this time, he's doing really well with getting um, all the DPS down but no Beidou burst once again Beidou seems to have a very low on ER, unfortunately so let's see how he's gonna make a comeback with this set up Another waiting for the counter. Ooh, got the uh, swirl back in for a second. Oh, run, running. Okay, doing a raise, getting a slash, uh, running up again to stall the time. 
He's gonna need to use another burst archer to make sure that he can DPS it down. But even one burst might not be enough to to uh, kill off the remaining HP on the array. He might have to sacrifice another few more bursts. Oof, this is going to be a very intense matchup. Uh, hopefully his second team is going to do well because this is already slower than his original uh, time and he is not allowed to use any more resets. Ooh, nice burst on uh, ja on Zhongli as well. 94k crit. Oh, what's that? A very delayed in encounter. He's probably using waiting. Oh no! The mechanical array has decided to stall the phase even longer with summoning the enemies again. This is gonna be hurting on their time, considering how the array is just. You're not allowed to use a retry anymore. Oh no, not refill. You're not allowed to use a retry anymore. You can't use a retry anymore, refill. GG's. Um, have you decided to surrender? Yeah? Wait, but that was such... You could still... You don't know how... <laughs> Wait, no, but your first half! I mean, your second half! <laughs> Wait, but you didn't even want to attempt the second half too? Refill forfeit? Nah, no worth it. Oof. Uh, they're talking in uh, the Discord right now, so that's what we are looking at. In the time chat. Thanks for the try, but you're locked out of too much. It's decided. Oh, it was still GG's. Good try. Good try, though, Rifo. Um, Okay, so let me close this so we don't hear the audio anymore. Um, good band. Yeah, so as you could tell, because... um. Because Casper has decided to target ban Rifo, um, and Rifo was not able to clear even with the Sucrose Taser team, let's get a word in from Rifo and um, his thoughts and how he felt about this um, about this tournament. So um, before we move on to the next match, um, let's have a word with Rifo real fast. Um, what did you think about the lineup for this time around? And how did you feel about your first time participating in the tournament? I know it was very unfortunate Casper has target banded all, the char all of your strong characters, but um how did you feel about it in the end uh no yeah it, it was uh very well done well done on the bands yeah when i uh when i saw them i, I was waiting for the jongli ban honestly but then it went to goro and that threw me off so much so yeah well done on that one but uh, there was nothing i could have done because i already had picked jongli so going for anything else would have been worse I'm... So I I was hoping on the Beidou to uh, carry me there, but nah. I was actually Anyways. surprised you didn't want to choose your Ito instead, even with a Zhongli Ito together. Uh, it's a lot of damage loss, so I mm. rather have gone for another team comp together. But I shouldn't have picked Zhongli before Ito, I guess. Oh, I see. It was still yeah, like uh, for this tournament because of all the character restrictions and the bans and picks between the shared pool. Tar target banning your opponent is, seems to be the way to go, but you still very GG, well done. Um, your previous matches were really you, entertaining, but I guess uh, unfriendly Casper just got one up on you. Yeah, yeah, I was really worried about this uh, Shan Ling as well, that's why I targeted that, but uh, yeah, he worked around it very well, so yeah, GG to him, yeah. All right, a round of applause. Everyone's um, a round of applause to Rifo as well for his competition here. And since you have been placed uh, fourth, if you um, when you have time, please uh, send me your login information so I could go to your account and uh, swipe on either one month of Welcome Moon or five dollar Genesis Crystal, um, your choice. And um, that will be after stream though. So send me that uh, information whenever you're ready. Okay, will do. All right then. Uh, yeah, that will be it for um, hearing from Rifo uh, side. We uh, the crystal chunks has already paid out for you guys, and friendly Casper is advancing to the next stage. Now we are gonna go back to Board My Evil versus R and Bn. Let's uh, let's see if both of them are available right now. But GG's to everyone um, around. It was a very close matchup. Uh, target banning is a big point of this game too. Yeah, everyone says good try to Rifo as well. And I know Rifo is in a different time zone too, so it's gonna be a, it was very tough for him to stay on this match. Um, so that's why we went through his first. 
I know this tournament had too many participants, but would you ever consider a loser's bracket? Stratos, we were talking about a loser's bracket before, um, but I'll give you uh, my uh, ideas on that because uh, as fun as the loser's bracket is that's a whole separate tournament that um we'll have to play that's going to be double eliminations and it's very good very difficult to set up uh beam uh refill surrendered you went to get a snack yeah refill surrendered um uh, because they just had uh tar they were just really uh target banned Time to race everybody to beat Maple. <laughs> Sorry, Maple, you forgot to turn off Maple's Wi Fi. <laughs> Alright, you have to go have a no problem, Car uh, Star. I'll see you next time. Please get some rest too. You think Ca Casper will win the whole thing on your left? Oh, we'll we don't know, Roman, because there's actually quite a few strong contenders here too. But wow, I can. Let me add Boy Ma Meets Evil and also add. I forgot Aaron BB's username. Oh, Ephmer. And um, Ephmer, are you. Are you guys here? Let's see. It's supposed to be their matchup. If they're not, then we'll just have to go to uh, Beam versus Celestial Showers instead. Um, while I uh, ping them on Discord, let me catch up on chat right now. So that was the first first matchup of the day. So you can see when getting the getting, you have to be really careful when you're picking and selecting your characters. Best of friend or too strong, Smash. You're satisfied though, good bands makes you revalidate your account nodders. Yeah, of course. Um, to be fair to Rifo, a lot of people were saying that they need to raise up their support on their team as well. And um, to make sure that uh, even if people ban a, or, tar a, or use another character, they have alternatives they could use um, instead. That's how you fell in the first Cardi Cup, spent months leveling. Yeah, Maple had a lot of time to prepare. Better luck next time, it was fun anyways. Rifo, I forgot to ask you. Uh, Rifo, I forgot to ask you. Um, how did you hear about the tournament? And would you be interested in joining again in the future? Celestial has your vote to win the whole thing. Thanks, Shadows. Immediate. I, you know what? I was thinking Yuki is going to be a really strong one too. Yuki and Celestial. It's, their matchups were really scary. And good luck till next match. Yes, um, I just pinged Boy Meets Evil and Fmart. I do not see them here, unfortunately. Let me see. So we might have to go over to Beam versus Celestial Shower. Do we have both of them here? Whale Tourney? Oh, Demi, there is a possibility we will host a whale tournament, but that is um, on the side. It, it will be like a C6 uh, five-star whales, for, but only able to use three-star weapons versus um, free-to-play or low spenders, and they could use five-star weapons. So, but we'll have to test it out and see how it works. You don't know if you count as a whale or a dolphin? Um, what are your characters so far, Demi? You're playing a different game, but you missed a lot of it. You could tell uh, that the target bans um, messed up the plan. Yeah, for sure, Danny. The target bans are for sure um, a huge factor for it. Okay, since so Celestial Shower is here, let me add them at Celestial Shower versus Beam. Uh, you two are next, then. Uh, please pick heads or tails. And once and again, welcome in. Oh, do you know Sherb as well? You want to join the Will <laughs> tournament? Tony, hey, that is something me and another streamer, Winnie, is planning to host in the future. So if you're interested, please stay tuned for that uh, once and again. Yuki, yeah, Yuki is very clean. He, If you guys stayed until the end of the stream last night, Yuki was just so scary. I was not expecting such a high... Um, he, Let's just say he finished his second chamber in like two minutes. He cleared it all of second chambers in two minutes. I was just so shocked. You definitely would be interested in participating and the whole thing is super fun. And you heard it from that Gucci's. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I Cause I know you guys, you two were um, new uh, or new names that I never seen before as well joining the tournament. So I was very excited to see uh, many people coming in. I forgot to ask them where to join, but unfortunately I know since you two are in the UK kingdom and with the time zone as well, um, I, I just took me so long to get through all of your matches, but thank you so much for your patience. I'll try to host it better um, based on a specific time zone slot and also for um uh and also for um specific time slots and also for regionals and stuff so we will accommodate everyone better so thank you so much for your patience Rifo, and thank you so much for that gucci uh she's for here even though he wasn't able to participate um and thank you all for still staying here and watching this uh with me 
At this point, you're betting on your tournament. You can have your match now. Yeah, Beam, you can have your match, but I do not see. Oh wait, yeah, yeah. Okay, Celestial Shower is here. You want whale tournament? Shadow, stay tuned. We're gonna be. I'll be working on that too. Yeah, and you're not a whale. In that case, your highest five star is C2 Kazu, no R5. Then Demi, you should be able to join this uh, tournament. Then you should definitely be able to join this tournament. Okay. And you pick, uh, but excuse me for, oh, okay. Beam says be right back. Celestial's gonna pick Tails. No problem. Don't say, I'm sorry, Info. Okay, no, no lie, Info. You are really strong too. Like, you are also one of the um, participants that I was very nervous about or like, um, thought had a really good game, uh, gameplay while I was watching uh, yours versus Yudia. But I don't know, maybe the, la the last match just stuck with me for uh, a longer time because that, oh man. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Uh, don't have have confidence info go back we watch yuki's old vod and to target ban him because as you could tell if you target ban a character that will hinder them so much okay beam is ready right now all right we're gonna go on to the second match for today which is beam versus celestial shower beam uh i mean celestial has chosen tails so we're gonna go ahead and roll the coins and it's heads beam choose a or b so now since we're resetting the tournament, um, resetting the pick and ban phase again, let's go back to here, go back to and here as well. We're pretty new on the streaming scene and thank you for considering us. Hopefully you could do this again. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. I'm glad to see your interest and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the future. And I'm excited to see um, how see that you guys um, enjoyed your time here as well. Hopefully you'll be far ahead enough in the game to hopefully press like, And yeah, Roman, for sure, in the future. And thank you for Lord Jenny, and thank you so much for your raid, too. Um, I know, because people did spend a few months, um, since Unfriendly Casper was here from the first Abyss tournament, he spent the next few months, um, gearing up his characters and his supports in preparation for, just for today, and for the future tournaments. So, it does take a long time to grinding, but what you should be definitely concerned about, worry about, is gearing your support and a few main DPS around. Okay, so... Okay, Beam has chosen to be player B, so let me change this real fast. Player B, oh, oops, Beam. So, and then player A is gonna be Celestial. Okay, Celestial, 30 seconds for your first ban. Immediately, Celestial went for the Albedo ban. If you guys don't remember, Beam actually has the C2 Albedo. His Geo team is very strong together. That's like um, Celestial's target banning Beam. Okay, and uh, next minute, um, please choose your first ban and first pick, Beam. <gasps> what the heck, King Goo? Why'd I see you in here? Uh, oh, hey, Julie, welcome in. Welcome in. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted, but we're going to be fit, um, doing um, our Pista tournament right now. Beam is gonna immediately ban Bonnet and pick Xingqiu. Another popular choice right here. Xingqiu pick and a Bonnet ban. Okay. Next uh, two characters by uh, Celestial. Okay, it's okay. You just want to see what's going on. Uh, we're playing a little game with PvP Abyss um, right now. So it's player versus player. And all the participants are um, a few viewers and new friends in chat at the moment too. So this is uh, what I'm hosting today. And we're going to have a lo um, lots of in interesting matches. Okay, so last year decided to pick Ayaka and Shincho. Where's Ayaka right here? And stealing uh, Shincho from um, Beam as well. That's going to be their shared character of the day. Our shared character of this matchup. Okay, next two characters, Beam. So, from everyone has decided to choose Ben, I mean, no, choose Shincho as the shared character of all of their matches so far. Because he is just so strong in the, um, in this current abyss and just as a support in general. And Beam already decided to pick Fischl and Zhang Li. Fischl and Zhang Li. Is he going for the national team? Ah, uh, Zhang Li has not been picked yet. Okay. Next two characters, Celestial. Pick Raiden and Xiangling. Oh, um, Celestial themselves also have a uh, Raiden and Xiangling team combo together, as well preventing Beam from from pre uh, preventing Beam from their nation national team. Let's see. Okay, and then uh, pick your fourth character and second band Beam. So let's see how the rest of Beam's pick is gonna go. Is he still gonna be sticking with his Geo team with Noel before? Or what are they gonna do with uh, maybe a Sucrose Taser team with Shincho Fischl? Okay. 
Well, this is going on. Let me see some less. Let me see if I could change the name real fast. Beam has is going to pick Kokomi. Kokomi as one, as fourth, and banning Ganyu from the team. Ganyu is once again a very strong contender um, in this abyss too. But since Celestial got Ayaka, is she that worried? I mean, are they that worried without having a Ganyu? Okay, uh, the second ban and your fifth pick, Celestial. Okay, second is going to player B is Beam. Ooh, Celestio is gonna ban Noel and picking Diona. Okay. Beam, next two characters. Which madman banned Kokomi? Oh, it was not a Kokomi ban. It was a Kokomi pick. Beam has chosen Kokomi to be a part of his team. Just ban Amber? <laughs> Forget Bennett, Amber is the real meta. Okay, Beam is deciding right now. There's two characters he has to choose. 30 seconds left. Hey, it's been a while since you joined us. No problem, Cloudy. Welcome in, welcome in. We're having a little tournament right now too, so I'm sorry if I'm a little distracted. Beam has decided to choose Sucrose and Rosaria. But I hope you're having a wonderful day, Cloudy. Oops, you got me three times. Okay, next two characters, Celestial. Okay, so for last night, uh, Sucrose is gonna make an appearance um, for this team. Uh, are we gonna see... Ow, I bit my tongue. Are we possibly gonna be seeing a Beidou from Beam next time around? Or will Celestial... Or which characters will Celestial do to support uh, his um, Gan... His Ayaka and Raiden team comp? Oh, pick Mona and Shunha. Another good choice, R Shunha. I mean, Mona with their Omen debuff with a freeze comp. And Shunha to increase Ayaka's damage too. Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Okay, Beam, next, your last two characters. You're having a pretty good day, what about you? Uh, my throat is <laughs> is once again uh, hurting, but I've been drinking tea to warm it up, but I'm having a nice us. I'm having a nice day as well, Cloudy. We're having a lot of interesting matchups for today, too. This is going to be the second one um, for our tournament bracket right here, Beam versus Celestial. So let's see how everyone do today. And while that, hopefully the other uh, people, Yuki and... I know Info was here, but I don't know where Yuki is. And Born May Evil and Ephemer, I have not gotten any message from them yet. Jean and Kaya as the last two from Beam's side. Jean and Kaya. Alright, and then Celestial. And your last character, Celestial. Oh, man. Looking at this team right here. It's gonna be another fun, interesting matchup, too. We haven't seen... Uh, this is the second time we saw Kaya as a pick, I believe. And Celestial is gonna end it with a child. I mean, with Childy. <laughs> so this is their uh, matching um, for today. Uh, the character picks and bands. I will post this in the Discord right now. And if you guys uh, want to go see it, I mean, not. Uh, and uh, we're gonna set up um, a prediction. So bet your points on who do you think is gonna be the winner of this matchup. Okay, let me move them here. Okay, please share screen when you're ready and also show. Uh, let me know which three five star weapons you're using. Okay. So right here, Kartika, this is the matchup. I'm gonna start a prediction uh, with Celestial Shower versus Beam. Five minutes for your um, for your prediction, and then they're gonna have seven minutes um, to organize their artifacts and weapon. Okay, Beam is decide. Oh wait, Beam is logging in right now. No, but I don't get. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Cloudy. I'm drinking warm tea right now with some emergency as well. So, uh, it's um, and I do have work tomorrow, but hopefully the stream does not go into too late, and I can get some rest. <laughs> but I'll do, I'll be doing fine. Thank you so much, Cloudy. Okay, let's 
Let's see. Uh, we are waiting for. Can I watch stream now? Yes, I can. Okay, let me pop out here. So this is Beam's side. We may leave at any time. And waiting for Celestial to share screen. And while I do that, let us. Oops. Uh, let me double check to make sure all the characters okay. Cardi two point one. Uh, so let's do. Okay, everyone is uh using the right characters. Celestial, could you share a screen? Oh, thank you. Okay, there we go. So here it is. We have both characters on the side. Um, they're checking their weapons, checking their artifacts once more. Um, Mona is actually using four-piece tenacity set, from what I saw. Um, two-piece nobles, two-piece retraction bolide on um, Rosaria. The catch on Janling, I think that's her best in slot weapon right now as well. Sacrificial for Shincho as always. Very necessary. Four piece very distant on Jean for beam side. 10k for being you believe. <laughs> Don't let me down. <laughs> Good luck with your gamba, everyone. Oh, MD4. Uh let me put up the timer again right here. Using stat oh wait, polar star on Tartaglia. Um for for Celestial side, Miss Blader on Ayaka. And what was the third weapon? I'm sorry, Celestial. What was the third weapon? Polar Star and also Miss Blitter? Oh, Staff of Homa on Raiden. Okay. Okay, thank you. Wow, first time... Um, I believe they were also using Staff of Homa on Raiden as well. I don't know exactly how good this is gonna be, but I guess we're gonna have Celestial test that out for us. And so for their... Um, and uh, so they're gonna already heading into the abyss. Let's see what team comp they are gonna should be showing us today. And since the first uh, player A is Celestial Shower, they're the ones gonna be starting off the tour. Um, they're the ones that will start off um the matchup uh first. Okay, so the first team is gonna be yes the Raiden National Team on their end. Another strong team. Wait, uh, making sure. Wait a minute. Celestial, but net is banned. <laughs> okay, okay, just in case. <laughs> Making sure. <laughs> okay, there, we almost had, we almost missed out on that, you guys. Bennett was banned, um, and it was part of the global ban, so no one is allowed to use it. So instead, they are using the Raiden Chili, um, Xinchou, and also, uh, Xianling team. Uh, this is gonna be a very strong team comp, but also dangerous. Team comp, team comp, but also dangerous, because there's no healers except for Xinchou, and they have to rely heavily on dodging. Second half is gonna be the... The freeze team, the um, Ganyu, I mean, sorry, not Ayaka, Mona, Diona, and Shenha team. So it's gonna rely heavily on freeze damage, but with Oma, um, Omen Deepa from Mona, she pairs really well with um, Ayaka and, Sh and uh, Shenha too to support Ayaka. So this team is centered around um, Ayaka DPS. And now Beam is still working on his artifacts and gear, so let's see where he is gonna go on. <laughs> You're very interested in watching this? Yes, I hope so too. I hope everyone is having fun um, watching this because it looks like um, we're going to have a lot of interesting matchups where the top dogs are basically going to be fighting each other. And we'll see who's going to be going into the final round because we do have... Let's see. If you do exclamation mark, exclamation mark players, you could see the bracket and how the matching uh, the matchups happen so far. Right, a national happen. Yeah, that's definitely an OP team. But because Bennett is immediately banned, he, they have to change, um, switch out Bennett to a uh, Tartaglia. All of your CP on Bing, please don't lose. Much, much good luck to you too, Roman. Oops. Oh. Oh, I guess one of my Kachin thing fell. Sag, I'll fix the cosplay later. 
<laughs> but good luck to all of you guys betting the points, and especially good luck to both of the participants. It's gonna be um, crazy seeing how this team is gonna work out. Uh, Beam is still fixing up his artifacts, fixing up his weapons on Zhangli Kokomi. Okay, so Elegy on Fischl, and I believe that was around it. What other five stars, Beam? Elegy on Fischl, and who else? Beam, did you only have Elegy on Fischl? Oh, <clears throat> oh Skyward Blade on Shin Cho. Okay, that's two, and... Deathmatch on Rosaria. Oh, the death match is a four star, so the battle pass weapons are completely fine to use. They have less than a minute. Okay. Ooh, it's choosing uh, the most important thing: cosmetic. Which Rosaria skin to use in the abyss? Okay, you have thirty seconds to head into the abyss beam. I got the sippy. Thank you, Cloudy. LG official and Skyward Blade only. Okay, you got it. Thank you so much. Okay, so now Beam's team on the side is going to be... Let's see, let's see it. <laughs> Boba Rosaria. <laughs> yeah, they had to decide which uh, Rosaria skin to use. Did you guys prefer the new Rosaria skin or the old one? Okay, Beam's first half is gonna be, um... Sucrose, Fischl, Zhongli, and Kokomi. Uh-huh, another Taser team comp, um, on the side. And second half is gonna be Rosaria, uh, Shincho, Keia, and Jean. Alright. Okay, and since player A... Alright, since player A is Celestial, we're gonna watch Celestial's, um, fight up first. Okay, and then while we do that, let me bring the screen back up. And I'll turn off the music. Alright, so immediately, uh, without wasting any time, Celestio is going to go in with the Raiden, Shogun, Torchaika, national, half a national team. Oh wait, you like the new skin? Old one, new so half a but the new- Oh wait, hold on, I'm getting you started. Alright, so here we are, we're getting immediately some damage from... Oh my gosh, that audio. Is anyone hearing us? That clicky, clicky sound too? But it's because, um, Chao is doing too much electro damage with the right and support that it's messing up my audio sync right now too. But instead, I already one rotation down and getting a third HP if 30 seconds pass by, which is very, a really good time already by, um, by Celestial. And then he's gonna be switching over back to Chili again with some melee damage against, um, Polar Sword Child, by the way. But his best installed weapon at the moment, as you could tell. Look at that damage he can do without even even forcing it into the minion phase properly in just a second now that two dirt HP is already down He's gonna be changing up soon charging attack long cooldown on child's E But it's okay because with the right rotation and using a uh, right uh, Shogun's um burst too Which is look at that full burst circle on her side. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage soon And there is we're gonna have another rotation in with Shincho and now we're gonna have another with Shanling. Ooh, Shanling just a little bit low on ER, so instead of using that, they're gonna be focusing on uh, Electro Charge uh, Raiden with Shencho, quickly DPSing the um, DPSing the minion down to Super Sentinels, and now going back to uh, wasting no time switching to Shanling, and then going back to doing some rotation, getting some ER. Ooh, another Shencho at first, and going and now let's see, um, not a not too big of a crit, but still really good damage with just 55k. Uh, that uh. First on child, and now switching over to Rhino, hopefully getting some ER back um, for all the team. And they're gonna be finishing, finishing the first half in about 1 minute and 40 seconds. That seems to be the average time for everyone um, with the first chamber. And now we'll see how the second chamber is gonna do. The new one feels kind of necessary. I think they just use it too high. Uh, there's a lot of their limitations in China, which really sucks. Okay, sorry. Anyways, we're going back with all the bursts going in for support DPS. Ayaka of Shenha is the best, um, also one of the best supports um, with uh, Ayaka right now. And with Miss Blitter going on too, Ayaka's putting, fishing out a lot of damage on all three of the uh, Geo Wolves. 
charge attack going on, getting some rotation in right now, getting some ER in, Sa uh, sacrificial bow on uh, Diona, one of the best, uh, her best in slot weapon as well. Okay, now that the three doggy doggos are down, we're going to be focusing on the um, best herald, uh, pyro herald, and quickly getting getting some quick work of that um ayaka burst down already half hp is gone from the Abyss herald gonna be forcing him into the shield phase soon uh first and then focusing on both of them at the moment is he gonna use an omen burst no he's not not yet but he's keeping him frozen while he does some extra damage on the side it's, but it's not gonna be a three star clear on this second on this time around because the shield phase um is around a 20 second uh, takes about 20 seconds for you to clear everything here. So let's see. Let's put see Mona put out some work on the side quickly getting all the damage as much possible using the sprint dash um, as well to get the extra damage even though they're playing dangerously close to one. But it's okay. Because right now they are important uh, caring about the time and they always have Diona shield and heal on the background on the side too. So right now quickly almost there. Uh, they are going to finishing this um, top chamber at 6 minutes and 39 seconds. 6 minutes and 39 seconds. That's 2.01. Okay, and let me turn this audio and go back to beams. Oh, <laughs> Shadow likes the old one. You'll beg for fishnets. Who in the right mind bet on you? Wait, what do you mean, beam? Everyone is supportive of each other. So it seems like half and half on the new and the old Rosaria skin. I actually like the old one more, too. Oh wait, sorry, it's really off. Let me turn it down. Rise. This is order. Charge attacks on Shogun is more DPS to get from her. Yes. Yeah, you just realized that you have the wrong art at Big Sash. Oh no, Beam! <laughs> oof, moving with 7 minutes can't not even get the right artifacts down. That's definitely a big oof. Alright, here we go with the Kokomi uh, Sucro Special Taser Team with Shanli Support Access Shield. So Kokomi is really good with able to um, healing and creating um, electro charge reaction as well. She is, um, even though everyone was saying that she was bad when she first came out because she's with, Kokomi was not able to, rent, to crit, she is actually um, a good supplement for a lot of the um, freeze and uh, freeze and taser team right now too. And as you can see, um, Beam is putting work with her Koko uh, with her Kokomi, using facial support and then uh, getting that first on to quickly DPSing the first area. Ooh, I've said that uh, the perpetual array has summoned their minions, so that goes a timing. Oh, they're gonna be using a offensive reset to get the timing right for the first half. So after that reset, Beam is not going to be able to use a uh, reset anymore. So that means he has to play it very safe on both of his teams for, um, for the rest of the chamber. So he does not lose any members. This offensive reset strategy seems to be uh, something very common now. And since uh, every second counts um, for the uh, quarterfinals right now. So here we go again with the rotations and putting the jellyfish down, getting Sucrose, um getting some sucrose in where's the bur uh okay so Oz is already down getting the burst on kokomi and immediately doing some dps damage look at that 10k um electro charge from fishel as well here it is we're gonna be three summoning again Shinxin? um yeah beam is uh is uh offensive resets brave move very brave indeed he has to be very confident in his skills and also in his dodging if he wants to make sure that he gets a better timing for this. Because in um, Abyss, a lot of it is also RNG, depending on where the enemies are going to summon, when they are going to be summoned, and what attack moves they are going to be used. Ah, oh, Jenny, welcome back to Yeah, very brave move by him indeed. But he has been taking note that other people have used offensive resets, so he is following in their footsteps. So now we're gonna be uh, having the cycle going on again, um, getting the pyro infusion on Sucrose Disperse, going in with the electro charge again. Uh, array is around half HP now, immediately getting quick work of Kokomi a minute and, and 15 seconds has passed by. Let's see how well we could fa uh, be finishing this first chamber at least within the next 30 seconds. We'll see, we'll see. He has to get his uh, good energy recharge for every character down. Getting lots of bursts on Sucrose. Oof, is that gonna be a Zhongli burst? Yes, it is. And now, while he's is absorbing some minions, he's still able to attack the Petro arrays. 
see another Kokomi burst gonna be charging all of the uh, DPSing all of that. He's gonna be flying up near dodge or just tank it with uh, Jean Li's shield. That's fine. Another quick DPS work and he is gonna be a lot around the same time. Maybe just a little bit slower for the first half at around two minutes. Yep, at around two minutes for the first half. Oh, welcome back, Leviathan. Let's see. <laughs> Ring cutter. Right here is the oh Rosaria Kaya Jean uh, team. Jean is using the very decent shred as uh, very decent set set on um, that on um, this team as well with the pestering desire. Nice choice on them. Good for energy recharge and getting the extra damage um, for Cairo and Hydro together. <laughs> so this is another freeze team with just uh, mainly four stars and focusing a lot on rotation. Not on a big, uh, on a main DPS, but right now they're making quick work of the Dendro Mage, putting uh, some freeze, uh, freeze lock on the uh, uh, fi Pyro Hero, focusing on the Hydro, Hydro skill instead. Another bur uh, another burst by Jin, keeping everyone nice and healthy. Gonna be uh, switching over to Kaya, getting the burst down. And then another, ooh, yes, putting them together in a nice way. Oh, and just putting them up. But it's okay, kill the uh, this mage at the end. And now we're going back to keeping the freeze lock for the Abyss Herald. Uh, but he does need to uh, let him... Oh, yes. Now he's gonna switching over to the shield phase. Shield oh, no! That is gonna cost him some time. Even if you freeze them during the timing for the Abyss Herald, that was gonna delay them for a few seconds. But in, right now, it's already uh, a dark shield down for the uh, water light. I mean, fire lighter. Gonna be needing, uh, relying on Shinchu a lot to break in the shield. Almost down. Just keep uh, needing a little few more hits for uh, prepping for next round, and he's gonna be ending it at six twenty nine. Six twenty nine. So it's about ten seconds. Oh, what? Uh, continue. Six twenty nine. Just ten seconds slower, but still a very oh two a line. That's still a very close matchup by just a ten second difference. Okay, we're going back to celestial now. You're scared and you're not even part of it, Cloudy? Yeah, this is what makes it exciting, right? Because we're watching this happening, even though it's not to us. Okay, now Celeste is Celestial's turn with their Ride and Chili national team. Okay, so right now getting some energy back for all of the characters um, while the Geo Bishop stands up and you can't do any big burst on him at the moment. So now we're going back to here getting the Shanley. Oof, oh no, Shanley's looking very low right now. Um, so going to child burst and then going getting some rotation in with all of that um, elemental reaction. They do not have any shield, so they have to rely on dodging um, against this. And without a shield in the Geo Fish app um, phase, that means you're going to be losing a lot of DPS without countering his shield. So now they're relying strictly on all of their um, just pure damage. Relying strictly on pure damage, getting some um, ER back in. Raiden is doing a lot of damage with Shincho's support too. And then as soon as her, uh, her first energy unit is going to switch over to Shanling and then switch over to Tartaglia, getting another burst down. Ooh, was, I was not able to see the damage. <laughs> oh, but then they're still doing quick work of within one minute down, almost half HP is over. Um, half HP is almost done uh, with this new Bishop. Switching over to Raiden. No crit on Raiden, unfortunately. But they are getting the energy back for all of their characters right now, too. Okay, switching. Yes. Getting a lot of rotations in, just one crystallized shield. Nice for Xiangling burst, uh, switching over again to Tartaglia. He seems to have a really strong rotation going on. Um, all their energy recharge is very um, doable. Oh, no, oh, another shield counter, and then he has the crystallized reaction. But instead of uh, relying on that, he's gonna do a Raiden burst, and this Raiden burst should be enough to finish. Um, the Geo Fish up, or will it? Because the uh, all the bursts for Shinchou and also Shanling ran out, so it was just pure electro support. So here, but he still managed to do it. But be careful! All of his characters are looking, or two of his top support is looking very low right now, and this is gonna cost him on his time, ending it at 8:03 for first half. Abyss. 
It's okay, Bim. Okay, now we're having both um, the I Super Ayaka support team versus the two Water Heralds. These are gonna be very. Uh, this is gonna be a very good timing on his end because we're just gonna be three Cairo characters here, and I'm able to break the first phase. I mean, I got to break the shield phase, and right now they're going back and forth at it, and you need a good RNG to make sure both of them are, uh, good RNG to keep them both together as well. Oof. Got one hit, but it's okay, because then he's gonna be focusing, one of them is gonna be, uh, really immediately switched over to the shield phase, and now he's gonna be focusing on the second one, hopefully able to get them down together at the same time. Oh no, oh no, getting that stun lock is gonna be costing them some extra time as well. Switching over around back to Ayaka main DPS. Keeping them frozen. Yes, and that should be enough to break it. Uh, enough to force the other one to shield face. Yes. Shenha is using, um... He is using a hold E from Shenha from what it looks like. But from what I heard, C0 Ayaka is good with just tap E. Shenha, right? We'll see how it goes. But at least his, if this team is looking very safe. Um, for both of the, uh, part for everyone's HP too because of Diona there. And now with one of his Herald down and the second one following closely behind, we're ending the team uh, the time here at 633. 633. So that puts them at 207 time. Sorry, there was a play. You can tell if you're excited or scared or both. Oh man, this is nerve-wracking nerve for both sides for sure. We already have Beam accidentally using the wrong artifacts on Zhang Li. And we'll see how he's gonna... Um, but it's dangerous because uh, Cloudy's uh, first half between for Zhang Ling and Xin Chu are only a sliver HP away from death. Okay. And then now we're going to Beam's second half. Let's see how well he's gonna do, uh, perform on this round. Getting some energy from Zhongli with the Favonius land. Since Kokomi still does not have any ER right now. Oof. Was still a little too early with the Zhongli burst, so was only able to do 3k damage. So now, but everyone has their burst up, so it's going switching over to Sucrose and then Fischl. Are not okay. Now it's going to Fischl and then to Kokomi burst, and then with the shield he's able to get some extra damage down on a Primal Geo Bishop. That's why having a shield against the Primal Geo, Geo Bishop is really good because that's extra DPS you get to take. I've seen people clear this chamber in just one, within one minute too. Can Beam also follow that rule? Or no, from what it looks like, at least half HP is going down. Another uh, more damage by Sucrose getting that elemental swirl going on. And then another Shan Lee burst as well. But no crit on him. Switching over back to Kokomi and then Fischl, another shield counter. Yes, look at that damage. Okay, uh, one minute has already passed, but he is almost done with just the first half of the chamber. Look at the, uh, all the damage putting out through uh, with Kokomi and Fischl. John Lee, uh, shield just in case to make sure everyone is safe. Getting some energy recharge for the next half and ending this out. One minute and 15 seconds. Very fast, very fast for the, um, for the first half. First team should be super strong for Dirt Chamber 2. Yeah, for sure. Great run. Yes, we're gonna see. This is Beam's chance to have a comeback and uh, this is Beam's uh, opportunity to, to widen the gap if he's able to clear the two heralds with um, Shincho, Keia, and Jean. Okay, both of them are grouped up together. Is he able to freeze them at the same time? Almost. Yes, he is able to freeze them at the same time, getting some energy recharge on Rosaria as well. Nice damage for both the teams, keeping them stun locked at the moment. Let me leave you okay, there is the Shincho burst as well, switching to uh, Jing for the Fairy Dustin Shred. Again, ooh, and, and able to keep him one of them frozen. No, both of them frozen at the same time. It's, this is what you love to see, gamers, is when both of when all of your enemies are grouped up and frozen together and they're not able to attack you. This is a good, R, uh, good chamber, good run for Beam already, too. He has plenty of time at the moment to even three star this if he wants. And now both uh, one of them is forced into the shield phase, second one is following closely behind. Uh, so you don't want to get damage, taken damage because that's gonna cost you a second or two. 
But it doesn't matter because both of them are very low on HP already. I mean, low on the shield. One of them is almost close to that. The second one is focused and sees up two ice applicator that are very fast, which is uh, Rosaria and also Kaya. Look at the way he is shredding both of these shields in just a second. And another Rosaria burst just to co uh, convert the time and ending this at 7 minutes and 27 seconds. 720 seconds definitely widened the gap by almost a whole minute compared to Celestial, and that's putting him at the time at 153. This is gonna be very nerve wracking um, for Celestial size. Let's see how he's gonna perform on the third chamber. That comeback is gonna be very, uh, very dangerous to, um, very dangerous for his opponent. Three star clear, yes. Well, Cardi, you look. Oh, UDM, welcome in. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Wait, I could have swore you said that earlier too, but thank you, UDM. I one of my contacts is bothering me already, but I'm hoping I'm just ignoring it right now. Okay, so uh, right now Celestial ha needs to do have him really make a good time and making sure all of his characters are alive, rotating all of them in, uh, getting all the burst in to make sure that none of them are dying, and making sure he's keeping the iframe up to. This Raiden national, uh, Raiden child uh, national team is gonna be for a very strong team as well too. He should be able to clear this um, relatively fast, depending on the RNG of the Sentinels and all of his crits. Which right now, one Sentinels is already down, but then he needs the second one. We're using the Raiden burst immediately to secure um, the iframe. Now, without wasting time, going straight to one of them. The second one is preparing to charge up right here, at, right now. Dude, wait, where is it? No, it's just slowly walking over. Bow. One of them is already a third HP down. Getting the Riptide effect on both of them, nice. And he's doing a really great job dodging and I frame everything. But Shanling is at 500 HP. Raiden is very close at 5k HP, but he needs to make sure that all of them are getting damage together and that they are stun locked, so he's not taking any damage. And Shanling switching over to Tartaglia damage, or at least Tartaglia is looking healthy. But needs to dash and run away. And the good time in, uh, for this, good in getting all the rotations. And look at how low their HP is. But he is doing amazing at ro keeping their characters alive and finishing the chamber in one minute and ten seconds. Let's see he how he will do with get against Magu Kenki with Ayaka Shunha. Now, com between Ayaka and Ganyu, I believe Ayaka is the stronger opponent, a stronger character to use against the Magu Kenki with the Omen debuff. With just one burst, it should be enough to clear out clear out almost um, a huge chunk of the Magu Kenki's HP. So right now in the first phase, he's going to be using an Ayaka burst and wasting no time to quickly DPSing down. And look at that! Magu Kenki is already forced into the first half. Let's see, he's going to be using a shield to protect himself. And then using another shield, Magu Kenki is going to be doing another spin and teleport away. Yes, he is! And then now using a burst for um, to ensure the iframe and also from heals on this team. Mona has no ER, but he's going back to Ayaka charge attack too. But Ayaka very close Close to his bur to her burst, so that's gonna be another way to close another big DPS. As long as the Maku Kenki does not run away, Mona got her burst too. So that you're gonna be seeing that Omen debuff soon, along with Shunha is gonna be falling closer behind. So one good rotation between is gonna be enough to be clearing the Maku Kenki DP um, Maku Ken uh, Maku Kenki's HP as well. Is gonna be running away, going there. Look at the way the Ayaka is shredding through the Maku Kenki already. Just a little bit more, and he should be able to three star this chamber. And like, oh no, but taking one slash of your face, getting a little bit too greedy and getting a little too careless. But it's okay because he is very close. He, now he might be panicking, but he's keeping the Magu Kenki backed up in a corner. Using that E skill and finishing this chamber with just one more charge attack at 719. 719 seconds. Very dangerous first half, but he was still keeping everyone alive. And then at that, it's going to be 161 seconds. Very, very close time. But that Ayaka was uh, amazing damage, shredding the Magu Kenki, getting all the energy recharged down. How is Celestial gonna feel? How is Beam feeling right now? Seeing that clean, clean, clear from Celestial. Cardi put on the glasses. No! <laughs> But thank you, thank you, Yudessa. So, so brave playing without. Yeah, Celestial is honestly amazing with his first half. They are clearing everything super fast. And even all their characters were on a sliver of HP, dodging everything and um, you getting enough burst for everything. I framing everything. That was amazing. 
Uh, Sheriff, you missed the glasses last night, didn't you? AoE nice like you expected? She's- Yeah, Ayaka is super strong against Maku Kenki. That's why I believe she is better than Ganyu when fighting against it. Ayaka Shenhe is so nasty strong. Don't forget Mona, uh, Demi, because Mona does have the Omen debuff to increase the damage taken but for the Maku Kenki. Being right now? <laughs> Celestial snapped! <laughs> glasses redeem when? Alright, so we're going- so this is going to be a very close matchup for Bane because- Oh, thank you for the follow- Uh, I'm not gonna say that name. This is going to be a very close matchup for Bane because he already used a reset and he cannot afford to lose any more- any time- any second from- um, from the matchup considering how Celestio closed out the gap really well for his, uh, for his third chamber. And right now he is using the Sucrose team against- uh, here it is. Using the Sucrose Taser team uh, with Kokomi and Fisho, he's gonna be clearing out the two chain, uh, the two rune guards. Um, about taking one minute though. Um, Celestial did finish the first chamber in a minute, uh, in just a little bit over a minute, whereas Beam is taking uh, a little bit longer right now because only one of them is half HP, while the other uh, rune greater is looking really healthy, getting the rotation. And he's gonna be using um, Kokomi burst as for as long as he can. Um, because as soon as you switch out from Kokomi, she does not get to keep that first fusion petrify to keep the enemies in place and get a stall a little bit more briefer room for um, Beam as well. Going back to Fisho, I mean Sucrose, getting some ERs, going back to Kokomi. And Fischl, and then uh, where's the Kokomi burst? Oh no, he's gonna be focusing on Fischl instead and clearing the first half in a minute and 30 seconds. Alright, here. This is the scuff glasses uh, redeem that you get. I saw the glasses. You think it was the hour 11? Don't worry about it, Sheriff. Go to sleep, Sheriff. Oh, wait, I mean, go. <laughs> yeah, you think this chamber by Celestial some more time? Oh, for sure, Demi. But let's see how this team is gonna perform against the Magu Kenki. And Ripple, all good, all good. Are you interested in PvP Abyss? Because this is what we're hosting right now, too. Raw, are you, Levi? <laughs> Thank you, Levi. Then you'll see the emo girl uh, look back soon. And yo, Homer, welcome in. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you've been doing well. All right, so here. This is um, a very strong team as well because this one rather focusing on one main DPS. Everyone is putting up work with chip damage with Rosaria, Shinsho, Keia, and Jean. Jean does have the very decent uh, drag going on and also a healer as a side using the Keia burst to iframe from the f uh, shield from the face slap. Magu Genki using uh, Jean as healing as well. Now first face down, but he has to dodge. Nice way. Nice good dodge from Beam on um, Rosaria. Then get uh, forcing the Magu Genki. Oh no! He went, to, uh, went the other way. Uh, the, uh, not able to uh, have to chase the Magu Genki down. Lost some HP on Rosaria. And now with Magu Genki in the middle of the uh, map, he has a lot of room to run around from Beam too. The best way to play Mag uh, fight Magu Genki is make sure he is backed up against the corner. Oof, oof, he's getting- Oh no, oh no, he's getting some stun lock. No, I, well, for some reason he was frozen for a little bit. That's gonna cost him some time in beam. Now he's going to uh, do Maku King. Okay, using Jin as a uh, burst to uh, iframe that attack. Half HP down already. But it's, uh, it's already been uh, three minutes as well for the chamber. Let's see how- if he's gonna be able to finish this soon. So, and see what the final score. Right now, oh no, Magu can you tell up he's gonna do the spinning slash again. He's gonna need to iframe this. Yes, he is with Shincho. Going back to Jane. Jane is almost half her burst up as well. There it is with the fair doesn't shred again. Applying. Oh no, Magu Kenki just went away from from the circle. Though you will hate to see that happen, gamers, when they ran away from your Bennett circle or from your Jane circle and uh, just away from your AoE in general. So now here is Magu Kenki's gonna be using that. He needs to dodge, no iframe available. Uh, but he is doing a lot of damage, a lot of chip damage on the side. And then now can you do a spin? He's gonna use that. Oh no! Okay, switch the character just in time to make sure no damage taken. Going back to Rosaria with the first uh, skills, and then Jean is gonna be ending it. Oh no! 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 Still a little bit more. Where he go? Where did he go? There it is. There it is. Uh, back in the corner and ending at six twelve. Six twelve. Oh wow! Those were amazing matchups. And the chamber three is ending at the time at two two eight. The final score between Celestial Shower is five hundred sixty nine seconds versus Beam's final score of five hundred ninety two. So there was oh this was a very close matchup. Beam took an overwhelming lead in the second half. Second chamber, but Celestial snapped and came back um, with a strong comeback on chamber three versus the Magu Kenki. So this is what the scary um, part about Ayaka is. 
um, between the two because Ayaka, Shenha, Mona was able to shred uh, the Maku Genki so fast and securing a fast lead, closing up the gap between the two and sending Beam to fourth place while Celestial is advancing to the next stage. Oh, that was very, very tough, tough matchups. There was a 23 seconds uh, difference. Let me uh, close the stream right here so we get to hear from um, Celestial and Beam job to do. how they feel about this current matchup. You want to cry in the corner? But GG, well played. So, uh, congrats, Celestia. Uh, since I lost to you, I hope you win the tournament. Because I want to say that uh, I, I lost to the winner of the tournament. <laughs> also, uh, Celestia is the better player by far. I, I messed up so hard on the Magu Kinkies. Yeah. I believe Celestial is um, typing in chat, so they're not doing any voice reveals. Good but luck on your future Beam meshes, is talking Celestia. right now. Beam, how do you think you felt you did? How did you feel about the character pick and pan phase against Celestial, where you target banning um, their, uh, obviously, Banette? But what about the gun you picked? Were, they ex were you expecting their Ayaka to be there? Oh, yeah. Um, I, I expect Ayaka to be there. And, and I don't think I lost this match because of Ayaka. I I I, hon I honestly thought that I only lost this match because uh, I spent my reset on the first chamber because mm -hmm. I get the defender or the crab yeah, and and that team cannot work against the crab at all, so I didn't have a reset left when I mess up the Maku Genki fight. Oh yeah, it it's was very the, dangerous. Uh, the skin because when I was practicing, I was using the original skin. Maybe that's the thing. <laughs> it was the cosmetic. You were using the wrong Rosaria skin. It was too distracting to you. <laughs> but yeah, definitely using the reset in the first half means that you cannot use any resets and you have to play it super safe for the other chambers. But still, uh, with just a 20 second dif difference, you did close up the gap of really quite a lot in the second half too. It was a really amazing matchup. Good uh, fight for both teams. And Celestial will be advancing to the semifinals. And we're going to let them rest. Good um, Congratulations um, to Celestial. Good job. Well played for Beam. And um, let's see who is still who is available now for the next matchup. It was the Rosaria skin. <laughs> let me choose the prediction outcome. And the winner is, for this round is Celestial. Let me see what points you guys got. And while I ping the other um, players, give me one second. Oof, be uh, sure you're losing your points again. <laughs> Let me ping the other players and see who is available right now. Okay, so we still have Boy My Evil and Aaron, but I'm not sure if I bo I pinged both of them earlier and they were not here. So let's see if Yuki is away. Oh, thank you for a local girl sim. Nice, nice. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're enjoying the little tournament right now. Uh, let me catch up in chat real fast. Let's see. Uh, you got John Lee finally after a year. Congratulations, Homer. And John Lee Pog you. <laughs> Man, he moved just outside. Yeah, that was um Magu Kenki. I swear, I swear, those AIs know when to move and run away from our attack. Not close at all. It was I mean, twenty second difference was really close. Beam, ban Ayaka. <laughs> Your crystal points. It's over. It's okay, Roman. You just gotta slowly earn it back. Yeah, Ayaka and Kasua are insta bans for you. One cent again for sure. I um, for my insta bans are actually Kasua and Banet because those two are so meta together. But Ayaka is another strong character, especially in this current abyss too. The way that she shreds um the Magu Kenki by, as you could see from Celestial's size, was really scary to fight against. It was the first one. You notice that Ayaka is just so nasty for fast clear. Sure, a lot of good strong freeze count teams but Aika really excels at for unload them yeah Demi that too especially with the release of Shunha uh Shunha I believe Shunha is the best support for Ayaka as well with just a tap E damage and getting her burst up as well for an Ayaka even at C0 is scary and don't forget Celestial was using Mistblitter Ayako so that was their strongest best insult weapon too I need a 
I really want to roll for Miss Blitter the next time it comes back. You played a similar team with the Rosaria uh, Kaya combo on side two as well. It's definitely rough against Maku Kenya, like you got solid sub DPS. Yep, for sure. For sure, once and again. PP overheat. Okay, we can blame Strong Lee and Rosaria skin. <laughs> okay, GG Beam, your team is really strong even with less 5 stars. Yeah, Beam, you are a low spender slash free to play as well. So you did really well um, even with just a 20 second difference. That was a really strong um, matchup too. Goku, oh hey Monica, welcome in. Yes, Info will be fighting soon, but I'm waiting to see if Yuki is here. Let me see. Uh, I'll, uh, let me see. Yuki, um, I know Info is here. And what about Boy Made Evil? And Ephmer. Oh, wait, I think. Wait, Info. Uh... Yeah, Info cards, their username is. Yeah, Miyoshiro. Okay. My team can 3 star that chamber if you can keep the Maku Kenki in the corner. You knew you lose the moment the Maku first charged up his plunge attack. Yeah, so the way that um, you have to fight Maku Kenki too is back him up against the corner, which um, Celestio did a really good job of because you kept them um, group up at the side. And then um, you could just unleash all of your damage against him as well. But for, unfortunately for Beam, Maku Kenki kept on running around the chamber, chamber causing him to chase after the Kenki too. Oh wait, Ephraim is here? Uh, but I'm still waiting- Oh, where's Boar Made Evil then? Boar Made, uh, Ephmer is here, but his opponent is not, and, uh, Info is here, but I don't see Yuki. You're actually gonna try and pick up a copy of Ayaka? She's gonna be the Cairo DPS to change your life. Yeah, Demi, I think Ayaka is really strong. Um, you, uh, just- you know, in general too. And if you have Shenha or even Mona, you're gonna see how good they are. Um, they're gonna pair up together. Uh, yeah, you played a full four star Rosaria K official Barbara. You just need two minutes on my game in order to three star. Ooh, a full two minutes. That means your first team will have to be just that strong to clear the uh, first chamber in one minute too, right? Yeah, but definitely requires a lot of reset, good rotations. Um, okay, Ephraim is here, but. Oh, this is good. See? This is hard. Where is the other ones? Because I can't even go on to the next matches. Ephmer is here, but we need Boy Made Evil. Okay, let me DM them. Boy Made Evil, where are they? And the one is Yuki. Oh, okay. Yuki is here. Okay. Okay. So, since Yuki is here and is the info, we're just waiting for um, Boy Made Evil. So, Ephmer, thank you so much for uh, responding, but your will be, uh, since your opponent is not here, we're just moving on to next this match. So, instead, we're gonna have um, Yuki and versus Miyo, Miyoshiro. Okay, um, okay, these two will fight first. Please pick heads or tails. Whew, okay, good. We have someone, we have, um, Yuki, uh, and Info Kurtz right here on this, um, ready. I was thinking to retry the second chamber because of all your low character there, but your fingers won't listen to you. Celestio, it's okay. This is at least a good learning experience, and honestly, you were playing really dangerous, um, for all of your characters, especially on your first thing, but you did really well with your dodging, with your placement, with your energy recharge, with... Um, I framing everything too. I you honestly mad respect to you, Celestial, because I was uh, really entertained while watching your matchup. So good luck to your next round, and good luck to the remaining participants for sure. So this one we're gonna have um, Yuki versus Invo cards. Uh, you'll be right back. You wanna cry in the corner for a while? It's okay, Celestial. You did really well. Perhaps you put your five. Your first uh, pull your first five star BTS uh, DPS in. Well, Beam, you already got Shino, right? Not gonna lie, you got so many four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Celestio, I fought Beam before as well, and his four star team was super scary to me, and I lost against my matchup uh, with him. 
your shrimp, your saving for info. Well, we're gonna have a prediction soon, Monica. So um, after we do the pick and ban phase, we're, I'm gonna set a prediction um, for Yuki versus Mio. Uh, I mean, info. So now, uh, since Tails is gonna be uh, Yuki, we're gonna go roll the coin right now, and it is Tails. All right, uh, Yuki, uh, choose A or B. So, uh, Yuki is gonna be player A or player B, and just in case, make sure to do exclamation mark PvP Abyss for that rules, and Luxuria, thank you, thank you so much for the raid, I hope you had a wonderful stream. And I know, I saw you were lurking here early as well, but I hope that you managed to, um, get some rest, get some food too, and we are heading over to our third matchup for today. Being one? No, Roman, um, you, uh, Celestial one. Okay, uh, Yuki decided to pick player A. So he's gonna be doing the first ban. Let me do... I don't know, Yuki. Rename these ones. And the second one is gonna be... Oop. Damn it, I can't. Aaron Bian, right? Oh, wait, no, Info, sorry. <gasps> Wrong name, Info. Care Arts. Listen, I don't play um, Dota, so I don't know this character's name, okay? <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna go up the timer here. And we're gonna start. Welcome in, Lyle! Thank you, thank you for hopping in. And okay. Alright, Yuki, you have 30 seconds to choose your first character ban. Oh, wait, sorry, one second, one second. Uh, Info, could you come and hop in DC? Okay, there we go. Okay. Alright, we're gonna begin the pick and ban phase. Uh, Yuki, please choose your first character ban. Uh, 30 seconds. Alright, you ready? A beam? I mean, you already chose ride and ban immediately. Okay, let's go to info, si info side. Okay. Info, you have the, uh, one minute to pick your first ban and first character pick. Ban Ayaka, pick Benny boy. Whoa, immediately on uh, Ayaka ban was uh was Invo taking notes at the previous uh, previous matchup and was uh, this, uh was very uh, nervous about any Ayaka in the tournament now. Okay. Uh, next two character pick, please, Yuki. Oh, look, sorry, you missed out. Uh, uh, Casper won, but um, it's because Rifo also uh, forfeited after the first chamber. It was on uh, unlucky team picks as well, because uh, Casper target banned Rifo, and he decided to uh, he decided to uh, give up, I guess, on the first chamber. Okay, and uh, Yuki is picking uh, is gonna be picking Shincho and Bunnet. Alright, so now Shincho is gonna be the first pick on Yuki's side and stealing Bunnet from Infos. So now there is no. Oh wait, sorry. Let me put this on the side. So now there is no uh, Benny Boy. I mean, there's uh, Benny Boy on both sides, but no Shinchu on Info side. Hopefully, this will not hinder any of their team comps. Let's see on the okay. Next two characters, uh, Info. Yeah, you gotta grab Benny here. Yep, he is just so essential to the uh, to the team. But without a uh, but without Shinchu as well. Hopefully, let's see uh, what is Info gonna do with the second chamber where you desperately need Cairo and Hydro character. Ayaya is banned, yes. After we see that previous Ayaka gameplay from Celestial, now it, she is gonna be banned from um, from this round too. Oh, I ran out of tea. Okay. Pick Hotel and Kazuha for um, info. Okay. Hotel and Kazuha. This is gonna be a, a, the first Hotel matchup of the night. Let's see how well they're gonna perform and which um which one they are gonna use because Shinchu is taken from the team. All right. Next two characters. Um, Yuki. Of course you love watching last night you yeah luxuria welcome back then for sure we're gonna have a few more um nice uh fun matchups too so you're gonna be um seeing them soon dangerous dangerous if one of them have kazu yep as you called it demi one of them did take kazu off on their team 
And we both said, yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, you have to know your opponents too to target ban their characters. And you're like, oh, thank you, Luxoria. This was voted by um, my community. They wanted to see a kitchen cosplay today. So this is what I am putting on. So I'm glad it looks uh, decent while I host this uh, tournament too. And uh, Yuki decided to pick Zhangling and Zhongli. Zhangling and Zhongli. This is almost the national team right here for Yuki. What is uh, what is he gonna do for this team? And then um, info, please pick your fourth character and wait. Let me. Am I doing that right? Yeah, your fifth, your fourth pick and second ban. Gosh, you're nervous, Monica? Just you wait. The, this, you're gonna see the final uh, lineup soon. And uh, if you're cheering for your friend, hopefully um, they will see what their, uh, all of their characters are gonna be because this is only half a team right now. You don't doubt it. You both were phenomenal. Yeah, for sure. Help to participate next tourney is so much fun. I'm glad that you had a lot of fun, Rifo. I know it's a, um, there's a lot of time difference between us as well. But I'm glad that you are able to participate. Okay. Um, Info is gonna decide to pick Albedo with possibly with Hotel and is banning Rosaria. So Rosaria has also been a really popular character to choose um, for this tournament. And it's a good choice to ban her. Okay, and your next ban and your next pick, Yuki. You hope so too if you can get your characters high enough. If not, then you'll watch and support your own. Oh, Luxoria, do you believe that you're, um, are you like confident in your own characters? Because of all the restrictions um, for the rule set for the uh, tournament, it is made more for uh, low dolphins or free to play um, friendly. But definitely, uh, it's the ones important are getting uh, good rounded DPS, um, good rounded supports, and also having a strong DPS. Okay, let's see. Albedo, Albedi. Oh, hello, <laughs> Primo Jans, please, big mood. You saw ranking in the kitchen castle and you joined. Welcome in, welcome in. Yes, we're having an abyss tournament right now. This is the drafting phase. Uh, we're at do. Uh, I need to fix the current matchup, but right now we're having Aono Yuki versus Intro and Invo Cards. So they are going to be uh, banning Mona, okay? And the next character pick, and picking Beto, a Mona ban. And that's the first Mona ban we've seen. And they're gonna picking uh, Beto for their team. Where is she? Okay. Uh, info next to character, please. And thank you so much for the follow, Primo Gems. <laughs> Hope you're gonna be enjoying your time here because we are now entering um, the. Uh, we are finishing up our quarterfinals for the Abyss tournament. Feel free to do the um, command exclamation mark of PvP Abyss and exclamation mark players to see the brackets and to see the rule set on how this is being played out. And thank you for enjoying the Kachin cosplay. I also cosplay Genshin a lot. Um, I have about like five different Genshin characters um, as well. So you, if you stick around, you might be seeing more in the future since I also have a Mona, Lumine, uh, Ayaka, Yai Miko, and KSC Noel cosplay on the side. <laughs> okay, so Info with Desire is going to be picking Barbara and Chong Yoon. Interesting four stars to choose, but Barbara is going to be... Uh, if they have C6 Barbara, you know, she's going to be able to revive your dead characters. That's going to be a one free reset on their side. Okay, Yuki, next two characters. Hopefully we can go ahead to... We can go head-to-head -head anime showdown music stars. Oh man, I should be playing anime showdown music too. On the side. Uh, you are, but um, you're strictly free to play. It's okay, Luxora. We have some strictly free to play players as well. Um, although they were not able to um, uh, fight up against like the dolphins and spenders, you just need really good artifacts. Honestly, we had a player who is using all four stars only. Yes, Yuki. Two picks. Two characters. You wonder. You won't say it for now. I'll be down if you will window. You're probably gonna load up and see if you could beat this boss you're stuck on. Oh, hopefully, yeah. Oh, maybe you two can try uh PvPing each other with the same with the rule sets. Okay, they're gonna Yuki is gonna pick Diona and Kachin. Wait, Yuki, your Kachin is C zero or, or wait, it's not C three, right? Uh 
Whoa, this is gonna be the first Kachin gameplay we're gonna see then. Pause, champ. Hold on, hold on, pause. Kachin? Kachin? Me? <laughs> Cardi Chin? Hold on. <laughs> Basic Kachin? Oh, I'm so ready for this. Okay, um, info next two characters, please. Okay, sorry, Yuki. I confused you with someone else. Someone else had a C3 Kachin. Yo, I'm gonna be put up in the tournament! No, I'm kidding. Watch me die. No, 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 I believe in Yuki's playstyle. I believe in... in his playstyle. Your cat kicked the screen when you said Ayaka, so you guess you doesn't like Ayaka? Oh no, Primo Gems! Well, I guess, uh, keep your cat away from when I do an Ayaka cosplay. My throat suddenly hurt. Oh. <clears throat> Invo, your last two characters, please. You have 10 seconds left. Cardi Chin. <laughs> you can use... Oh, yeah, Celestial. It was your Cardi... I mean, your Cardi... <laughs> Thank you. It was your Kachin that you can't use, right? <clears throat> Holy crap! Info with the Giga Chan mode of picking Geo, MC, and Chi Chi. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup. Okay, and uh, Yuki, your last character. Holy crap, we are gonna be seeing a Geo, MC gameplay today. Along with a Kachin gameplay. Both of these characters has not been chosen in a tournament yet. And let's see what Yuki's last character is gonna be to even out his team. Traveler. Yuki, your last character, please. Do I have candy? Gone, you pick. Okay. Gun you right here. So this is the final um this is their team comps um they have chosen. <clears throat> uh I will put copy and paste that in the tournament chat. Oh I do have a Discord if you guys are interested in joining. I will be posting um more updates of when I will hosting the next PvP tournament there as well. And you could cat uh that's the best place to find me um when I am not streaming too. So if you guys are interested, um, do exclamation, uh, check out my Discord, and, uh, hopefully I'll see new friends there. If not, then I hope to see you more in the, uh, f in our future Twitch streams. Okay, so now, um, I'm gonna be going, uh, having them, uh, share their screen. We're gonna see how they're gonna play out with the character, uh, with the characters that they, le they selected. They have seven minutes to, um, organize their artifacts and weapons. Okay. And uh, let me, and I will start a prediction for you guys too. Let me, oops, start off the timing. Let me um, open the prediction. Who will win? It is versus Aono Yuki and an Infoker Arts. Five minutes to predict. And then right here, let me um, pop out of the. This is Miyoshi's. And then watching here. Oof, this streaming quality 480, 15 FPS. Hopefully it doesn't lag. Okay, and this is Yuki's uh, str uh, screen. I'm gonna be lowering the style, the frame, so you guys can see both of it. Oops, wrong one. And then here is the timer so far. Okay, then please let me know which. Three five star weapons <clears throat> you are using. Good job on the bandoli. That was the most target band you could possibly have on him. Yeah, for sure. You're, yeah, Ningguan, uh, Beam's Ningguan is no slouch, too. You're waiting for someone to choose Klee? Yeah, we haven't seen any Klee gameplay yet, too, Cloudy. Uh, your cats like Kachin? Oh, I'm ha I'm happy to hear that, Primo Gems. I think Kachin is a really cute um cat has like really cute character designs because it looks like she has like little cat ears here. Did you guys know you can link your Amazon Prime on Twitch? Thanks, Leviathan. 
Okay, well here, let me edit the timing as well. Okay, I think I spelled it right the first time. Alright, um, I'm sorry I have to do this, but I will, uh, be right back real fast. Uh, I'm gonna have to be right back real fast. They still have five minutes to prepare, but everyone look at their screen, making sure that, uh, they have the right weapons and artifacts on. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome in! Hello friends and Kachin Cosplay Pogorinos! <laughs> You're so cute! <laughs> thank you, thank you! Yes, we're doing a little Kachin Cosplay today! And speaking of that, um, uh, we actually have someone going to be playing Kachin in this um, in this round for today! So look at, you only missed two matches so far, this is our third match of the day! Which is Aono Yuki versus Invo Karat. Um, on the left screen is Invo, right screen is uh, Yuki! But Yuki, since he's player 1, he will be starting the first uh, first time. But we have another surprising pick character pick because um, uh, InfoCars is actually placing GOMC as well. Okay, on a, uh, oh, I have to double check on which 5 star weapons they are using. So uh, Yuki is using Scour Blade on Banet. I'm sorry, can you guys show me your 5 star weapons again? I missed it. Or they could just type it in chat too. Okay, so it is Homa on Hu Tao for info side. Honestly, um, you saw that she got hella big. Yeah, Celestio Beams, Geo team is really strong. Okay, Skyward Pride on Chang Yun. Skyward is the only you feel for you, for Yuki side. Okay, so Black Sword on Kachin Fifonia is on Zhang Li. Okay, they do not have- the Mona is banned from the team. Okay, then only a Skyward on... On a Yuki, on two for info. Okay. Okay, no problem. Alright, feel free to head into Abyss whenever re you're ready and set up your team. Okay, now it's better. <laughs> Thank you, Leviathan, for the copy-paste for the Prime. 
No clean, no amber. Yeah, I thought there was an amber band. Anyone got any tips for beating child? You have a pretty good team, and he wise me at the last second phase. Uh, do you have a shielder, Lexaria? Don't bring Electro versus him. Or, yeah, don't bring Electro, and probably... Ice is the best one to fight against him. Claymore user also good, because you can stun lock him. Mm. You do have Noel and Ningguan, yeah, you learned that fast. Ooh, nice. You can use Crystallize. Who picked Kachin? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Yuki did! And let's see, let's see what their um, matchup is for today. And for some reason, oof. Where is... Invo, is there a way you can stream at a higher quality? It's kind of pixelated at 480p on your side. Okay, and go info penguins here for you. Okay, so we have many people cheering from um, two teams that's now. Let's see who's um, the better team pick. Let's see who's gonna be the better. Um, oh, yes, 1080p. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now we get to see both of the uh, stage. Oh, shoot, I did not. Uh, see. Okay, so on that, we should have Invo's Yuki's team. Sorry. Okay. On this, uh, for the fur, uh, for info side, they're going to be using Albedo, Geo, MC, Kazuha, Banette on the first half, and looks like it's going to be uh, Kutao on the second half as well with Barbara, Changyun, and Chi Chi. So since player A is on Yuki screen, we're going to have player A start it off. Okay. All the, okay, all the predictions are done. The timer has been completed. It's because I accidentally delayed. <laughs> And when you get the mic by child, second door, walk at the end and touch it. Oh, okay. Oh, you guys are gi uh, giving them advice. Uh, this is for Yuki to start. Yes. Let me. Whenever you're ready. Yo, welcome in, child. What the fuck is happening here? Celestio? No, not yet, Celestio. This is um, Yuki's team versus. This is Yuki versus um, Invo cards. So right here we are having we're having the Zhangling Banette Ganyu Zhangli team on the first half on Yuki side. They're gonna be doing reverse melt Ganyu damage, um, which is very strong. Uh, with uh. Which is a very strong setup as well. Let's see. Already thirty seconds in, and about a third HP down coming um, from the Magu Kenki. And you don't need to worry too much about Ganyu's burst because her main damage is coming from the charge attack. What you do need to worry about is Xiaoling and Banette, but since both Pyro characters are able to funnel energy recharge through each other, along with a um, Xiaoling's Favonia sword, he's gonna be looking very healthy with um, his energy recharge on their teams. Gamba slam. Yeah, the Gamba already happened. You forgot to bet again, babe? Okay, right here we're gonna be forced into the um, enemy. Uh, be the... Uh, rune sentinel space gonna be quickly using some uh burst to get the rune graders down and then with the good uh uh with that i can't talk okay okay he's gonna go back to here already go uh two dart hp down from uh gan with ganyu and banette's help Man. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I was like blanking out. Okay, going back to Shanling burst down and then go switching to uh, Bennett for ER with his Skyward Sword. Uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, Ganyu burst as Gan. Oof, oh no, Petra Ray is already stalling um, with the enemy phase again. Uh, oh no, for just a few seconds because they're still able to damage him. At the side, he's doing a lot of rotations. He's not sticking on Ganyu for long, but it's okay because he's doing really good damage on both ends. Just getting enough ER for the next thing. Except that little delay is gonna be costing him some seconds. Going back to Ganyu, going back to Zhangli, shield, protecting himself, and then clearing it in around two minutes. <laughs> you all forgot to bet, huh? I forgot to bet. And this one, this is gonna be a Kaching play with Shincho, Beidou, and Diona. This is gonna be a very electro charged team. Kaching is good for, um, is using Black Sword, I believe. Lots of rotation switching around too. And it looks very. And look at that damage being put in with the electric charge Kachin. It's gonna be very poor on grouping on this end as well, but that's why um, he has to chase them around all over again. There are three enemies still around, not able to clear the first phase fast because um, there's no freeze team on here. But Kachin, with her fast DPS and with, her, with the way Yuki is um, switching the characters, good energy, good placement and management, he is able to clear out two out of the three 
already getting a Beto Burst extra electric charge damage with um, with the two cycling around and now waiting for the spawn. A slight delay in spawn is gonna cost them quite a bit of time. Kachin Burst right there at the site. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, but I have to chase back the Dendro uh, Mage for it too. And now he's gonna be focusing on killing the um, uh, Hydro, I mean, sorry, the Pyro Shield first from the Mage and then going over to group them both of them together to hopefully get some damage at the same time. He does need to worry about the water, um, I mean, the fire shield against the Pyro Lector. Is ready for another burst, but will he use it? Oh no, he's doing a quick charge attacks on Kaching as well, Electro Kaching, and some, even just a quick physical damage is around 7k too. Going back to rotation again, forcing him into the shield phase, getting some uh, Shinjo uh, ER and burst down, Kaching burst again. Right here, another quick attacking from uh, against the shield. Oof. Nice dodge. Going down. Back again. At least uh, Kaching is able to auto target the enemy um, instead of chasing after him. And going to be ending the first stage at 6.05 timing. 6.05. Which is 235 seconds. Oops, wrong one. 235. Oh, I don't know if I missed it, but thank you, Inu Yasha, for the follow. I'm so sorry if I missed the follow from earlier. Okay, and... Oh, wait, did I play this with no volume? Oops. Okay, we're going back to, uh... Right here, Miyosh. Uh, this is Invocart's, uh... Invocart's, uh, a stream now. You mean Cardi Ching? I was trying not to say that, Celestial. <laughs> okay, there is music on the background for th his end, so I'm gonna pause my background music too. Okay. Oof, the quality, it, hopefully it's not gonna lag a lot. It is back to 1080. I wonder if they could do 720 uh, streaming instead. Because it is quite laggy. Ganyu charge attack mod check? Hmm. This is gonna be a uh, kind of tough for um to see the uh, this presentation because of all the lag and happening right now. I believe Yuki, I mean, okay. I believe uh, Info is streaming at a high ping because I see it um yellow at the corner. I don't know how much DPS is, he is able to get down, but he is using Geo MC with Bennett Katsuha on this team with Geo Resonance on the side. But without Sean Lee, there is no way the, pillar, um, the Geo's constructs are able to resonate with each other. So now with Albedo and uh, Geo MC uh, providing uh, sub DPS on the side too, he does have to focus on changing ca uh, characters a lot too. To gather energy and also making sure that um, everyone is uh, using them up cooldown. Wait, can you your first five times? You don't have to go. Oh man, I'm so sad at this quality. I'm sorry, guys. I wonder if we could find a way. Um, I wonder if we could find a way for them to change the quality to 720 instead. Because I think all of the animation is making the stream lag on their end, and it possibly is their ping. Okay, let's see how it goes. Um, he is taking quite a long time defeating the enemy phase um, on right here. Then focusing back on the main... Now focusing back on um, the main body of the uh, array. Cycling uh, Albedo in, putting in Kasuha as well. Kasuha Benny, really strong contenders as well. Yeah, I, I'll ask him to change the lower resolu resolution then, if that's the case. You think I understand what ping means? Because <laughs> I thought it would just be their internet, right? Okay, anyways. Uh, half HP down for the Maku Kenki, but he only managed to get le about... He still has quite a way to go, a little bit less than half HP left on the Maku Kenki, but over 2 minutes has already passed by. And, huh? Oh my god, Taj! Yo, what's up, Taj? Thank you so much for the raid. How was Pokemon Arceus? That's what you were playing, right? 
You just got ready, yes, and thank you so much for the resub, Taj. We're doing our um, PvP Abyss right now, and thank you so much for the follow, Kaisar Ace. Um, we're doing our PvP Abyss right now. Um, we're having some technical difficulty with this person's stream, but it's been a really fun matchup so far, even if you don't know, um, if you don't like Genshin or you don't know it as much. <laughs> thank you so much for the raid, Taj, and for your sub for seven months in a row. Um, I hope this is... <laughs> Hype Taj one ma hype Taj squad raid. Taj one ma hype Taj one ma hype Taj squad raid. Taj one ma Oh my god, Taj! <laughs> I'm trying to do commentary on um this matchup right now. Which right now uh which right away uh unfortunately the info cards is taking quite a long time trying to clear one chamber about um with just uh, the perpetual array too. This is gonna be a tough uphill battle for him to um, fight against his opponent, um Yuki. So it has been a lot of target bans. He was not able to use. Uh, oh, thank you so much for the cat daddy, <laughs> for the fellow as well. And it took him about almost four minutes to clear the first half. Yeah, how was Pokemon Legends? And thank you, Apex Falcon. Thank you so much for your follow. Hope if you guys are enjoy uh, play Genshin Impact as well as well. I hope you uh, are enjoying this little uh, this tournament. You did know Kachi streams on Twitch. It's a uh, Cardi Chain attach today. <laughs> Since this was voted for my Discord uh, community, that's what we're doing. All right, so this is a second team with um, Barbara, Chang Yun, Chi Chi, and Hu Tao. So he's probably gonna try to do a uh, melt damage with Hu Tao, but because there are two healers on on his side, it's gonna be hard keeping Hu Tao at very low HP. Um, very low HP to make sure she's auto utilizes the whole stack of Homa damage. Right now, it's already been um, four minutes and fifteen seconds to, um, because the first perpetual uh, array chamber has taken him almost four minutes of the time. But he is clearing the second half really fast, even though he is using a fire DPS. His Cairo and Hy his Cairo and Barbara Hydro is able to put down a lot of um, applications now to break the shield and keep the enemy frozen. Okay, and now... Oh, wait, but not enough to break the shield yet. He's switching to Chi Chi for the heals, applying, applying for her some heals. Ooh, and then... Oh my god, this time, Okay, okay, I'm hearing the uh, slight delay. Okay, now we're using uh, Barbara to quickly de uh, get it breaking down the shield. It's already been five minutes in. And do they have no stamina, have to be careful with all the charge attacks. Lots of um, just DPS Barbara on the side. Switched over. Yes, switched over to Chi Chi. Switching over to Chang Yun for some reverse mount. Getting some heals back up for the characters or Barbara, but unfortunately, so did Hu Tao get some heals. Okay, got some uh, burst on Barbara as well, but he is ending the time at 4 minutes and 32 seconds. 4.32. And that puts him at 328 seconds. But yo, thank you for the uh, Ray Taj. Uh, we're having the little best tournament right now too. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit distracted. Uh, let me ask if they could... Um, can they change the quality again? <laughs> Info, can you lower your stream quality again? Maybe 700 or back to 480? Okay, and then we're going to uh, Yuki's side. Yeah, Taj always trolls, but he's a, he's a good dude. <laughs> you didn't know. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, we get a free shiny ponytail on the quest. Ooh, congrats, congrats on that too. Uh, hope you wait. I love shiny ponytail. They're like um a blue color, right? Uh, it was fun seeing how Taj butchers some of his alpha battles. Wait, you could do battling in that um in Arceus as well. Oh wait, I mean obviously I know you do battling, but I mean uh, are you also able to battle like other trainers or just Pokemon? It was a fun stream seeing how Taj... Oh, wait, I've read that. Uh, struggling catching some Pokemon was fun. Welcome in too, Tom. I do want to try playing Pokemon Arceus, but it's been so long since I played a single Pokemon game. So I prefer watching other people too. We stand, Lopunny. Taj, did you ever get your Eevee? Are there shiny Pokemons in that as well? Are there shiny Pokemons in Arceus as well? No hype train. Hold on, hold on, Taj. We had a hype train yesterday, actually. And all of the support is going back into the community for this tournament, so I'm very thankful for that. But right now, we're going back to Yuki's uh, second chamber clear with the 
Ganyu, Banette, Reverse Melt Team, uh, Zhongli Shield Counter is gonna be able to do so much damage to counter the Geo Bishop as well. Look at that huge chunk it take off. And it's gonna be able to sec secure a good time as well for the first half, at least fighting it. Uh, even though Geo Bishop does have a fire resistance um, against Zhongli and Banette, all he has to focus about is using Ganyu for the Reverse Melt damage, but I cannot see. Okay. <laughs> Okay, they're being trapped in a corner and then was managed to able to get away. But using Zhangling as main TBS instead and Ganyu burst as well using a shield. Okay, right there. Using uh, Zhangling to uh, iframe that burst. Putting some ER down. Switching, I think he really likes enjoying using uh, Zhangling and Banette too. Because he's only using Ganyu for the bloom. I mean for her elemental skill, for her flower. What is going on, Yuki? Physical attack Ganyu? Is this- is he- is Yuki actually trolling right now? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm kidding. Am I- or am I- or is he? What's going on, gamers? Can you guys figure out this pro strap between Yuki that I am apparently not figuring out myself? Because he is cycling between Banet Shanling, um, and, uh, ER and Burst only. But only using gun- there is- okay, maybe a sink there. Funny, going back to Ganyu's charge attack. That's a very interesting uh, way to play that team. So, Alphas are just a stronger Pokemon that you could catch? Oh, and there are Shinies, right? Only the Legendaries are Shiny Locked. Oof. Uh, do you have to do resets for them? How often are you doing Abyss Tourneys? Uh, probably once a month. Once at the end of the month, Taj. So, this is the third time I'm hosting right now. Okay, so here we're going back to the Kachin, uh, Electro Kachin, um, deep, uh, for against the Abyss Heralds. Uh, doing really good damage against one of them, but the second one is a little bit further away. Keeping what they're frozen right now is a good strategy in order to fight them. Gr uh, fro uh, grouped up and together is the way to go. Okay, going back here, using a Beto Burst, switching over to Kachin, Kachin Burst right now. Getting a lot of the damage on the side, uh, along with the Electro Charge. One of them is almost feel, uh, forcing into the Shield Phase. So now he's going to focus his attention on the second one, forcing that into the shield phase soon as well. And yes, they're transforming. No stamina, so it has to be careful or else he won't be dodged. But instead of switching over to Darona for the shield real fast, Beto counter. Getting some energy back for uh, the Electro team, doing the burst aside for Electro Charge. It's going to be taking a while, it's going to take a while to break their shield with just Electro reaction um, by itself. And some uh, Beto, I mean some Electro and Diona Cairo. But as long as he's able to grip them both together, he should be able to be breaking the shield soon. Or even slowly, one at a time. So here we go. Getting that in. Electro charge on both sides. Both shields are already halfway down. One of them is frozen. Ice is going to be help very helpful against um, these two. But let's see how they're going to perform. Oh no, missed out on uh, basically all of her burst. Only able to get a sliver of um, the, uh, shield down. And Diona was only able to help slightly with uh, keeping them frozen at a time too. Um, Kaching auto target on one of them. Another Kaching burst for both sides. Uh, but both of them are at least evenly matched up on their shield. One of them will be breaking, um, will be disappearing soon. And then using a Diona burst to keep them frozen. Getting some heals back on the side. Kaching once again putting it in. That one should be dying soon, yes. And the second one will be falling closer and the time gonna be end at 5 minutes and 50 seconds. 5.50. So that's 250 seconds uh, for his second time. Oh, wait. Uh... Okay. Alright, since they have Abyss music on the side, uh, this is the best quality we could set out. Hopefully it won't lag now, but it should still be okay. As long as they're able to see some smooth gameplay. Resets for non-alpha, no you assume you just uh, let them respond. You're not sure about the alpha Pokemon though? I didn't even know there was an alpha Pokemon. If there's alpha Pokemon, that implies that there's also some beta Pokemons. Is this what you're telling me? <gasps> okay. Pokemon, can you explain? Nintendo, can you explain what does that mean? Why is it called alpha? Okay, here we are going with the... 
Nine? No. <laughs> Yuki, it was uh should has been started at 3 p.m. PST. Uh you're just uh, like six hours off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go again with the um double geo team. With oh man, okay, this is even harder to see the time, but we are seeing a smooth interaction. <gasps> yeah, it was at uh, it was uh, supposed to originally was at 5 p.m. Ooh, nice shield block um on the geo bishop. Um, but now we're going back to Kazuma, but now getting some cycles and getting some ER on the side. A ton so one minute has already passed, but then now the Geo Bishop is around. Less, um, less than half HP left. Yeah, uh, the tournament was originally supposed to be at 5 p.m. But because we had to get so much uh, people in, I had to start earlier by two hours, too. I get time change. Okay, getting some um Kasuha first in the cycle, but then there is the fire resistance. Ooh, Geo MC putting in some work at the side as well. Another Albedo Bloom, but he the Albedo skills are able to be destroyed by one swipe of the Geo Fish up. So it's very dangerous to play that. To play um, him against large shading enemies like this. Another Bennett Burst, probably gonna be using uh, another burst again. Yes. Usually, yeah, Kasuha's hold he will be able to do more damage, but because um, he needs to prioritize getting more uh, cycle in, more energy recharge, he's just using press E on the side as well. Also, press, but though that applies for basically all characters as well. Usually, press E is better than hold E. Oh, then weird pause. Is he gonna be forcing a reset to get a better time? Will you use a reset for this? You just woke up and you're not sure what is happening, to be honest. <laughs> Yuki, it's okay. Um, uh, I It's because there are seven matches to go through. And yesterday, we because we have 12 matches, it ended up being like a 13-hour stream. But originally, it was supposed to be 5 p.m. Um, start. At least 5 p.m. PST. But I made it earlier by two hours. You're always... It's okay, Yugi. I'm just glad that you managed to make it because we're, um, because we're still waiting uh, for one more person to uh, sign in, basically, too. Which is Boy Meets Evil, and I'm not sure where they are. Okay, so now we're going back here. Um, they used a, a strategic reset to hopefully get a place, better placement and also better damage on the second chamber as well. This is not due to a character theft. But due to... Oh no! And just like commentator's curse, uh, the re he, since he was forced to... He is using a reset to get a better time. That unfortunately killed his GOMC. So one DPS is down. No more resets are allowed. And will he continue the chamber? Will he be able to fight this with just three characters? Or will he call it a forfeit? That was very unfortunate timing. Okay, so it looks like they're just running away right now. You're done, Info? Tabby B told that you guess he won't meet his sister anymore. Don't say hello, Biden. All right, so are you? So you have officially forfeited Info? Oh, that's very unfortunate timing, too. He was using a strategic reset, hoping to get a better timing and grouping for the first half. And instead, he the Geo MC has died. And... And he was not able to use his other reset. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> Let's Let us go back to here. Uh, unfortunately, that was a very, um... Very unfortunate loss of uh, one character. It was it will be hard to continue with just three character and no resonance. So let us hear from um, Info how he felt he um, did, and uh, let me exit the streams. 
Oh, wait. Yuki has decided to go over to um, his third chamber right now with his current team. Are we seeing a sneak peek of what's gonna happen or what he's gonna be doing for the next half? Uh, since Invo decided to forfeit. So far, offensive resets have been losing, if you remember, but offense reset is necessary play anyway, so that makes sense. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I think um, info is typing right now. Well, that was a uh, bad run. All your characters banned. Nice ban from um, Yukido. Really got outplayed. Thank you for the support. Do you need a finish it? Nah. Nope. Uh, but yeah. Okay, let me... I had to go AFK for a little while. Sally. It's okay, Straddles. Uh, we're done with the third matchup right now. Um, unfortunately, uh, Info had to... Um, was had to forfeit because one of his character um died and he for and he used a offensive reset hoping to get a better time but instead his character uh died so right now um yeah we are having yuki offense to the next stage and he will be playing unfriendly casper but before we continue we need to make sure that board main evil is here uh, but in the tournament chat um they are saying let me see yeah, Stratos. Stratos, under players, it, you, it will link you directly to this uh, bracket right here. Okay, but what they are saying um, in the tournament chat right now, um, Info saying that it was a bad run, all the characters were banned, and it was a nice uh, target ban from um, Yuki. Really get out outplayed, and thank you for the support. And Yuki was saying uh, that, he, that all of his characters are banned too, so you can't really do anything. You had to pull out the kitchen, which you swore you never use. Hey, to be fair, Kachin was putting some work, okay? I'm just I'm just saying Kachin was putting some work in. Um I was very excited to see a Kachin in the tournament, honestly. But GG's all around. GG um GG to uh infos. It was nice uh seeing Okay, I'm not gonna talk. It was nice seeing you participate in the tournament. Is there anything you wanna say or add on um to the uh add on to the side? How did you feel for your first time entering something like this? Uh, how did me, uh, how did, uh, Info for, feel for the first time of entering a tournament like this? And, while well, I am that. Where's Boar meets Evil? Okay, I don't know if Boar meets Evil is here. He's the only one. Oh, Cat Daddy, you gotta get going. Have a good stream, everyone. No problem. Thank you so much for the cap, uh, for the follow, Cat Daddy, and hope you enjoy your uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Damn, those runs are looking tough. Yeah, Sun Eaters. It, this is a. I was actually expecting more of this to happen last um, yesterday, with uh, more, you know, people getting uh, not disqualified but uh, forfeiting because their characters are target banned, and but instead it is happening at the finals here. <laughs> Oh, welcome in, Alexia. Uh, Boy Meets Evil wasn't... I don't know. Boy Meets Evil was the only one who is... Um, I have not seen him here at all. I tried adding him in chat for a few times, but is any does anyone know him personally that we could get a quick message to him? But yeah, so we should... Uh... Hey, Lyle, maybe Koi didn't know that the time changed? Well, I messaged in the chat too that, um... Yo, DM? Okay, thank you, Rifle. Just a sec. Since we saw on the poster? Oh, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Yuki, hold on. You mean the... Was it this poster? Because this one is even... It, it did say 5 p.m. though. But I made it earlier for two hours. How is it? It shouldn't be 9 p.m. I mean, shouldn't it be 9 PST? That's a four hour difference. Yeah, it was five. And I know um, it was definitely confusing. It's because I had to change the time. I didn't update the poster as well. You convert it to your time. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't change the poster as well because um, 
it was about a like, two hour difference but i did met, um update it in the discord chat uh and also on the stream yesterday but it did take a while to you know basically uh set everything up But yeah, this is gonna be at least Yuki. Um, your next opponent is gonna be uh, unfriendly Casper, and we still need to know who, who Celestial uh, Shower is gonna fight against, either Boy or Aaron. I know um, Aaron was in chat early, uh, was both in chat and in the tournament chat, so we're gonna see how it goes. And also for the um, fourth place, uh, fourth place people, um, so Beam and info and refo please dm me your uh, login information so i could at least uh, swipe on your account for the five dollar um genesis crystals or a welcome win just let me know which one you want and i will be paying that um after the tournament just because i don't want to do that midstream okay and while we do here let's do the time edit the time <clears throat> Okay, yeah, my throat is slowly dying even more. I okay. Wow, well, we're having a quick break right now. Let me let me message my coworker that I'm gonna be going to work a little bit late tomorrow. Let me see. How many people are left if you don't mind asking? Your head is still spinning. Yuki, are you okay? Yuki, is this... Uh, is this too confusing? Okay. Uh, we... Uh, if we be, uh, have Boy uh, and Aaron here, that's gonna be like, one match. And then another... And the winner of this match is gonna be facing Celestial Shower. But you are going to be facing uh, Unfriendly Casper. So unless... Oh, oh, you woke up in a bad way. I'm so sorry for all the confusion. I was all, I also messed up where um, I didn't update everyone. I didn't ping the Discord about the time difference as well um, for the change. But because I realized we have seven um, stream uh, seven matches to go through, I and I also have work on Mon uh, the next day, which is tomorrow for me. Um, I needed to start earlier as well so I could get all the matches done, and I sleep at around midnight. But that was about it. <clears throat> uh, and let me see. So we, uh, you could get a small break right now, Yuki. Um, uh, but if we happen to, but if we don't have Boy Made Evil here, we will, we could have uh you versus Unfriendly Casper's match first because you guys are already decided. That's that. Uh, and both of you are ready here, which is going to the uh semifinals. Do you have more hot tea you can drink to soothe the throat? Oh, thank you, Luxoria. Um, I finished both all my tea already. Since we have a small break right now, is that alright if I make more hot tea then? Um, since we're waiting for a reply from Boy Made Evil. And if he is still not back by the time um, I'm done with my tea, which is gonna take tea, uh, like, you know, one or two minutes. Um, let us have Yuki versus uh, Unfriendly uh, Casper for the next match. Is that okay? Um, and thank you, Alexia, you love the Kachin cosplay? Yeah, uh, this, um, Kachin is actually one of the more comfortable cosplays, um, that I can, uh, wear. It's just a lot of the wigs are very, are very, uh, tiresome. So I'm very low on energy today, I'm so sorry about that, but I'll do my best to continue, uh, hosting everything. And sure, you don't mind, and you probably lose. No, don't say that, Yuki. Honestly, like, out of all the ones, I was saying earlier, like, I think right before you appear, I was saying that you were a very strong contender with your last matchup versus um, Toffee Man last night as well. And it was, like, definitely someone need, um, you were someone that the other opponents need to watch out for and to target ban. But also, Celestial Shower is another uh, player that is very dangerous to fight. And so, uh, right now, we are, like, clearing out a lot of the pools. Boy May Evil and Aaron B A N are gonna be another two car uh, two opponents that are scary to fight against, uh, fight against as well. So, uh, it's gonna be interesting to see who's gonna be, um, making it to the finals and who is the winner of it all. Some people are already have a guess of who it's gonna be. But for me, 
I'm just gonna be I'm enjoying the matches as we go but all right since we are still waiting uh, from the reply back uh, to uh, from refill hopefully boy is awake <laughs> I'm gonna make some tea real fast so I'll be right back you what if I play you here is some quick ad break no I'm kidding let me run a one minute ad break <laughs> this is a true sponsor <laughs> this is gonna be a true um tournament stream
Okay, okay. I made some tea. As Pogu. <laughs> yeah, thank you. We really can't be a tournament without some words from our sponsorship. Ray, shut up. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping Rifo will win instead of Casper. Oh my gosh. Oh, boy, my Rifo, welcome in. Oh, we were waiting for you. Did you just wake up too? Yeah, that was a bit sad. Yeah, I honestly, I really wanted to see Rifo's um, Ito gameplay again. That was really interesting. But unfortunately, uh, because uh, Casper target banned, um, his Goro, he wasn't able to bring Ito with, I mean, uh, Ito on the stage. And hi, Efrain. Yeah, we're, we back again with the, uh, we're back again, uh, <laughs> with the chair stream. Alright, let me catch up in chat real fast. Yes, there's the previews and there's the players. And Luxoria, yes, there's the prizes as well. What tea did I get? Oh, I found some honey, Luxoria. So I managed to make green tea with, um, some honey in it. Um, no lemon though. Uh, sadly, no lemon, um, and I didn't have any ginger tea as well. But it's okay. Um, green tea with honey is still should be enough. Um, Straddles, you know, in the beginning when I first started streaming, I actually did get a Ray Shadow Legend sponsorship. So I did. I did have um, two streams dedicated to that, so I was um, just basically memeing on Ray Shadow Legends, and um, because there was a. Um, a minimum amount of time you need to stream for Rain Shadow Legends. I ran out of ideas on, I ran out of things on what to do, and I was like, oh. <laughs> And I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rank every Ray Shadow Legends character based on my aesthetic or husbando type. And I spent like around an hour or something trying to find a husbando in a Ray Shadow Legend and was very disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, are you guys ready for another Ray Shadow Legends sponsorship? <laughs> Next time, yep. Yeah, Rifo, no worries. Anyways, you gotta go sleep. Y'all have to fun f uh, with the rest of the tournament. And Cardi, thank you so much for having me on. No problem, Rifo. Thank you so much for participating. If you're curious about who is going to be a winner, feel free to check out the old vault, um, this vault, whenever you're available. Hopefully, after you wake up, I will still not be streaming again. But thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much for your time and being patient um, with us here. And especially, f thank you for pa being patient with me. And um, uh, despite our time difference, and I hope you had a lot of fun with the tournament and i hope to see you next time as well even if it's not for your tournament i hope to see you in the future streams too and my internship you got a raid ahead you think <laughs> it's because ray shadow legend is the number one mmo on mobile <laughs> anyways gonna go oh wait hold on good night but yeah good night good night i'm handsome ranku welcome in oh let me give you guys your um prediction outcome as well while um uh... Let's see, since Bormay and Evil, you're here, I need to add Ephemer, uh, Ephemer now. Boy and, uh, Ephemer, uh, your match is up. Uh, please at least respond to the tournament chat so I can make sure that you guys are, um, uh, respond to the Discord so I make, so it's sure that you guys are here. And then, uh, let me see, you're betting on Casper because you believe? Well, we'll see how that goes, Yuki. Because that is your next matchup. And Kino Lei, welcome in, welcome in. Good luck, contestants. Yes, we had three um, fights already. So now we're heading on to our fourth fight, which is Boy Made Evil versus Aaron Bian. And both of them are here at the same time. Uh, let's head into the waiting room. Um, head into the waiting room and choose heads or tails. So, this is gonna be very interesting uh, matchup. You, um, this is gonna be the last match for the quarter semifinals. And uh, the, whoever advances, uh, wins this um, matchup, will be fighting Celestial Shower first. So, let's see if Celestial Shower is here. Better start taking notes because these are gonna be two very strong contestants to fight against. So we're um for, we're going over the coin flip phase. It's gonna be tails for Ethmer and boy uh, is heads. So we're gonna go flip a stage. I mean flip the coins out and it is heads. Boy choose A or B. Play your A or B. And if you guys um remember uh, the PVP abyss uh, dock is right. Oops. Where's the PVP abyss dock? Okay, do uh, right here the Google Doc and all the rules and all the same is here. And also, by the way, for the rules doc, I just put 3 p.m. PST here. I don't know how Yuki got 9 p.m. I'm so sorry. Okay, and this is where the ban and uh, or all the rules are and where the draft order is gonna be. Oh wait, <clears throat> so right here, let me reset the uh, reset the timer. 
I mean the cards and boy is deciding to choose player A so uh, after the draft phase I will um, I will uh, set up a prediction uh, so you guys to uh, predict who and um, bet your points on who's gonna be the winner of this round okay so boy is choosing player A he's gonna get the first ban Okay, 30 seconds to choose your first character ban. And let me lower the music a little. Oh, immediately he is gonna be target banning Ayaka. Okay. Is anyone even surprised at this point? Okay, Fmer, choose your first ban and first pick. And while I am here, I'm gonna slowly enjoy my tea as well. <laughs> and also, I messaged my co-worker, I'm just gonna head to work a little bit late. <laughs> and she said it was okay. Okay. And Ethmer is decided to ban Hu Tao and pick Bunnet. Oh, this is the first time we see a Hu Tao ban. And Aaron's gonna pick um, Bunnet first. And let's see what Yuki's gonna do. Oh, I mean, sorry. Boy, uh, next two characters. Not Yuki. <laughs> Too used to that. From the last round still. Okay. This is the first time we see a Hu Tao ban. But then Hu Tao has been very um, half and half between all of the fights so far. Half are winning, half are losing. And Boy decided to choose Zhang Ling and Xing Cho. Pick taking both of those characters at the same time. Zhang Ling and Xun Cho. Oops. Okay. And now, Ephraim, uh, the next two characters, please. So he, and there is a high chance that they're gonna be choosing one of the two supports here and blocking um, Boy Meets Evil from taking Bennett. And, like I expected, uh, Ephraim decided to pick Raiden and also picking Chin Chou. Blocking, uh, this is gonna be a possibly Raiden uh, semi uh, yeah, Raiden national tea team support, um, replacing Shanling with someone else. Uh, Boeing, next two characters. So they're gonna have to be very careful with the supports, because now they, um, Shen Chu is on both sides, but one has Bennett and one has, uh, Shanling. And usually, the one with the Bennett might have a higher advantage, considering how in, um, Ephmer's pick right now, Raiden is going to be, uh, very strong with these two supports. Okay, Boyd has chosen Rosaria and Chong Yun. And then another Chong Yun gameplay that we see today. A very good ice application for um for again for the teams um on second stage. Okay. And let me see. Okay, and pick the fourth character and second ban. I'm trying to save my voice. <coughs> okay, ban Xiangling and pick Diona. Ooh. Oh, wait, it's right here. Yeah, ban Xiangling and pick Diona, preventing the, um, the shielding for both teams. Ooh. Okay. Okay, and then, boy, your next uh, ban and next kick. And, oh, Aaron was a very good choice because he has decided to steal the other, um, healer from the, uh, I'm sorry, other healer from the team and banning the, uh, the strongest one of all, though. Let's see what boy is gonna choose for the next two characters and see how they're gonna counter this. Ban Eula and pick Toma. Oh, wow. Eula's gonna be banned, um, from Aaron's pick team and Toma. Another a good fire shielder actually. What team is he gonna use? They're all four stars right now. Very interesting. F for next two characters, please. Hm. 
that fly. Okay, pick Ganyu and Mona! Effort is picking Ganyu and Mona. Another furry popular uh, combo together on this team as well. Our pair being picked in this uh, competition. Okay, and boy, next two characters. Add one at a time. And this, this Aaron's teams are looking very strong already. Uh, because there could be a Raiden national team on the first half and a Morg um and a Freeze Ganyu team on the second. Not not technically, maybe not Morgana, unless he decides to add in Sucrose. But so far, just a straight up Freeze team is really strong on second. Waiting. Beto and Venti now. Ooh, just on time as well. Beto on the first half and Venti on the second. And then, uh, and Eren, last two character. The silence is killing you. This is too stressful. Beam, it's because I'm also silently looking at the characters they have right now as well. And see what the options they're allowed to choose. I can't say anything though. And I'm trying not to talk too much because I could feel my throat hurting every time I talk. So I'm sorry about that. Sucrose and Shenha from Ephemer's theme. Or that... Uh, that's their last two characters. Sucrose and Shenha. Okay. And your last character, boy? Okay, let me see. That is Eren's theme. It's gonna be very scary because it looks like the bo uh, the bottom player two has a stronger roster. But we'll see. Four stars are also no slouch. I believe Boy Meets Evil is the one that has no four no five star weapons as well. Kazuma has been forgotten, Aiko. Or maybe there is a chance that they don't have a Kazuha. <laughs> Sash. <laughs> Barbara. And the last one for boys team is gonna be Barbara. So this is what the final roster is gonna look like. I will put this in the Charmant chat as well. Copy paste. And then while that happens, I will go uh, move them over to our uh, streaming live scene and have them share their screen. Why would anyone pick Kasua here in this draft and at this point? I think Kasua is just a good character all around, but it was very difficult to use um, him. To use him. But I feel like he will at least be a little bit more useful than Venti. So it's gonna be uh, hard to see what um, what team boy is gonna be starting off with with this. Because it seems like um, Effort uh, did purposely target ban the Hu Tao. But boy is target banning Ayaka and um, Yula from their team. Okay, if you guys could start sharing the screen and um, show off the uh, show your five stars uh, weapons, that'd be great. And then uh, while we're doing this, let me start a prediction. Who will win on this here? It is Boy Meet Evil versus um, Aaron Bn. Five minutes. And let me start the time here. Yeah, but he struggles against uh, Maku Kenki. I would still think that Kasuwa is better than uh, Venti. Oh, oops. But it, it will be hard to say. We'll see. We'll see how Boy Meets Evil use him. Because maybe Venti will be in the first half, though he will be more useful in the second half. Cardi, you look really tired. Hope you could withstand the work tomorrow. Oh, Leviathan, then don't worry. I will simply perish. I will simply perish. It's okay, I messaged my co-worker and I said I'm gonna hop, uh, go in a little later tomorrow. And she said it was fine. Aaron, uh, Kasuma for Aaron will be good. He is looking to run, uh, Raiden, Shinsho, Banat, Animo. Hmm. 
but he did not choose it. Instead, he chose Sucrose. So we'll see how they're gonna be uh, changing uh, their teams around. Yeah, you thought so too? You think? You never use Venti, so you don't know, you're just a poor frog. <laughs> Yuki, is, you, they're still doing really well, but um... Fenty is really more for crowd control, but Kazuha does give attack buff. So damage-wise, Kazuha would be probably um, better in the long run for a team setup. Here we go, we're seeing from, um, boys team. <laughs> They're going, ah, oh, yay Miko tail. Wow, I love yay Miko, please come here. I'm ready to roll for my waifu when she appears. But anyways, here we are, having boy upgrading artifacts mid, mid tournament again. This is a very, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is killing me. You guys upgrading characters and upgrading artifacts mid tournament? Yo, DD Hearts, thank you so much for the raid! How are you doing? Uh, the, uh, what were you playing? Uh, Genshin earlier as well? Thank you for the follow, um... Uh, Astrides? Astrides? I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And yo, Zelda, welcome in! Hello, Mew Mew. Mew Mew Fox, hello, BB Heart, and hello, Bela. Viola, it's sad cat. Oh my gosh, I, I, I also love sad cat memes. But let me give you a little pet. It's okay. How you're doing today? And Kevin knows. And uh, welcome in, welcome in, everyone. Hello, Raiders. Oh my god, you love Oh, thank you so much. Oh, sorry, there's a little fly here. So I'm like, working. Thank you so much. Um, my, uh, my community voted for a Kachin cosplay today. Because right now, um, we are playing Genshin. Uh, we are hosting a PvP uh, Genshin Impact tournament. So what that means is, um, I'm hosting this tournament. If you look at the rules, as PvP Abyss and also players. We have 21 participants, but now we're at the finals um, for all of them. See that? And so the grand prize, it's a $230 prize pool, but uh, the grand uh, the grand prize for the first place winner is $100. And there's a lot of restrictions of this, meaning that five-star characters are li limited to C2 constellations. And um, there's only three five-star weapons you're allowed to use throughout the whole team, and they're only limited to refinement rank one. And shared pool means there's no duplicate characters on both teams. So um, we're having something um, as this uh, for people who are bored of Genshin Endgames and want to test their skills against other players as well. And I decided to, um, this is the third time I'm hosting it. And we are having um, the finals today. But welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a wonderful stream. Let me know. Uh, what did you do? Are you excited for the next uh, banner as well? And young boy, welcome in! Cosplay looking nice, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just a little bit tired right now because I streamed uh, for a really long time uh, just last night and my voice is dying from all the commentation and all the uh, all the uh, co uh, hosting it. But I hope you had a wonderful uh, stream as well. Thank you for the warm welcome. Zelda suggested you. So lovely to meet you and your cosplay. Looks oh my gosh, I hope you're doing a Mona one very soon. Yes, BB, I do have a lot of um, uh, cosplays. I have a Mona one as well, along with an Ayaka and... Um, shoot, what was that? Along with an Ayaka, Lumine, and Yai Miko. So, um, I, my social media ac uh, actually shows off my recent... Um, my recent Mona cosplay. So let me do a quick show real fast while the players are still getting ready for this. So this is uh, my Mona cosplay from the uh, from just recently as well. <laughs> Sorry for the scuff edits. And I also have a few um, cosplays here from uh, my Kachin recently and Yaimiko. But anyways, that's enough about that. But yeah, I also cosplay um, on stream as well too. So I hope you are enjoying uh, your time here. Thank you so much, Zelda, for your for your suggestions, and I will go check you out for sure um, uh, for VP Hearts too. Welcome in, welcome in, uh, the last Choi, and thank you so much for all the follows too. Mew Mew Fox, Zanjos, VP Hearts, um, Iani Boo, and Mystic uh, May Chat too. Okay, and let me see. And yes, there is a PvP abyss going on. So uh, right now, the uh, if you are interested, our bracket. Uh, this is what our bracket currently looks like. Where um, we had a, a twelve matches uh, last night, so it was a thirteen-hour stream. This one, uh, we're having Boy Made Evil versus Aaron BN. The whoever wins this stage is gonna be fighting so fighting Celestial Shower in the um 
semifinals. And then um, after that, we were going to see the winner of this one will advance to semi uh, to yeah to the grand finals. And whoever wins between Yuki or Casper will advance to the grand finals as well. So it's gonna be a few um, interesting matchups um, for the next few hours. And then um, they are uh, going to be preparing um, to head into the abyss soon. And yes, Roman, you're back in time. We are about to start it, uh, start our uh, match for Boy Made, Made Evil versus um, Efner right now. <laughs> People will laugh at your account if they log in. Don't worry, Yuki. I I have a note on everyone's account too. Don't worry, chat. You'll turn on Celestial Wi-Fi. Do you mean turn on or turn off, Sherp? So you mean you want uh, Celestial to win? Sounds your hookah that uh, that vape damage when not vaping. <laughs> this episode looks pretty cool to watch. Thank Sanjo, thank you so much. If you're interested in the abyss, uh, official rules, um, exclamation mark PVP abyss brings out to the Google Doc right here. I am hoping to host this at least uh, once a month. This is my third time hosting it as well, so, and it's been really fun seeing um, everyone uh, be entertained and also joining the competition. Cause our first tournament is only had four players. Our second tournament had 8 players And this time for our third one We had a total of 21 players too So it, it has been um, getting a lot of interest which I'm very happy for And hope, But we will um, But there are still a lot of minor details and logistics I will still have to carry uh, work out in the future But I hope everyone um, enjoys their time watching um, Watching uh, basically the players compete against each other And see um, how it goes And also I forgot to change I forgot to change the name right here. So right here now is Boy Meets Evil versus Aaron. Oops, Aaron Bien, and that uh, this is based on their Twitch name. Oh, and it's already been uh, eight minutes, so they will need to head into into Abyss soon. Uh, please head into the Abyss and finalize your characters, uh, Boy. Okay. Can I make a quick dinner? Yeah, no problem, Alexia. Go we'll get some food. That's some dedication. Wait, what did Yuki say? Kutao is basically your main carry on your account and you spent six bars, bummy. Oh no, Yuki. That's why people target ban your Hutao because they saw how strong she is. And uh, incredible. Yeah, honestly, six months. Um, The longest I spent farming for artifacts was um, f around four months for my wolf. Uh, I mean, not for, for my Crimson Witch died look too. But V, um, I, know, uh, I know you must have a long stream as well. Make sure you get some food, get some rest for yourself. Thank you so much for sending your community over to me. And I hope that you are enjoying your time here lurking and uh, resting too. So thank you, thank you so much for your support. Now you end. You just have some um, imposed limitation that you won't change your team unless you can't 30 star. Mm. Yes, yeah, honestly, good luck with your future match, Yuki. Okay, and now, so, alright, this is the finalized team. Uh, on the left side, it's boys, um, Boy Me Evil. They are using uh, Vent uh, Venti, Rosaria, Beidou, and Barbara. On the first team, second half is Chongyun, Chongyun, Shincho, uh, Toma, and Xianling. And then on Efmer's side, the first team is going to be the Raiden National Comp, um, as we expected, uh, with um, Sucrose for the very, very decent shred. And then second half is going to be the Freeze team with Ganyu, of course, with Shunha support, um, Mona, and also Diona. So player A is going to be Boy Meets Evil. So player A... Okay, uh, we're going to start off with player A's match, so that will be Boy Meets Evil. And while Efmer, please head into the Abyss and don't select any Abyss cards yet. Okay, and Boy Me Evil is using Wolf Greystone, Elegy, and Homa on theirs end, while Efmer is using Engulfie, Lightning, Skyward Spine, and Amos Bowl. Right here, let me uh, turn up the stream setting again. Uh, turn up the audio. Wait, making sure. Let me mute this. Going back to here. And now we are starting off with the first chamber on Boy Me Made. Yes, Boy Me Evil, you're good to go. Which, starting off, they're having a really good um, attack card for character elemental skill damage plus 20%. Okay, let's see if um, if they have any audio on their side. If not, then I will probably put some background music again. And boy, you're good to go. Okay, yeah, they don't have any audio. So I'll keep up the music in the background. Okay, so starting off with the Venti, getting getting the Cairo Shred right into switching over to Rosaria Beidou Burst, and then 
getting a lot of deep uh, chip damage around too from all the characters. Putting, uh, oh man, okay, uh, their uh, the DPS looks slightly um. Looks to be very tough. It's gonna be a tough matchup for them if they are if this is their uh, team at the moment. All of it, it does not really main DPS damage. Um, except for Beto will be with her Wolf Greystone, but uh, the Perpetual Array does have um, uh, physical damage resistance as well. And he and they is the machine is not able to freeze. So uh, Barbara and Rosaria is not gonna be um, good for here. Okay, ready in the uh, DPS phase, I mean the minion phase. Gonna force it into, oh nice. Force that in right next to the main body of the array. Putting Venti in, okay, uh, Rosaria dash back in as well. Getting the, some damage on the, getting damage on the minion. Going back in with Rosaria, switching over. Ooh, low HP, ha oh, half health HP on Rosaria though. But it's okay, Barbara is right there with her um, skills to keep everyone healthy again. Another burst, Good night. Um, going to do the cycle in. Okay, now they're quickly getting damage on the perfect on the minions as well. Putting back Chang Yun. This is yeah, this is definitely a tough matchup for Boy. Their character um is that was definitely target banned as well. Uh yeah, their character was target banned um from their main DPS and they have to rely on basically Venti's uh allergy um to get more damage in and all the chip damage from um Beto and Rosaria. And Barba as a healer too. This is gonna be a tough uphill battle for him, since uh it does seem like um F Aaron does have a stronger team in the back um as a lineup. Aaron bands and picks were very strong, yes indeed. Encounter with Fatal, no no crit unfortunately. Gonna be putting Venti back to work. Another swirl. Two over two minutes has passed by, but only one dirt HP is has been taken off of the array only. Okay, another uh, Beto counter getting some ER back, but very hard to generate energy on all of their teams right now too. From what it looks like, they just have to slowly whittle down um, the damage from all the characters. But, uh, and they're going to be forced into another um, minion phase, getting the rune sentinels in, a Rosaria burst down. Okay, now at least these ones, the minions are able to be frozen, but will it be enough to keep, kill it fast enough? Time to plunge with Venti, <laughs> the secret meta. Another Venti burst here to, to um, writing aimed at the sentinels was not, okay, now it got electro infusion, able to get some DPS going on even more. Budget Xiao. Hu Tao is simply horizontal Xiao, right? It's taking quite a long time for him to clear the first chamber still. We are at over 3 minutes and 30 seconds now. Going back to the main uh, body of the array. Another Venti burst, getting Beto in. Go boy, go you believe. <laughs> Any believers in chat? Okay, now doing quick some quick damage work as long as they have all the burst up getting we killing the weakened um, array, but still they're still less than 58 uh, 50 percent HP on the uh, uh, mechanical array Okay, another few seconds stall by the array. He's gonna probably absorbing the sentinels. Yes, he is uh, But all of his venti placements are really good from what it looks like for uh, elemental burst But unfortunately this team does not seem to have enough DPS because right now it is over four minutes Another beta counter no crit on beta counter unfortunately, but at least getting her burst back Getting um switching over again to rosaria rosaria burst again venti e right now this is a very tough battle. This team got bad synergy. Yeah, so it happens a lot with tar uh, like Luxoria said, it happens a lot with target banning. Uh Eren Ephmer was able to see was able to see that uh they really their Hu Tao was really strong, but they immediately banned Hu Tao from um their team. Because, uh, yeah, I believe Eren's first ban was Hu Tao. Whereas, uh, Boy's first ban was, um, Ayaka. 
Yeah, this team has no energy to feed in my- Yeah, especially since Venti is using Elegy, while it is stronger, but there is no Favonius weapon on any of the characters. And Beto is looking very low on HP as well. And even Barba. Barba's elemental skill does not give her energy at all. I believe Beto is using Deathmatch from what it looks like, so no ER. People seem to choke hard today. Target bans hurt, but that's the tournament for you. Yeah, well, I think it's also on the first day. You all, no one knows every uh, each other's um, targets as well. On the first day, um, no one knows what their strongest characters are. That's why they were able to use them at that time. But now in the final, uh, in the semifinals um, or quarterfinals, people are able to recognize what character to ban. But um, they have studied each other intensively, and now they know to pick. Now they know how to like uh, pick and ban the characters and prevent their opponent from using their strongest. Absolutely love your moderation on the vials. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Vivi. Um, I was yeah, I basically was doing this for uh, 13 hours yesterday as well. So my voice has actually been dying. I normally I would be more hyped for it, but this is really an unfortunate matchup from Boy Made Evil side because um they had just woken up, they got a slight headache, or was it that, or was that y Yuki? Sorry. <laughs> But Boy May Evo the seems uh, did appear late, so who knows if, um, if they were a if they even got enough rest for today as well. And with their ca strongest characters getting target banged and picked, the only ones they have used is a very weird team of Venti, Barbara, Rosaria, and Beto. And it puts them takes them almost seven minutes. Hey, they got an achievement though. <laughs> hey, you got an achievement. Took them seven minutes to clear the first half. Beto deathmatch. Ex <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, Rosaria deathmatch. Beto was using gravestone. Your opponent has uh, no weakness in terms of draft. You feel? Oh no, Yuki. Um, I know. I am very familiar with your opponent's uh, character roster. I can't say anything. But um, you'll be surprised. <laughs> the achievement. Congratulations on your achievement, boy. <laughs> Good night, guys. You need to sleep in your... Oh, thank you so much, handsome Ranku. I feel that you're very handsome as well. But yes, please get some rest. Thank you so much for hopping in and looking for um for today. And thank you. I will. Um, I love to cosplay as well. So I'll try to do more in the future. Achievement is always a bonus. Yes, getting those extra primo gems. So. From what we can do, boy um, is gonna. We could have boy clear the first stage for both half, but if Aaron is gonna have an overwhelming lead at the second half, we might. I don't know if both players wanna go through the second stage and continue on with it, or we will just move on to the next uh, to the next matchup. You have an idea too, but you don't have the roster to fight it. Oh no, Yuki. Yeah, this is the problem be um, that I seem to notice because even for free to play, they don't have a lot of characters geared, or even if they have a lot of supports geared, they don't have enough DPS characters to substitute. Oh, thank you for all oh, pet top ma'am. Thank you so much for the follow too. Are did you just wake up? Um, we are having our tournament um, right now. This is Boy Made Evil versus Aaron Bn, but unfortunately, Aaron Bn was able to target um. Target banned boys' uh, teams too, so now uh, uh, boy is having a slight trouble on fighting the first chamber at all because he took around almost 7 minutes to clear the perpetual array. Now with the Chanyu, Shenyu, Toma, and Xiangling team too, as well as um, all these 4 stars, especially um, Xiangling is gonna be good uh, synergized with um, Xinqiu, it won't be f still won't be fast enough to get amazing clear time overall. You just woke up? <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I figure since you guys are like in a t different time zones. But welcome in, welcome in. We um, have a lot of matchups to go through. Um, but from what it looks like, everyone is struggling um, with the target ban and pick phase. Because now that everyone seems familiar with each other's roster and knowing to ban whichever the, their strongest characters, um, people have been uh, forfeiting or not able to clear the chamber at all. You consider Maple the strongest contestant last tourney and per- Oh shoot, sorry I messed up on the time. It was two- What was the time? It was two minutes left? Top down ca <laughs> camera, interesting. 507? 
507. Thank you, Zelda. Thank you, Zelda. 507. So now we're gonna go to Ephmer stage. Let's see how they are gonna perform here. Ephmer definitely does have a stronger team because they have the Raiden National on the first half. And, and uh, I forgot what their team for the second half is, but... Oh, it was a Ganyu Freeze team. You consider Mabel the strongest contestant last tourney and press this tourney as well, but you are strong too. Perleaving yourself. Yeah, Vima actually thinks Celestio is another strong contender, but we'll see how it goes. Mabel does have a slight edge this time around, but you'll never know. Top down camera, interesting. And hi, unknown user. Thank you so much for still hanging out here. And Ghostly, welcome in. Welcome in. Was 133? Okay. Thank you, Zoss. I will probably delete all those clips later, but 1033? Yeah, 507. Okay, so here we have the Raiden uh, national team. It's always hard uh, get getting uh, Sucrose's first um, right at the uh, right at the way, but already 30 seconds in, our, a third of the HP is already taken down from the perpetual array. Getting um, really good energy recharge from Raiden, getting um, sacri using sacrificial on Shincho, his best insult weapon, and then getting some tasers. Immediately, as soon as she has the burst up, they're gonna use it. That was 164k crit on Raiden without Banette ult, by the way. And now being forced into the um, minion phase, waiting to see which one is gonna be. And yes, that's the one with the golden ring on it, so he's gonna be focusing on that one. This is the only one to take damage. And uh, now we're gonna be using another uh, round of burst skills, Shincho. Shincho, is it gonna use a Sucrose? Yes. Oh, Sucrose is just gonna be using the skills. And then going back to Raiden along with the burst, I missed out on the damage. But it's okay because I missed out on the uh, burst, but it's okay because he's able to quickly clear the first him fast and he's just a little bit more excited. I don't know if he's gonna be using another Raiden burst for the last round, but he is gonna be using a, a Banette and Shinshu instead. And then just getting some ER back for the next stage, possibly. Yeah. And then he should be clearing that with 1 minute and 30 seconds. Very quick first half clear. Did you know, uh, did you log the draft this time around? If yes, would you mind sharing it so we can see if they're correct or not? Oh wait! The unknown user logged the draft? Oh no, then Was that 50k on show? I don't know, but I would believe it if it was. Okay, now here with the Shenhush, uh, Ganyu... Ganyu Freeze team, this is gonna be another uh, great team to fight against um, for the first and two chambers. So now we've got a new charge attacks. Was this uh, with an animal spoil, I believe? Switching over to Mona for quickly getting some Oma Diva. So I quickly using Shenha, then getting the extra icy kill on Ganyu as well to get increase her charge attack. I have learned recently that if you do charge shots, I mean charge shots, headshots with Ganyu, it's a guaranteed crit. So always aim for the head, you guys. Just like a zombie uh, logic, you always shoot for the head. Great damage. He's gonna be focusing on the um, focusing on the pyro lector because the best mage is gonna without his shield, the best mage is very easy to kill. And there is still the second phase of the pyro lector. He had to go uh, kill um, for. Yes, for breaking his shielding, he's gonna be switching over Mona, but he took damage on that, unfortunately. Missed out on the eye framing, but it's okay, because he got um, Diona sh shielding and healing back in, focusing on Mona uh, to breaking the sh shield on both sides. Doing amazing work already um, for it, too. Three minutes has passed, but he only needs a few seconds left in order to break the shield completely. Mona doing quick work on the side um, immediately, and he should be clearing the first chamber in 650. 650. So the time is 190. All right. The, there, there's an overwhelming, um, <laughs> overwhelming difference between the first half and second half. Should we just continue to chamber two? Would you like, would you guys like to continue to chamber two? And see if he could make a comeback like um, the previous matchups before? If I remember correctly, yeah. I think it was Celestial made a huge comeback. Jeez, the target ban was so strong. Mm -hmm. Which character did they decide to share? I believe it was right here. Uh, Shincho. 
Shinchu is always definitely gonna be the share character. Mm hmm. Okay, boy. I'm at your screen right now, so feel free to start whenever you're ready. And since there's no music, let me put that in the background. That's a 317 second. 317 second difference. So that's about five minutes. Or, or a little bit over five minutes. There's a chance that Freeze Team won't do well in Magu. Mm hmm, for sure. We noticed that Freeze Team or Ganyu Team does not do that uh, well against Ganyu, even, I mean, against Magu Kenki. Even if they are able to clear, it is a take a long time. The strong, uh, the strongest contender against Magu Kenki was or is Ayaka, but Ayaka was target banned along with Hu Tao. You think he should have maybe grabbed Banette instead? It was difficult. Um, no, okay, so Eren chose Banette first i believe um but then boy chose uh shincho and Xianling as their first characters okay so now okay nice dps going down rotating the cycles uh the damage in rosaria close to getting the burst but getting knocked back around barbara emergency heals going back to rosaria again so that should be enough for damage yes unfortunately no shield but nice counter dirty 2k counter crit on um fatal for against the j shower uh, against his shower attack stage pressure does happen to people mm -hmm. especially when it happened when it's uh, like a finals or semi quarterly finals match too okay so now they are uh fighting um against the primal geo fish up very Another shield counter. Ooh, Beto does not have her um, counter up, and instead Venti took it straight to the face, was not able to dodge or iframe. And now we're going back here, get, uh, focusing on um, getting the swirl in. But oof, just a little bit out of place from Venti's roll, just getting a little bit damaged, but no infusion, unfortunately. Okay, putting the Rosaria to work, getting some Barbara heal as well, dodging from his flame breath. Switching over back to Venti for ER. At least he's go having a really good rotation for all of the teams. Where are we at in the tournament? Um, do exclamation mark uh, players. Then you get to see it, Genji. Uh, see the bracket. Okay. I'm gonna iframe the bar uh, with Barbara instead. Getting some damage out. You believe you'll probably mess up a lot if you do this tournament from Nurse? That happens. That definitely happens, Demi. We are in the semi. Yeah, semi. Yeah, semi-finals. Semi. Yeah. Am I? I'm sorry. I cannot think. All right, we're going back to Venti Swirl. A good placement. Uh, fire. Um, I mean not fire. A uh, good hydro placement. As well, putting some uh Rosaria down. Putting uh, getting some swipe on Beto. Oh no, it took some damage, but it's okay because Barbara is able to heal everyone. Oh, need to use a counter, and he's gonna be timing it. Another dirty 2k crit on um, Beto's counter. Putting the shield um, down too for extra electro damage. Getting some auto attacks in with Rosaria while they're waiting for all their cooldowns to end. This is a quarter final match. Uh, next two will be the two semifinals and then grand. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, there was. Wait, no, wasn't it? Quarter, semi, and then grand finals? Oh, hey, welcome in, Songhan. How's uh, Genshin going? Pretty good. We're all doing our PvP Abyss right now. But we are... Ha this is uh, going to be a very tough matchup uh, for Boy Meets Evil versus Eren Bian. Because Eren was target banning all of the char uh, strong characters from um, Boy. So, but he is toughing it out, staying strong in the second half. But Beto, very low on HP with just 1,000 HP. Quickly getting some Barba heals on. And using the Barba skill, uh, and it's just a sliver of HP left on the Primal Geo Fish Up, but it's still taking him almost four minutes to clear the uh, Primal Geo Fish Up, especially when it's getting whack around like that, too. Also, you guys, I have to go to restroom again. Okay, now this is the second half. <laughs> Can we take a quick break after this? I'm sorry, I drank a lot. <laughs> okay, but I'll be, um,. Okay, we we're gonna continue this. Okay, here with uh, Changyun, Shincho, Toma, and Xianling team as well. There's no healers except for Shincho on this team once again. A lot of people have been just relying on Shincho swords to get through their time, 
get through um, all their heals, but he is uh, able to heal quite a lot. Sometimes almost 5k total um, HP, but you have to cycle through where the rain starts rotation are gonna be. And right now, um, battle, uh, Shanling is using Staff of Homo, increasing the crit damage. I hopefully he has enough crit rate to make sure that Shanling does enough DPS on um, while using her Fire Tornado. Forget. This is just Tommy. You need to maybe one more flex DPS the time anyway. Mm, for sure, a lot of support. Uh, I mean, not a lot of the supports are very similar, but DPS is very important too. But there are more DPS than supports in the game. And you love my cosplay. Thank you so much. I um I quickly got ready um earlier for now, but I am slowly dying for it. <laughs> but I'm glad that it looks decent on stream at least. Sally, there's not much team variation. It's either Melt Vape or Taser. Yeah. If you're especially low spender or free uh low spender for free to play and such, there's a limit on how many characters you could build. Whereas compared to the whales, who well, probably rolls for um a lot of the characters, they will at least have more supports uh they could uh use and more DPS they could uh change and flex through. And Freeze too, if you count Morgana. Morgana uh, Freeze team is really power, uh, strong in this Abyss around. It's just that you have to work around the Magu Kenki. But then for the first half, even with a Pyro main DPS, which there are a lot of Pyro main DPS. There's Diluc, Hu Chao, Yormia that we've seen. Um, some of them are not able to uh, clear through. Clear through the stage. Uh, or just have a slower time at, against the Pyro G's. Geo Bishop if you do not have a shield. So now he already cleared um, one of the Abyss Lecters, um, breaking down the shield. Now, oh no, Toma died! No healer! So he's gonna be retrying? Yuki have just listed almost every reaction in the game. <laughs> Yuki, teach us more about Genshin. Yeah, I hope Dendro adds something interesting. What do you when the uh, dendro fire grass deals more damage than my die Luke? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna retry the um, primal geo fish out stage, and then um, they're getting the swirl, but no infusion in at all with uh, Venti's swirl. We're going back to Rosaria Bar Barbara, switching uh, all the characters in, getting some heals up. Oh no, Venti is very low on HP, he cannot afford another uh, damage to be taken, needing a counter on Beto for that, uh, no crit, but still getting some ER back, it's just enough for Beto to get her burst, another Venti um, uh, Swirl right there too, getting the Cairo infusion and nice, and then getting some extra damage on the side with all of that, with all the LG stand up, um, getting a lot of reaction basically from this team, you saw Super Conduct, you saw Taser, you saw uh, sw <laughs> sw Swirl, consider what? <laughs> anyway, but that was a very strong Rosaria crit around 11k on the side. And then now we're going back here. And some Beto. Oh, need um, saving the counter on the shield. Yes, nice that. Another nice counter on Beto. Too bad you never got Shanling or there would have been Alisa in the tournament. Oh, next time, Beam. Next time. I'm also Papega again, Shinyuki. You're a, I'm as smart as people who buy pet rocks. <laughs> Yeah, Yuki, thinking that tournament starts at 9 p.m. <laughs> when it's even at the poser is 5. <laughs> Slap googly eyes on anything and you could be a friend. <laughs> you guys, I will like a friend. <laughs> How do I pay to win friendship? No, I'm kidding. And hi, Cardi. Oh, thank you so much, Lemia. Emma, uh, we are doing a best tournament right now, too. Um, so we are watching at this on the side, but my voice has been dying. So, so I'm not able to make as um, much of the commentary as I wish I can. Okay, but right now two minutes has passed and then over um, half HP is already taken by Geo Fisher. Now he's he's been doing a really good timing on all his all his battle counters against the um, shield. Against uh, Geo Fishop's uh, prior, uh shower attack. Why is it called shower attack? Huh. Anyways. <laughs> And then doing a lot of good rotations and he's ready for another venti burst again. Hey, we always have to stand back to make sure that it is aimed right at the same time. Dodging away from the fire breath, getting the water um, infusion in so you get the electro charge. Some frozen, some electro charge damage, some super contact. A lot of elemental reaction but not enough damage by all of them. 10 IQ, me too Yuki. Wait, I'm single digit IQ. 
Okay, going back to rotating again. Another shield counter. Oh, but Beidou does not have the ER ready. So in, uh, does not have the cooldown ready. So instead using uh, Barbara to avoid iframe that as well. And then here, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a quick change from Osaya to... Um, <gasps> I lost Venti! Somehow, Venti was killed without us seeing it. Or without me seeing it. So now he only has three characters. This is Barbara, Rosaria, and... Uh, Beto! Venti even was is actually a really good character on the side with all of his swirl and fusion, very dust and shred as well. And he was also using allergy. So the only thing he could now though is just continue uh, going through the characters because he used a reset earlier in order to save his Toma. And Korean Flow, welcome back. Is that you missed Beam's match? Yeah, and um you can watch the old vlog earlier, but Beam did put up a really good uh fight again uh for his matchup. And he did was fighting against a very strong opponent. Gonna have to uh, counter that fire real fast, and then putting Rosaria back in work. Oh no, Barbara still on cooldown. Just quickly put some Barbara slap in with a hundred damage. Hydro going back to oof. Rosaria got it getting hit. Tail wiped. Oof, another attack. Switch over to Beto. No low ER on everyone. This might be a slower time than his previous uh, run considering how he has a lost DPS as well. Barbara not C6? <laughs> yeah, no C6 Barbara. So there is no revive on his team too. And instead, uh, now Beto, I mean Rosaria is the one looking really weak and I need the time at 5 minutes and 30, uh, 5.27. Oh, I'm sorry. He's still uh, finishing the first half at 5 minutes and 20 seconds. So now he has to fi uh, fight the Abyss Heralds on this stage with Shinchu, Toma, Xianling. So while this team does have very good uh, reaction against each other as well, it should be able to break the shield too. The only thing is, uh, once again, the only healer is Shinchu on this team. Mm. Okay, um, and then, oh wow, one of them is already down really fast. Second one is close to falling behind. Now it's forcing into the shield phase. Changyun is gonna be really u useful in breaking down the shield because any of the melee auto attacks will be keeping them frozen locked. And then, um, uh, but uh, Zhanling's fire tornado will be vaporizing their uh, their frozen status too, keeping them going back and forth with all the Beyblades going around. Shinchu will be useless here unless he's just using this, uh, Source to at least go rush. Uh, uh, using the source to uh, cycle in the heals. Need to keep Thomas' fire shield up. It's doing well, uh, but very low energy recharge on Shanling in general. Get putting another Chanyun skill in, and a pole arm does have a very fast attack speed. Oh, but Toma it only has 5k HP again. You want to know what characters boys has with the bands? Maybe his rather just couldn't match up with the amount of. Uh, uh, yeah, Demi, um, I saw the character Boy has, and it is very limited. Um, because the strongest one, I believe, was Hu Tao. That has been the yeah. A lot of target bans for today. Okay, putting it in for here, and then we're gonna be finishing up the second chamber at, let me see, almost there. Just quickly a few more, few more shielding. 3 minutes and 31 seconds. 3.31. Okay, I have to go to restroom real fast. 3.31. So that's gonna be putting them at 389 seconds. Three eighty nine, yes. Okay, but 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 before we continue on, I have to go restroom really fast again because I drank a lot. So be right back. I'm so sorry. I already message um Ephemer, so hopefully it doesn't start yet.
All right, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, uh, feel free. Okay, I'm back. Feel free to start whenever. Okay. Uh, yeah, you just want to know, like, if he has characters, or they are unbuilt, or if he just has less characters overall, or both. Uh, let me double check on that. Um, so, okay, we're going back to the Raiden national team, um, with Bennett, Sucrose, and Shincho. I wasn't muted! Right? I'm not muted! Okay, um, so then now, uh, we're going some DPS. Uh, getting some quick rotations in. Ooh, look how smooth this iframe is sorry <laughs> look at this quality framing okay using a shield to counter the attack oh the nice crystal eye shield was able to save right <laughs> and getting some extra dps on the geo fish app uh, i'm sorry Hadi, but you are muted huh am i still muted hello test test uh you good right wait why did beam say i'm muted huh uh, are, we're good, right? <laughs> yeah, not muted? Huh? Okay, <laughs> what the? <gasps> Alright. Yeah, I'm muted in Discord. I'm normally muted on Discord. Okay, but he is gonna be finishing it in around minute and 10 seconds. It's okay, Beam. It's been a, a long day. <laughs> are you good? <laughs> all, you're all scaring me right now. But I was gonna check the um I was gonna check the characters um for boy um made the eighth level. I'm open call, welcome in. Yes, this is the finals. We are at the quarter finals right now. But a lot of the matches has been very difficult from what it looks like because um the opponent has studied each other from the previous day and they are target banning each other. So um I could tell you right now, boy only has a few DPS characters on his team. And they are very limited on the characters he has built and available to. And whereas um, Fmer's team, he has uh, a, just a slightly little bit more five star range, but his uh, DPS is so very uh, has a lot to choose through. Okay, all of our collective brain cells will form Fortran one day. No, Yuki, all of our collective brain cells will eventually be enough for a normal person's IQ. <laughs> no, Beam, you're okay, you're okay. Alright, so then doing quick work with um, Ganyu getting their um, getting the shield breakdown. One of them is already gone and the other one is falling closely behind. And then we are gonna be clearing the second chamber in 7 minutes and 30... Oof, take some seconds off. 7.32. 7.32 So that's going to be 148 seconds So I don't want to I know it's going to sound bad But I think we already kind of know Who's going to be the winner of the stage um, No wonder Albedo uh, Oh no Yeah uh, There was a Noel and Albedo uh, pick, uh, revert, uh, Target ban on Beam side as well If both of both sides want, or if Boy and uh, Fmer wants to try the third stage as well, let me switch over to a stream. Even with a Barbara Rosaria Beto, at least Barbara and Rosaria is able to freeze the Sentinels, but Beto's um, Shatter is going to be putting them on the uh, attack as well. I mean, putting them back on the offensive again. So then they're going to be putting, uh, attacking, uh, yes, gr grouping up together, getting some heals of Ruparpa. Nandi, welcome in! Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm a little bit tired right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so low on energy, but I hope you're having a wonderful day. Okay, so then they are, um, getting them frozen in together. Getting some counter with Beto. Fortunately, since their venti is gone, they're not able to get any um, infusion of damage at all, and they are not able to um, use uh, uh, venti's allergy skill as well. So right now, um, a minute has passed by, or oh, um, sorry, uh, almost a minute is gonna go by, but they are more than half HP down. Using the top-down um, strategy be from before again, <laughs> uh, <laughs> from a uh, boy. Increasing his secret DPS, increasing his movement, looking um, at it from the top. <laughs> it's okay, there's no harm. The drop was just too damn strong. Yeah, this camera and go. Oh no! 
Oh no, both of them are cycling together. Oh nice, freezing them right at the same time. Oh no, only one of them was able to freeze. Don't not want to get count uh get stuck in a corner and instead got he is the one stuck in the corner. Oh, Beto almost died, but with a quick heal from Barbara, she is back alive, full HP. And then one of them, his uh, rune guard is down, and now the next one should be falling close behind with the rune sentinel soon. I mean, rune grader. How are you? I'm doing well, uh, Nandi. We uh, had a very long stream yesterday, so I'm kind of losing my voice right now. And I, uh, but hopefully. The these abyss matchups are um pretty they're pretty uh, tough on the opponents because it feels like auto digital strategies are being known and taken wait huh what did dodo miss stream i mean you hang catching of leeway kicksing it's actually Cardi Chain today, TK Noodles, but welcome in, welcome in. Hope you had a wonderful day. And um, we're actually doing our quarterfinals on this matchup right now. Um, so for this whole... Th thank you for the bitty suit. But this whole matchup was a very unfortunate target ban by, um, from, uh, on Boy Made Evil side because he was not able to use his strong DBS characters. And he already lost Venti on the previous stage, already mm -hmm. used the reset. <laughs> TK, so thank you for your pity. I mean Cardi Ching. <laughs> Sorry, so your pity. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you so much for your support. But I hope that you had a wonderful day. And we're gonna be finishing up the finals right now. If you're interested in, in where we are in the brackets, it's exclamation mark players. But yeah, thank you so much for the for cost for the pities. When I was trying to think of what was like instead of Cardi Ching, I called myself um. Or I couldn't pronounce it, but I was like, you know what? This is just a kitchen cost. <laughs> oh no, and now Cyclone. Oh, a nice counter by Beto, immediately stunning the uh, Rune Sentinel, Rune Grader instead. Another counter by Beto, um, by Sentinels. Okay, wait, let me see. There was probably the best possible he could have dealt with a double spin. Yeah, it was pretty, uh, pretty OP. And, uh, and at least uh, Beto did not die, and he had Barbara heals up on the side too. Uh, make sure to heal everyone back uh, alive. You know, I know that boy wants to see the health bars, but i never seen this approach before. <laughs> yeah, like from the top-down style, right? Uh, also, I guess neither of them have Kazuha, or maybe no Kazuha. Uh, Demi, um, Kazuha was chosen on the other team, wasn't it? Oh no, never mind. There was no Kazuha was not chosen on um, either teams. But thank you, thank you again, TK Noodles. Yeah, that's why the best part you got dealt with the boss. Mm. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm just really slow with commentary right now, Nandi, but I will do my best. I just can't scream as much as yesterday. Yesterday was ta kind of taxing, not gonna lie. Oh no, R Rosaria gone with the spin! Using, uh, quickly using Barbara to heal, but she is gonna be cornered up. Next time is gonna be Beto cornered up as well. He just needs one more hit, one more damage enough to get that. To kill the last Sentinel, and it is... 4 minutes and 30 seconds for the first half. You need a co-host next time to at least help with talking. Yeah, we we did have a plan for a co-host, but they were um, busy with it. You know, casting is hard, especially on The Voice. Yeah, um, yes, yes, Yuki and Demi. There, we did have plans for a co-host this time around, but because due to Chinese New Year's over the weekend... Or, well, Chinese New Year's is this Monday. Um, oh, Vivi, thank you so much for your raid, and thank you so much for um, hanging out for so long. If you please give a shout out and follow to Vivi Hearts if you haven't yet. Um, I, I will I will also um, go check you out soon. Thank you so much for all of your support. And I will see you next time. Have a nice rest. Make sure you sleep well, sweet dreams. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have... Is that a maiden's Barbara? Uh, I'm not sure, young boy, because uh, we were... I did not pay attention to the artifacts at the stage. Um, I was more concerned with having um, their, char uh, their character's constellations and weapon restricted. Okay, but now, uh, yeah, we do have to plan... I did plan to have a co-host this time around, but due to Chinese New Year's on Monday, and they ha uh, Winnie had to go back um, to our family for over the weekend, it was just uh, me soloing this again. And I didn't... I honestly did not expect a 13 hour stream from yesterday but that's why in the future i plan on limiting um the participants to be around 16 members or we're gonna split it off to have like um the regionals uh and time segments so like and um 
EU, sorry, EU players are gonna play at this time zone, NA players playing at this time zone, and oh my god, 33 HP, Toma, how is he still alive? Honestly, this team is doing pretty good damage against the Maku Keki right now, even though they are very low on HP. HP and he is uh, dodging and even with shielding a lot too. Everyone is holding by a thin, thin thread, and he is gonna be ending this time at three minutes and forty six seconds. Three forty six, three hundred seventy four uh, seconds. What you miss? Hey, welcome in, Alexi. We are having the match with Boy Made Evil versus RMBN right now. So, congrats. Um, Boy did um, do a really good job finishing all the way to Chamber 3, even with two a lot of lost DPS from his first half. And now we are going back um, to Aaron's side and see how he's going to do with um, his final time on the third chamber. And yo, Cider, welcome in. Let's go cardio. Yeah, this is um, do exclamation mark player so you could check out where we are in the bracket. Um, but then um, we're almost uh, we're gonna be heading over to the next match soon because this is the Chamber Three versus Air Boy Meets Evil and Aaron Bien. Okay. Immediately putting the Bennett burst down, uh, snapshot Shinju's Q, putting Sucrose down as well, but no infusion from Sucrose, unfortunately. Oh, but huge burst damage by Raiden, 189k crit. And then quickly getting energy for everyone. Again, it's okay if they're taking damage because Bennett was a it will be able to heal everyone back out again. Going back to Shinjo, again the cycle soon. Oh, Shinjo without the Bennett burst. Or is he gonna be saving that burst for the ride and uh, oh, later? Waiting for the two Sano to spawn. Yes, there it is. Gonna be yes, getting the first in. Probably switching over to Sucral soon. Yes, Sucral's getting the uh ERL. Then switching to Raiden. Another burst in with the that see let's see the damage. 233k damage by Raiden with um Bennett first and also Sucral's uh electro charge. That was a beautiful combo together. And now just one minute has passed, but he's gonna be finishing the first half in one minute and six seconds. 230k oh no yuki that uh, other burst was yeah yeah yo that's a lot of damage and now this is the, um the team that i always find to be tough fighting mago kenki as, as as strong as ganyu is mago kenki is able to block a lot of charge shots from their other team Regional tournaments before the final sounds good to me, but that will require some ledgers. Yeah, theme. I'll I'll figure it out in the future. Um, since uh, that's too much thinking for me right now, and I'm like half dead. But uh, everyone did give um good ideas that we could do in the future. Okay, so um, but then Shinha is able to support Ganyu with her icy clothes, and then especially Mona there on the side with her Omen debuff. Oh, better dodge. Okay, both dodge with the shield too. So um, the Gamaku can use. Uh, did not take uh, deal any damage to their team. Dawna was able to save them. And then getting the Ganyu burst in, another Shenha burst, cycling back to Ganyu. Oh no, Maku Kenki ran away, but it perfectly ran into the corner. There's a nice burst on Dawna to avoid um, iframe third damage. Aiming at the headshot, nice bloom damage on Ganyu, about 50k to 60k total damage at the end, with Shenha's ability to support. And then me, ooh, and then need to dodge it, yes. Dodge it even with a shield, um, just in case to save to prolong the shield health a little bit longer. Aiming at the headshot for the guaranteed crit rate. Nice burst by Diona to iframe the spin. Mona burst to apply Omen. Going back to Ganyu. No, Shenha first, and then, and then using the skill, and then back to Ganyu. This is a very is a very dangerous play style with um getting so close next to the Magu Kenki, but Aaron decides to try it anyways because he is very he's very very confident in his characters and his skills and in his play style. So here we are getting another rotation in saving Diona once more. Uh, Diona first again, yes, for just the eye frame like that. Going back to Shenha and then nice rotating in to Ganyu. Oh, he's gonna be doing the spin. Oh, and unfortunately, took the damage from that. No ability to iframe. Quickly cycling the characters. Now, here's the Shenha. Oh, no, he ran away. Let's see where he's going. Where the air hack and slash going there. Nice. Should be a few more shots, a few more damage, and he should be done with this Magu Kenki at 6 minutes and 33 seconds. 6.33. So the difference between the time it puts him at 207. 
So the total between the time for first half um, Boy Made Evil is 1,270 seconds. And for the second half, uh, I mean for the second team for Aaron, it is 545. So it was definitely an unfortunate matchup. Um, target ban um, from FMR versus Boy. And now let's see, uh, let's see if we could hear um, from our contenders on how they felt about this matchup. Okay, so congratulations, Effer, for um, advancing to the next stage. And boy, how did you feel about this matchup today? Okay, Aaron, submit. And so the next one, we're gonna have Aaron versus Celestial, and then Yuki versus Unfriendly Casper. Uh, let me put some music back. If um, if Aaron wants to take a break, we could hop over to Yuki versus Unfriendly Casper right now. So he could take a break um, before the next stage. Okay. A knockout round sounds fun. Um, what do you mean by a knockout round, Yuki? But yeah, that was a really fast clear. Oh, there's Shenha. Yep, Shenha is able to help GG drop. Yeah, um, so far from today's um, matchups, uh, Demi, a lot of the ma it was a lot of the drafting phase um, hindered a lot of people too because we seem to see uh, of a few play uh, few players not able to clear a single chamber at all and decided to forfeit. We had two forfeits already because of bad drafting, and then we had like that um, with Boy Made Evils. Um, Matchups versus Afmer and the target ban was just too strong. Um, so boy says good game, well played. You know what to do with your account now, thank you. You really need to expand your roster and stop hyper investing with your uh, hotel and channeling. Uh, Afmer says thank you for the match too. You played well. You appreciate it because you finished the 4 GG. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, boy did do um, even with a venti loss on the first stage, and he, he did tough it out throughout the everything too, and he cleared it all. Um, and before I forget. Uh, Boy Made Evil, um, did you hear about this tournament from um, some, a friend or so? I just want to start getting an idea of how people recognize the, um, the tournament or... Or like, word, is this from like a word of mouth or was it uh, uh, other stuff? But it was, this was definitely a tough matchup um, on their end. The target ban was difficult. And now a lot of people from, and everyone who have participated before, uh, who participated um, in the biz in the pe in the previous PvP abyss? Um, unfriendly Casper. They have worked the in the past few months. They have worked on getting their character stronger, upgrading all of their supports, so they are have a more of a wider r roster to use. So this one was a um, definitely a big wake up call to everyone's account. Where uh, it is super fun. I'm okay. Let's. Let's be real. It is super fun playing your favorite characters and building a team around it. Um, because Genshin is a single player game, right? But because during uh, against um, this uh, first PvP Abyss tournament where you're fighting against fellow players who might have more money than you and able to well a little more, it may it gives you a wake up cost. Like, okay, maybe focusing on other characters could also be a good investment. But I have um, meant, but I have heard from um, my from a few people that they are enjoying Genshin again because it gives them a goal to work towards for their characters in order to participate in the tournament in the future. So this is something that um, that uh, I felt really honored um, to be or to be part of because uh, they said that the tournament is really fun and they um, felt the need to improve their uh, improve their uh, account again and they made and they said Genshin was uh, it felt fun again so um, hopefully you could I mean boy look you did really well too you were managed to defeat um, Dre uh, the previous night and even your hotel mate was super strong at that time too but against Eren's target ban and he did have a wide have a wide roster of team had a wider roster of team. As soon as your hotel was banned, it destroyed your run. Yes. So now I guess you have an idea of what to work towards next, right? Okay. And Maple, are you still here? Let me at him real fast so we could give um we could give Fmer um a little break. Let me disconnect from the call. And yeah, for sure, your hotel is super strong, boy. Okay, Meepo is still here. Okay, and since Meepo is here, Yuki, you're still... Yes, I see Yuki here. Yuki, are you ready? 
Let's give um, Ephemer a little break right now from the stage, and we're gonna go into Yuki versus uh, I don't know Yuki versus Unfriendly Casper. So make sure you two to take notes against each uh, for each other. So we'll see which target banning is gonna happen this time around. And oh, you uh, threw my title! Wow, thank you so much. Um, I was just usually surprised because um, I did see here that uh, some people um, heard it for, by word of mouth from other streamers or from their friends. But I'm glad that you decided to find my, uh, found my channel and clicked it out of curiosity and uh, participate in the tournament because it's always um, I always want to uh, expand it. Um, the tournament as well and it's always nice meeting uh, new people so thank you so much for um joining and participating this time boy okay and then uh let me see wait let let him know what okay cardi just a suggestion what are your thoughts on double elimination on top uh, hi cardi sure Sure, you know I'm not supposed to yell. What are you doing? Why are you bidding again? You did that yesterday already, dude. You know him. <laughs> All right, you guys, do you mind if I do a quick um, intermission? Because I know exactly what Sharp wants. He wanted an <clears throat> ara ara deep eye from me because he always requests for it. So th that's it. If you missed it, too bad. Anyways, we're going back to. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty sure. <laughs> Even though you should be saving! You're, you have to save! You say you want C6 Ganyu! You say you were gonna C6! You want Yay Miko! What are you gonna do, huh? But young boy, um, double elimination in top four. I... I'm not sure, young boy. Double elimination will be very interesting, but that's gonna be double the time as well for the stream and the matches. And with all my already limited time schedule, I already had to split this into two streams. Usually in future, um, in the future tournaments, I will probably have to split it into two stream days and trying to get everyone within the, um, you know, be available for two days in a row is gonna be very difficult and I just don't wanna hinder their time as well. Because what if it end up being like three, um, three days in a row and because honestly this is just a small community thing i want to do and as much as i want it to grow in the future as well i i'm the only one managing it right now and i don't have a lot of time and with all the time zones uh different too it's kind of hard getting everyone here together i mean um for the top four will be interesting for a double elimination but with how well um the target ban is and how everyone knows about everyone's characters it might I don't know. I'm also poor, Yuki. But I guess it's time. And you just got Shincho. Congratulations, Roman. You just get more. <laughs> Any upcoming streamer here? You collab. <laughs> Bam, we were planning to collab with Winnie, but um, also at the same time, um, I um, don't. I also let. Uh, well, how do I say this? I get very nervous meeting new people as well. So, as much as I want to collab with people, I also get very nervous and scared talking with um, people on uh, through voice chat. Because even though I'm very talkative right now, um, because, you know, through streaming like this, it's not like... It's only because I don't have someone to... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like I'm not having a back and forth conversation with someone. If, it's, uh, if I'm actually talking to someone IRL, I actually don't say anything a lot. <laughs> and so it's just... And I, out of everyone, I do think Winnie would be the best person to um, collab with because I am, I tend to um, open up to girls a little bit more. <laughs> I'm just very shy. And she is very sweet and friendly and always so helpful too. But I'm not sure about um, future people unless I, I know them more too. And because from the past few months as well, if you can tell, uh, Chop has also been hopping into the channel and, it and he has been... Um, and whenever Chop comes by, he always does try to get me um, to know about his streaming friends as well. And I know a lot of um, his community, like Neil and um, Ducky and uh, Winnie are also hopping over, and Ghostly and all of them are hopping over from their end to see my channel. But my problem is that whenever I'm on uh, their streaming channel as well, I get so shy to say anything that I just end up lurking half the time and I'm not able to have a conversation with them. So, and it took months for me to actually warm up to other people. So I I just have a show show anxiety problem, so I'm so sorry. 
it's already, it's already, um, I, I, I just, anyways, enough about me. Enough about me. We are gonna go back to the um, tournament. We're gonna have um, friendly Casper versus Aono Yuki. And they have decided to let um, Maple uh, Casper choose um, the coin flip. So right here, the coin flip um, has decided to choose Tails for um, friendly Casper. And yeah, you flew too. Like, I know all of you guys are super kind, but I I honestly don't reach out to talk to anyone first. Um, uh, in DMs or in stream or anything. I just tend to... Uh, lark uh on uh, half the time okay anyways uh hi cardi how you doing hope you have a so well cookie uh looking fine hey heartless welcome in i am doing pretty well my voice is kind of dead right now um so i haven't been able to be super active in my commentary but right now um a lot of the matches right now has been very very one-sided because of all the target bans from each other so um but the ne next match is gonna be um friendly casper versus i don't know yuki but yes, do your best, everyone. Good luck, good luck. Thank you. Yes, Rattles, you're a girl. All right, voice call me right now. Confirm it. Uh, but yes, thank you, Kaifu. Cardi, if I start sharing, will you collab with me? Feel shy, young boy. I have to get to know you more too, though, because based on your name, you are a boy. You are a very young boy. <laughs> are you age seventeen? You're still a minor. I got you. I'll draw Cardi there. Wait, what do you mean, sure? And Kodori, bro. Kodori, welcome in. I mean, Kotoki. How are you doing today? Aren't you on like a different time zone? Is it super late for you? Or is it just the afternoon? Yeah, I tend to be a lurker. And yeah, Maple is a pro lurker. And Grace, what? Lurkers unite? Wow, as soon as we get uh, messages or talking about lurkers, everyone is slowly rising up. Like, I, I appreciate all of the lurkers too. Because you guys are at least interested in hanging out um, here and coming back a second time. So thank you so much for all the lurkers and all of your support. I'm just really bad at talk at talking <laughs> in general can i versus maple in the final <laughs> wait what yuki you want to use my account wait i'm a girl down for yufu okay yeah voice call me right now well, how many of girls are actually in chat huh you're good thanks yeah no problem yeah what time is it for you kiltoki all uh, right use your account yuki yeah you guys want to see shorts account i was on there before <laughs> hacker voice i'm in best of friend villain arc i get your friend when I uh, say Sherp is the most free to play well, I know um, it's for a reason. Anyways, best of friends development arc. Wait, where's my best of friend then? Okay, you'll take out Maple again anytime. And Sherp too, you're taking those. Bam, you yeah, Sherp has never participated in a tournament before yet. So hopefully, it's because Sherp is always working on the weekends, and since I host the tournaments on the weekends, he's not able to take time off from it. All right, but let's flip a coin, and it is heads. Uh, Yuki. Please choose player A, A or B. So, um, sorry, I get a little bit distracted. So we flip the coin. It is heads, and um, Yuki is the one that won the that won the coin toss. And he has decided to choose player B. So this is gonna be, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'll know Yuki for the player A. I'm, I mean, player A is gonna be unfriendly Casper. You're multitasking link on hangouts and bringing these and binging these matches. Graza, uh, have you been enjoying the matches so far right now? I mean, I feel like it's all, a lot of the matches have been very one-sided, but maybe we're gonna see another exciting uh, next exciting match up here too. Cause I honestly feel like yesterday, everyone did not know each other's characters roster, so no one knew exactly which character to ban from each other, right? But then after studying the previous matches, everyone took notes on their future opponents who they're fighting and then purposely target banning and hindering a lot of the quarter uh, quarterfinal matches. So, we'll, and now we're gonna see who is gonna be, um, who is gonna be coming out to the top. Cause right now we have Aoyuki versus Unfriendly Casper and then Eren versus Celestio Xiao. This is the semifinals before we're gonna, and the winner of these two matches will, hit, will face off each other for the grand finals and who is gonna be come out on top from that so only three more matches left you guys okay so right now we are gonna go start it off with uh, maple please choose uh, your first character ban ban Aya yeah immediately no hesitation on his part okay and now oops you keep for pick your first ban and first character Oh, sorry. Yuki, pick your first man and first character. 
You think Sherp? Five star DPS are like C6? I. He has quite a few five star DPS, yes. And hi, Glacius. Welcome in. Thank you for help uh, making this happen. Wait. Yeah, for sure. Chirp also was helping me um, with uh, ba bouncing ideas back and forth too. Okay, Yuki this Oh, I forgot to click the time. Okay, but Yuki decided to ban Jangling. Another Jangling ban and picking Hu Tao immediately too. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Uh, first two characters, uh, Maple. Immediately picking the Hu Tao and not the support. You lost to Celestial. Uh, they drafted and played well. Plus, you got a bit tilted and played bad. Oh no, Beam! Is it because you use your your offensive reset? And Maple has decided to pick Shinchu and Zhongli. Shinchu and Zhongli. This is gonna be a good con uh two good dual character already. Zhongli's gonna be there to um. Oh, and without needing me to prompt them, Yuki decided to pick Benny Boy. Benny Boy and Shinchu as well, preventing a uh, Maple from choosing the be uh, the Fire Archon. Uh, Maple next two characters. This is a very smart move indeed from Yuki's style. So now he has guaranteed Shinchu to pair it with Hu Tao, and Bennett is able to use at least for the other team. Yeah, you won't use any five stars. Just gonna use your level one Amber. Thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, my level... No, my level 20 alloy will make an appearance soon. The winner of the Cardi Cup is gonna be fighting me! No, I'm kidding. Imagine I make that as a rule. You guys have to PvP me then in order to earn my... In order to earn your grand prize. <laughs> Maple is gonna be choosing Child and Fisho. Is this possibly an Electro Charge team? Their Child is really strong with the Polar Star... Wait, where is he? With their uh, Polar Star 5 Star and the Electro Taser, uh, Electro Charge reactions are no joke on this team at all. Okay, now please pick your four. Yes, one ban and one pick. Pick one, uh, one pick first and then one ban. Yes, he did definitely grab Shinchu Demi. So now, but there is no Bennett. Who is in the finals? Do exclamation mark players, Glacius. And, um, oh yes, you've been super invested since I was- Oh, great, so thank you so much. I'm, I don't know when you hopped in, but I'm glad that to see you lurking for so long as well. And hopefully, these next two matchups are gonna be, um, the next two matchups are gonna be very interesting. Oh, okay. Trash. Oh, wait, no, uh, um, it's actually reversed. You have to pick a character first before you ban, but it's okay then. Okay, so they're gonna pick Beidou. And banning Zhao. So, uh, Yuki remembered that Unfriendly Casper does have a very strong Zhao, too. Okay, now Maple, choose your uh, second character ban and your fifth pick. Yeah, no worries. It's just easier for... Because that's the order is, even though it's technically in the same line. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not calling you trash! Freaking Yuki's... <laughs> Freaking Yuki's message! I mean, Discord name is trash, and I, would, I there's no way I could call him that. I'm sticking with Yuki. Okay. Maple, uh, your ban and pick, please. Does Yuki own Ayaya? You have no idea. Well, Ayaya, Ayaka is definitely a good ban for sure. So he is gonna be banning Raiden. And the next character. Jangling ban's gonna hurt always. Smart, you can still grab me. Oh, wait, I read the others in the finals. Oh, do exclamation more PPS. Um, that'd be on internet side. No problem. Welcome back. Welcome back, Alexia. Wow, very good. You forgot about Bennett being open. Yes. And picking Toma for his uh, fifth character. Toma has been very popular today, too. Okay. Uh, next two characters, Yuki. Are there? Yes, there are gonna be more matches, Glacius. Karki, can you use your phone for the last story to fight me? I'm the final boss, huh? <laughs> okay, Yuki is gonna pick Ganyu. Ooh, th this is the ice character from Ice Necessary since Ayaka is banned. Me who raised Alloy to level 70 because you thought she would be good Cairo burst damage to Edge. And pick Albedo. I honestly don't understand why they added Alloy into the game. It makes no sense at all. Okay, Maple, next two characters. 
But everyone was saying that uh, that alloy is very bad, huh? How did your matches go for Zelda? Oh, uh, Zelda's match up. I think you could go check it out um, in players. You could see who he fought against, Kaifu. And yes, there's the rules if you guys um, wanted to double check and ban right away. <laughs> your sub is gone toasty. Oh no! <laughs> you could still use the follower emotes. I do need to draw more emotes to use the. Uh, uh, so you guys can use more cute follower emotes. And Maple is going to be choosing Kokomi and Chong Yun. So far, he has been very consistent in choosing Kokomi and Chong Yun on his team along with Child Fisher. Or uh, Child Toma. And now. Yuki, next two characters. Oh wait, wrong chat. Uh, it's Toasty, so we are at the... It's not semi-finals. Semi-finals? Yes, semi-finals. So right here, this uh, the winner of this stage is going to go to the grand finals. And the winner of Eren versus Celestial will be fighting the winner of this, um, winner of this match. So, uh, Yuki has decided to pick Noel. This is the first time we are seeing a Noel pick from them. Oh, it was a collaboration with the game for Alloy. Pick Noel and Monas. Another uh, top pick um, of the matchup, Mona. Okay. And Maple, your last character. Thank you for the Tartagalicious follow, Crazy Monkey. We're doing a little PvP of this tournament right now too, so if you're curious, stick around because we are gonna be um, having our semi semi-final matchup now with um, Unfriendly Casper versus Aono Yuki. <clears throat> and picking Rosaria. Rosaria is another uh, common pick of this team. All right, this is the final. Uh, this is the final draft. I am gonna be copying and pasting this in the tournament BC. Um, I'll start a prediction as well, so you guys could um, bet on who is gonna win for this round. Who's gonna be? Who's the one with the stronger team or roster? And while we are going to do that, they have seven minutes to prepare for their um, matchup. I'm gonna be moving them into uh, the tournament stage. So please share screen. Share screen and uh, show your three five star uh, five star weapons you're using um, to check. Okay, so now let's start a prediction. Who is going to win? Unfriendly Casper versus Aono Yuki. Five minute prediction. Sounds interesting. You're already hyped. Yeah, Crazy Monkey. We had a very long stream the um, last night too, where we had went over twelve matches. And today is uh, going to be all of the finals, and this is already at the semi-final. So we have three matches to go through. This one, another semi-final, and then we're gonna see the grand finals. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is a little bit dying. But there is a possible fourth match because the, I am the final ray boss they have to fight in order to earn the first grand... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> in order to get the grand prize! <laughs> Just kidding, though. Okay. Noelle Pog. Yeah, Noelle is really good, Graza. She is very good um, with at least another Geo on their team. You lost. It was faster than her practice, though. Oh, you guys practice each other too, Zelda and Yufu? Let's go, Yuki. Regu, who are you guys voting for? Sounds interesting, you're already hype. I'm glad, I'm glad. Hopefully you enjoy the next few matches because we are very close to on finishing up today. Or well, I say very close, but there's still a few hours left. Kazuha not getting picked, it hurts, but you remember that not many people actually pulled Kazuha? Yeah, that too, Demi. Everyone slept on Kazuha when he first came out, but I honestly loved him when he first came out, and I had to, I got him to C2. Uh, but there is a chance that Kazuha is not as, um... Well, is not as good as this, um... A within this abyss compared to um, the previous ones too. Noel player gotta have a trick up their sleeve. Take your channel points. <laughs> good luck, good luck on all of your bets. All in on Yuki, Noel supremacy. Hey, I have a KFC Noel cosplay too. Sh should I, I wanna bring her back for another day because um, as we're talking about Noel, um, our current competitor, unfriendly Casper was very kind and um, 
and uh, funded my KFC Noel cosplay. So I purchased that and it took a while before it arrived and I told him I'm gonna try to cosplay KFC Noel once a month until either Yuki is sick of me or... No, I'm kidding. So maybe we're... You... Wait, who's doing a wish right now? Maple! Why are you... Maple! What the fuck? Maple, are you going to go for the... He's gonna get a freaking thigh loop! Oh no, he wanted us just an extra jolly constellation! He wanted a jolly constellation and lost his 50 52 is already C6 thigh loop! If you guys don't know, Unfriendly Casper is our um, hidden whale in the tournament, so he has a lot of C6 five star characters, but he's actually not able to use over half of his team. You love stream PS5, it's not me when I see Cardia, did you sleep? Aw, oh, thank you Lyle, yes, I slept around 6 hours, um, my voice is still dying, but I think it made it worse because Freaking Maple was... <laughs> Freaking Maple was pulling on stream like this too, and I'm hoping for a... Hoping to get another Charlie, and instead, I look came home! Are we here? Geo Supremacy though, Jolly, Jolly! The one with the Jolly too. Let's see how he's gonna do. I wonder what team Yuki will bring with Futao. He has some options. Um, I think he's gonna get for Shinju, but will it be a, a double Geo 2 or Bennett and Beidou? Bennett would not work well with Futao just because of her of the healing, and Yuki does have um, a Staff of Homa, I believe. So, it, and if anything, it will be double Geo would work really well. Yes, it's Lyle, the one and only. And Grace is sort of a fan. You're more of a ta- <laughs> huh? Oh, Persona Van. Oh, Tales of Symphonia, right? <laughs> Pulling for the luck. <laughs> so yeah, exposed. Unfriendly Casper is the whale on this um in this uh tournament. Maple flexing his own. <laughs> no freaking way. Uh, it cost him in the end because instead he got a dilute. <laughs> Quality content. <laughs> we had people, we had people leveling up their character mid tournament using their um hero, not even hero wits. It's the middle blue books to level up their Shunha. We had people le upgrading their artifacts mid tournament, and now we have Maple rolling for characters and lost his 50-50. You see it here. You saw it all here, folks. <laughs> I wonder what surprise they're gonna be bringing for us next time, uh, for the next tournament. <laughs> Did you see? Oh, I believe you were using. Okay, Thundering Pulse on Child, Primal J Cutter, and Shinshu, and Donut on Kukumi. Okay. Yeah, the C6 plus Diluc. Now they have Yaimiko guaranteed. Yeah, Graza. He actually pulled for C6 Ganyu already, but he did not unlock any of Ganyu's constellations because he wanted to use Ganyu in this abyss. So here is a little um, trick for you guys. Maple does have a C2 Ganyu. <clears throat> Alright, you guys have less than one minute uh, to prep for your characters. Please head into the abyss soon. Hey, there's two Lyles in chat right now. Lyle X, you are... <laughs> How do I separate you guys for Lyle Goth? Our Goth and Lyle X. Yeah, regular guy. I really want Mihoyo to have the options to um, toggle constellations. Because I've been writing that to the Mihoyo survey for a while, but it's been a... Um, but uh, the past few times. But it's been so long since I... Re um... Oh, Lion Go? <laughs> Lyle Go, yeah, I cannot pronounce anything. But yeah, I've been telling them, like, is it possible to uh, toggle constellations? That would be so useful for, you know, uh, people doing character showcase or such. Um, and no, and I honestly don't want to see six my uh, Bonnet too, because he may be ruining some team cons. But so far, Mihoyo has been listening, and I gave up doing the surveys on him. All right. It's been seven minutes. Please head into the abyss right now, Yuki. Oh my god, two Lyles fight to the death. Lyle Go and Lyle X. Bio, are you also enjoying the tournament right now too? Because I know you were participating yesterday, but I don't know how long you have been here. 
hopefully um, it's still entertaining for you guys because today we're gonna have some interesting uh, or at least this is gonna be some interesting matchups Lyle go <laughs> <laughs> heartless really is heartless going in for the kill yes unfriendly casper is gonna be going first oh i forgot to mute myself all right so for right here let me pause the audio i believe you should have audio up on this side and oh let me fix the screen so you guys could see it all right, so his first team is Toma, Tartaglia, uh, Fisho, and Shinchou. Another, another matchup where Shinchou is gonna be the dedicated healer for um, his round, but and using Toma as a shield. So far, his Toma does look really strong and beefy, with a, able to withstand a lot of the damage as well. Let's see how this team will do for the electro um, electro charge status. What weapon on Chong Yun? It's either sacrificial or. I forgot if it's sacrificial or um Grace or Favonius. Wait, not Favonius. Oh, shoot, what was the other one? It's not it's not a five star. Inhale, fight to the death is not needed. All that Lyle X needed to take number one and the gift to stuff. No, it's okay. We're fine. We're fine here. Shoot, you right? Be number one, Lyle X. No, seriously, Lyle X is also broke. We are all broke gamers here. And welcome in, Kiyomo. Kiyomo? Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're having a little PvP of this tournament right now, and um, we are in the semifinals with Unfriendly Casper versus. Oh, thank you for the follow, too. Unfriendly Casper versus. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't know Yuki, I forgot to change the name here. So right here, starting off with um, Tartaglia official electric charge team doing amazing damage um, on the side. On the side with um, Toma shield keeping everyone alive. Yeah, yeah, beam, I fixed it. I forgot. Uh, I was just the one. But he, he, they are using Dundering Pulse on um, Tartaglia. And because I believe this is the only R1 weapon they have available. But doing a massive damage against uh against the perpetual ray too, it managed to get at least half HP off before it switched over to the minion phase. Oh, everyone's gonna be jumping together trying to get it. um. Oh, but he's getting the wrong enemy right now. It's the little snake heading up from IOJ Cutter on um on Shinchu as well for the extra crit rate and crit um damage on Shinchu. Get really, really good damage with um, Fischl on the side with the Electric Charge reaction. Even Shinchu regular attacks is able to shred down the Perpetual Array. Playing very smooth rotations are smooth as so yes, you could tell that he's been practicing quite a lot with his rotations and with his character picks. And now that we're going back to... You know, he should be able to finish it with just this burst possibly. He is very close to getting energy recharge and all this lasts for a very long time on the stage. And is he gonna flex and use a... First, are saving it for next day. He is saving it for the next stage. Yeah, Taco Constellations and Genshin would be really good. Yes, enjoying it. You don't talk much during for them. Yeah, no problem, Biel. As I was saying earlier, I am also a very um quiet lurker as well. But I'm glad that to see you enjoying your time here. Playing for yes, we'll change the move, Miss Alt Smodge. If it's not big PP damage too. Alright, right here we're going back to the Zhangli, Kokomi, Rosaria, and Chang Yun team. So surprisingly, um Zhang is on the second team with Kokomi, but it's probably getting this shield to be extra safe while Kokomi is freezing them with um Rosaria and Chang Yun. And extra crowd control with um Zhangli's petrification as well. And he's probably using um his shield for the dreaded Magu Kenki at the third stage. He did try to roll for extra Zhongli constellations um, for a, was it, the C2 shield, but unfortunately... Oh wait, maybe he already has C2, I don't remember. Let me look at this character real fast. But unfortunately, he was not able to um, <laughs> win his 50-50, so here it is, back to the burst, getting petrified. She's seen Kokomi to breaking the shields um, for both of them. Ah, you gotta go, Roman! Um, do you change it again? Post results, please. Can I? Yes, I'll post the results on Discord. Thank you so much for hanging out for so long, Roman. Okay, and now immediately both shields are uh, taken down um, by the Magu, I mean, by the Abyss Herald, I mean, Abyss Mage. And now for the Pyro Herald, it's now going back to shield phase. 
putting the Chanyun to work and then probably gonna switch over to Kokomi soon after using the uh, Rosaria burst. Okay, getting Kokomi in, extra damage out, vaporizing all of that um, fire shield. And they are gonna be clearing the time soon Oof, at just 6 minutes and 59 seconds. 6.59, if it was me and if this was just trying to get a um, 5, uh, getting a 9 star clear, I would definitely be molding so much for that 1 second loss. That's gonna be 181 seconds. And now we're gonna switch over to Yuki side. <clears throat> okay, Yuki, go ahead whenever you're ready. <laughs> One second, good time. Yeah, it's definitely a good time. Um, I don't think Yuki has audio on, so let me play the background music too. Okay, and here we are with um, Hu Tao Mona, Albedo, and Noel. But so they are using uh, Mona to help va uh, vaporize um, Hu Tao's damage. Doing very clean, very nice that charge attacks, 49k, and just straight up pyro damage in general. And using Albedo and uh, Noel for the Geo Resonance, getting the shield crystallized as well. Noel, um, although she is actually not a main healer, but she is able to do the shout some good DPS and good healing um, if necessary for your uh, ultimate teams and with the shielding Hu Tao will be able to play it safe and do whatever she wants waiting for the charge attack to go down yes burning the rotation down oh now that the hotel is back to low HP the staff of Homa is using full effect in less than one minute the array is already for being forced into the minion phase. Let's see, there is the circle that he sees um, for that. Unfortunately, missed out on a dog. Um, oh, no worries though. The first few seconds of the array, you will get no. It won't have energy recharge. And so now going back to the ro uh, Hu Chang rotation charge attacks, eating a burst and not able to cle clear uh, clear it with the straight up burst without the elemental reaction, but it's still able to clear it with really fast time. Going back to the main body, putting um, Mona down again. And then back to another charge attack for Hu Tao. And there it is. He's gonna play the first half in one minute. In one minute and 30 seconds. You wish your Zhongli was C2, Smudge. This is a very, very scary pickup. Yeah, his Sutao is a monster with Ocean Chu, and that was a very good character, um, first team too. But now, let's focus on the second team with Beidou, Banet, Shincho, and Ganyu as well. Let's see how they are gonna perform Skyward um, Blade on, uh, Benny Boy to get all the energy recharge back, because Banet's burst is one of the most broken, the broken, broken, the broken in the game right now. Keeping the enemies frozen, nice. Uh, getting a super conduct, nice, uh, nice, nice counter on Beto as well. Quickly switching to characters, getting the rotations on, nice damage um, from all of the teams too. And surprisingly, I believe Yuki is the one that does not use Ganyu as a mage short shot DPS. Because from what looks like his weapon, what weapon is Ganyu using? Because it's definitely not a 5 star. This damage though, yeah, right? Okay, so now he's gonna be breaking the shield real fast. And Shinchu, amazing damage, 15k um, with just one ring cutter. A ring slash? Oh, but instead, he's gonna, uh, is he gonna be killing the... Yes, he's gonna be focusing on the mage first. Getting some auto attacks on Ganyu instead of getting a burst down. Ganyu looking mighty low on HP though, so quickly ran back into Benny to get some health in. Oh no, Shinchu at 2.5k HP, going switching back to Beidou. Needing the Benny burst back because your characters are looking kind of low for both Ganyu and Shincho. Yes, getting the burst in for that. Going back to Ganyu, getting some autos attack. Not charge shot Ganyu, by the way. And then with Shincho as well. Yuki has a very unique playstyle because he is not priority prioritizing Ganyu's uh, charge shots and instead using her for bloom and her burst. So now going back to uh, Shinchu, lots of um, quick attacks to break in the shield. Some um, time is very neck and neck. It is slightly slower than um, friendly Casper's, but not by much because he is going to be ending this time this time in a few seconds in six minutes and forty five seconds. At six forty five. Already amazing uh, first chambers by both teams. The timing for that is one hundred ninety five seconds. First half on uh, Yuki's end, and now we're gonna switch on over back to unfriendly um, Casper's side. Stringless? Is it? I couldn't tell. It was hard for me to see the weapon as well. But it was not a 5 star.
Probably because Ganyu doesn't have a shield. Hmm. Oh, yeah, so avoid getting, like, uh... Avoid getting knocked around. Maple, you can start whenever you're ready. Okay, for right here, this team is gonna be the one fighting the Primal Geo Bishop. We have seen before that Tartaglia Taser team is really strong against um, the Geo Bishop. And along with a shield from Toma, you are able to counter his uh, shower attack from the Geo Bishop too. And get dealing extra DPS on his end as well. So now we're getting a quick rotation in while Fischl is still out using some char uh, attacks on Tartaglia. And then it's rotating out because you don't want to stay in Tartaglia's media slants for long. Ah, there is the, the shield counter. Toma is there to keep it safe. Oh, and also getting some extra damage on the Geo Fischl. Tagging him with um, the charge shot again. Switching over around needing the shield. Oof, okay, just in case. Very close. Okay, getting the Toma shield on. He does have a very long cooldown. And right now, he, along with um, along with Child, he is able to get some damage in, but no Fischl um, to help him to get, uh, with the extra electric charge reaction this time around too. But he did have Shinchu with the extra 15% hydro bonus. Now getting in with the shield counter. Once again, lots of damage taken by the Geo Fischl. Over one minute has gone by. Thank you, thank you, Sunny. Uh, already one minute has come by and um, just a few more seconds and he should be able to clear this very clean at one minute and 12 seconds. But welcome in, welcome in Sunny. Thank you so much for um, for hopping in and becoming a new friend. We're having a little um, tournament right now too. So I'm sorry I'm a little bit distracting chat. But yes, we're doing a little kachin cosplay today. Yeah, she was uh, yeah, giving the reactions for the other teams. Okay, immediately Shanli petrify um, for both of the um, Abyss Heralds giving up some time to have them group up together, putting Rosaria in with the ice and then using Kokomi to freeze both of the characters and both of the enemies. Another Chanyu burst as well, lots of damage taken by um, the Abyss Herald. And then we are having another petrify keeping them grouped up crowd control and two pillars means extra um energy recharge on the side as well let's get um that one looks to be the healthier looking uh best herald so he's going to be focused damage on that uh, herald first while the other one has been put into a shield phase another shielding by zhongli putting the kokomi um jellyfish on to keep them uh to apply the wet status and also frozen status by chongyum and rosaria nice grouping by both of them as well Nice gripping on both sides, another petrification. Ooh, I only caught one of them, I believe. The second one ran away, Beybladed away just on time. This AI dodging better than we ever could. But then, no worries, because he's able to get um, more uh, shield break damage taken um, by focusing on him. And now the other one has ran over to his side too, and ending it at 7 minutes and 27 seconds. 727. Very clean, very fast timing from his end at 153 seconds. Okay, now we are going back to Yuki's side and see how he's gonna fare up um, on set chamber 2. Ow, I was 3.4k on you, go for the win fam. No, Yuki, have faith, because their uh, second chamber could make it or break it for a lot of people too. And we also seen a lot of comeback happening from other, um... We seen comeback from other people, um, banking on their chamber, uh, 3 clear. And Sunny, you love your company, it looks like you got your head, so you know when the next thing is. Oh, uh, yes, Sunny, please check out PvP Abyss Rolls. Um, if you have any questions, really let me know and join the Discord, because that's when I'm going to be having future tournaments, because I want to host this um, every month. So this is actually the third time I'm hosting the tournament, but I hope you enjoy your stay here. And let's continue on with with this uh, matchup on Yuki's end. So with the double geo from um, Noel and Albedo, he's doing really good damage with um, Mona applying wet status um, to Hotel for the Vaporize. But unfortunately, Albedo's bloom is just a little bit off center from Geo Fisher. So, oh no, Hotel almost very lost her, lost the HP from there too. And they missed out on some prime Albedo damage earlier, quickly getting the white blind, um, okay, it seems like white blind on Noel too, but Noel does have a very long cooldown on her. Oh my god, 700 HP on Hu Tao! This is looking very dangerous! Looks like Hu Tao's shield is, I mean, Noel's shield is not able to, to save, um, 
to keep just in time, but that's why he, he is using um, some uh, Noel damage to quickly getting some heals up. And nice way, no, he quickly Mona dashed over to go, c get the crystallized shields to counter the Geo Fish up. And his first chamber was 1 minute and 15 seconds long. And welcome back, Thunderbird. And we have very close matchups today, right? Or at least this matchup right now, too. So we're gonna go with um, Banette, Shinchu, Ganyu, Beidou on this team as well. Ganyu will be very helpful um, with this uh, second half because of um, breaking the water shield. But y uh, Yuki is able to rotate his characters quite a lot, getting all of them in. And as long as the Abyss Heralds are grouping up together as well, then he should be able to DPS them down at the same time while also killing um, their water sh er, shield at the same time too. Okay, getting some Shinchou burst back. Um, was he able to snapshot Shinchou because it was right at the edge of Banette's burst? And then going back in... Ganyu was there for her elemental bloom... Uh, for her bloom. Not for her burst, at least not yet, because he's probably saving that for when they are entering the shield phase. So quickly, he's trying to get them back in, uh, lure them back in into the cycle circle of uh, Banets. So then, and group them together too, because as much as they run around, they will always come back to you. Right now, one of them is babbling around. He's keeping one of them frozen, stunlocked. Second one, um, right there. Now they're both even in HP. Hopefully, he's able to get them down into the shield phase. But net burst again, nice 33k crit on the burst, getting some heal, getting some damage. Now both of them are in shield phase, where this is where Ganyu is be putting to work now, focus on the charge shots, gonna be using the blue, and then he should be on very close to getting the burst up as well. Yes, burst up. Her bloom does uh, uh, aggro the Abyss Heralds too, as long as he's able to keep them stun locked together, then it should be a very, um, and we'll see. It will be hard to say because they are looking very healthy, or one of them is looking healthy in HP. But as long as they are together, he should at least kill them together, too. Oh no, anything... Oh! Offensive reset on his end! So, you are able to, um... You are able to use some reset on your team. As long as... Um, but that's the only reset you're allowed to use. So after this, if his characters die, he will have to keep on fighting even without his characters. Oh my god, that Hu for real on the live support. It was very nervous playing, uh, definitely playing no, uh, Hu Tao because there is no dedicated healer on this team. But you don't want a dedicated healer with Hu Tao because her main damage from Staff of Homa needs her at low HP. But that's why they have Noelle here on the side too because Noelle is able to heal a little bit with just a few of her slashes. So great DPS going down when Yuki with um, Hu Tao's charge attack too, needing a shield to counter the Primal and luckily right on time. The, the look at that damage taken from against the uh, by countering the geo Vishap too going back to Hu Tao oh no Hu shield on Hu Tao dude be careful Yuki because you do not want to use your main uh, loot oh my god 1k HP left quickly switching over to uh, Noel to get that shield up 23 seconds cooldown on Noel though and quickly quickly, quickly <laughs> picking up the crystallized reassuring to, for the double shielding and gonna need that extra shielding to uh, counter the uh, Jill Bishop putting uh, Mona back in again some heals were taken um, were given to Hu Tao but is it no way it's not enough Hu Tao we have lost the whole Hu Tao the pressure has got to them he forced a retry on um, thinking that it will help him and instead we lost Hu Tao at the second stage. Very unfortunate timing, very unlucky. It seems like anyone for today, people who have used the force reset, the offensive reset, have are accidentally choked and end up killing their own character. Very unfortunate indeed. Yuki has done their best though with what they have. The matches were very close uh, close with each other too. You should have definitely cl uh, cleared um, Chamber 2 earlier. But besides that, let's get a word in from um, Yuki. Since uh, I know this is the first time Yuki has participated in PvP Abyss. But if I remember correctly, Yuki, you've been here for quite a while too. I know you did not join the previous um you didn't uh join the previous abyss tournaments but what made you want to join today or for this one around 
So it looks like unfriendly Casper advances to the grand finals. And let me distribute out the points for the prediction outcome. The winner for today, I mean the winner for this round is unfriendly Casper. Damn, sure, you got 50k points? Whoa, a lot of you guys have a lot of points to bet too. Oof. Okay, so they're talking in the tournament chat right now. Uh, just lots of GG well played. Uh, Yuki was saying that was good, hope you win. Uh, Maple was saying, I'm so scared for your hotel, it was nerve wracking watching. No need to be scared to be honest, since I kind of prepared and will die. No, Yuki, honestly, you did really well. Uh, Yuki, you honestly did really well with your team, and I feel like even your first chamber against Unfriendly uh, Casper was really evenly made. And if anything, you may have had a comeback, might have an opportunity for a comeback in the third chamber. But besides that, um, for my previous questions, um, how did you think you performed at your first uh, tournament here? Because I know that you've been um, at least around my channel for a few times as well. And what made you uh, joining uh, to uh, join this one compared to before? Okay, uh, you can say no need to be scared. Oh wait, <laughs> Noel was me desperation picking already. Yeah, Noel does uh, seems like was a good. Noel was a good pick with um, Hu Tao, but her shield does not seem to be um, high enough to withstand all the damage. Honestly impressed, yes. Impressive. Thank you for hosting. No problem, Yuki. Thank you for uh, joining. Nice try, nice try for sure. Oh wait, I... Okay, I'm friendly, Casper, and then here it is. Yuki, I think you're... Yeah, everyone says that, Yuki, you're fine. Even as a fro... Um... As a low spender slash free to play, you are competing against a um, mega well on this time too. The Chongyun Rosaria team was uh, gonna struggle more versus Maku, so you have maybe some time there. Mm. I don't think I bet on one winner this entire <laughs> tournament. Oh no, that's okay, Grace. That is very nerve wracking betting on someone. Oh, you have fun. Oh wait, who is your who is your friend? You believe in your best of friends? Yeah, 50k points, sure. Oh, boy was. Oof. Were you uh, hoping to fight against boy? Boy got knocked out at the last round versus Aaron BN. And then um, you did uh, do really well. Because look at it. Yuki, you were... Uh, oh, wait, no. You didn't find Gucci as well because Gucci um, forfeited. But you still fought 12 PMM. And also info cards, and against a Omega Well like Unfriendly Casper, you still held your ground really well. You plan to lose first round and bow out? So you're gonna purposely throw the game? You can't have that happen, and you had really strong uh, characters, and it was a very strong contestant all around too. Good game, well played, both of you. Mm-hmm. Heartless loss, <laughs> Thunderbird. You took the three point four k that heartless lost. <laughs> Yuki made us free to place proud and free to play and low spenders unite. Yeah, there are actually a lot of uh, free to place and low spenders around too in this tournament, Graza. You can't really win against Gucci either if you played it. You got lucky in a sense. It's still good. You're, you still did really well, Yuki. Would you consider um, participating again in the future? Or are you going- or do you just plan to just try once? There were about three to four spenders, you know? Yeah, there were definitely some dolphin spenders in here. You can eat- oh wait, uh, now you can grab food and eat quickly. Yeah, Maple, go get some food. Celestial versus, um, uh, incoming? We don't know about that, cause Aaron Bian is gonna- is another tough contender versus Celestial Shower. So, well, here, um, can we have both of them, um, check in in chat real fast? Let me hop in here. There are about three. Oh wait, um, you'll probably build your char more characters more and try. Good luck, Fanas. No problem. Thank you again for participating, uh, Yuki. I hope you have fun regardless. I hope you have fun regardless. 
Okay, Celestial is here. Awesome. And now let me uh, tag Ephemeral. Ephemer, sorry. Ephemer and Celestial. All right, guys, you know what time it is? It's time for a bathroom break again. <laughs> listen, listen, I had one cup of coffee like, and two teas already and also some water. <laughs> I just have a very fast bladder, okay? So I'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry, I just drank a lot. Actually, I wanna, um, I'm actually getting hungry too. I have half a sandwich on the side. I kinda want, wonder if someone is able to take over the drafting phase for me while I eat again. But, um, <clears throat> anyways. Yeah, I went. I I did take a break. Sheriff says that Chong Yun Rosaria combo was hot. Not gonna lie, <sighs> I guess I have to cosplay Chong Yun for sure now, huh? I'm kidding. Uh, Giga Chat Sensei for Celestial. Yeah, Zen mode don't um don't tense much. Yep, for sure. Everyone, we are at the final soon now. Make sure you do not uh, make sure you don't uh get too nervous. But we are finishing. We are getting close for uh finishing up this matchup. Let's see, it's gonna be uh, Effort and also Celestial since both are here. Um, choose heads or tails. Hop in feces oh, fees when you can. Alright, and while that's happening, let me reset this. Go back to flipping a coin, and then I'm gonna quickly snap on this. I have another sandwich on the side. It's kind of spicy though.
So, um... Ephemer is choosing tails Or Aaron and Celestial Showers is choosing heads Dang, head seems to be winning then Celestial Um... Celestial, uh, A or B Aka Jean is eating, finally give her time No, it's okay, I'm just gonna be, um, snacking along the way It's totally fine Um, I think both of them are very familiar with the draft phase So maybe I could actually eat a little bit while I do the time And then, so Celestia is going for player B first And player A is gonna be Aaron Oops, Aaron BN Okay, so right here we are gonna start off with our pick and ban phase for the for our uh, semi-final matchup between Celestial Shower and Eren And while we do that, okay 30 seconds Eren to choose your first uh, character ban Hmm Select still next two character, uh, one ban, one pick And also, I mean, stealing Ganyu from the team and also changing, uh, choosing Banette to prevent Celestial from using him as well. This is gonna, this is a very strategic, um, pick by Ephmer right here. Gooba is a ball. My golden shrimp balls. If someone makes me golden shrimp balls, I will love them for. Okay. Shinchou and Yula, too. Nice character choices. Getting both Benny Boy and Shinchou as support while Celestial is only having Shanling. Okay. A uh, fourth character pick and also second band Celestial. Let's go, so let's don't make your loss in vain. Yeah, these two seems to be very strong contenders against each other too. And both are gonna be having a Ganyu on their team. But one is gonna have a Banette, another has a Shanling. How much for a Chongyun cosplay? I don't know how to do crossplay, so sure. Second ban and fifth pick. You'll name the treasure hoarder boss Shing Shing Chu. They are for sure running out of names. Oh, was that part of the lantern event? I honestly don't read the names anymore. Okay, Ephraim decides to choose ban child and pick Mona. A a first child ban and another Mona pick on his end. Okay. Next two characters by a Celestial. Uh, Heartless. Prediction happens after the draft phase. 
The predictions happen after the draft phase, after you, everyone gets an idea of what their character roster is gonna be. So you guys have more of an uh, know, like, who, who, do you, who do you guys think will have a stronger team between you two? Pick Diona and Barbara. Okay, Aaron, next two characters. Okay, Aaron, next two characters. Okay, so let's deal two more. And Aaron, a uh, last character. Okay, Celestial so is also gonna be be right back in for restroom break. After this. Shoot, we're gonna see a Lisa pick, gamers! Here it is, the, fi uh, the final draft for Eren versus Celestial. I will be putting that on um, in the Discord chat. And, wow, we're gonna start a prediction. Um, Celestial is going to be right back for a restroom, but I'll start a prediction for you guys while I am um, preparing, uh, while waiting for them as well. Yeah, both teams are looking solid, but Lisa, Lisa's probably gonna be there for the Superconduct, um, uh, bros, uh, Eula team as well, but look at this team, they're, f seems like they're gonna be focusing on Freeze team on one side, and also Superconduct on Eula for the second time, while on the second half, there's gonna be, have to be Zhao main, t main DPS with Sucrose, and, uh, Zhao most likely, and maybe, uh, Barbara, or we're gonna see if is there or is Zhao gonna be paired up with Zhang instead? Or going for a reverse melt uh, Ganyu? Okay, here we go. We're gonna start protection. And the first one, uh, Eren Bn versus Celeste Celestial Shower. Five minutes. And then while there, let me double check the characters to make sure it's all within, um, yes, within the rules. And then Celestial is... Okay. Wait, okay, so this is the team so far. Oh, and hi, Trent! Thank you, thank you for liking the cosplay! Um, this is what people have voted for, so I was very excited to wear Kaching again because she is very um, comfortable to use. Aaron Bian. But right now, we are at the semi. Semifinals. Yes, semifinals matchup. And then after this, there's gonna be grand finals. Celestial shower. So it's gonna be fair. Oh, Lala Lizana. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much for your follow. Hope you had a one uh, have a wonderful day. We are going over um, our tournament right now um with uh with Aaron Bian and Celestial Shower and they are just as their team um for today and everyone is going to be betting points on who they think is going to be the winner of this uh, matchup let me fix up uh the stream as well for the timing okay and while we're waiting for uh Celestial to come back Share screen when you can. Your dream came true, being for a uh, Lisa pick, right? Yeah, both teams are looking really solid too. Okay, Celestial is back. Nice. Waiting for an Aller pick. You're never. You're probably never gonna see an Aller pick on this uh for a tournament. Um, twelve pick, twelve fam. And I'm doing good, Levi. Then I'm actually eating right now. Watch time. Oh, for four, almost five hours, Thunderbird. 
You did find me just yesterday too. And Heartless watching me for over 24 hours already? She. Oh, uh, can both of you start share sharing screen? Okay, and while that is going on, predictions going on, let's start off the timer now. Oh, wait a sec. Yai Nico tell you just came here today too and you're still here for after two hours even after all this time Yai Nico Oof the FPS is gonna be a little bit uh oh okay oh thank god it changed Team splash me for seven days dang that's a too really long time Okay here we go both stream streams are going up let me lower the the time so you guys are able to see as rose uh which weapon are they gonna be putting on rosaria for um aaron's team deathmatch okay j all oh, homa homa on jow you need to touch grass. Wait, hold on. Let me, do I have a watch time? You need to touch grass? I need to get out of here. <laughs> Show me if, if, if someone can beat 25 days and 20 hours, I'll fly over to you right now. So since it's your own watch time, wouldn't 25 days be also how long you streamed? I'm honestly surprised that I've actually lasted this long too, Straddles. Oh, dang. Top 100, Heartless. Okay. So on the left side is Celestial's um, team setup. They're running, uh, yes, Zhongli, Zhao, Sucrose, and um, Shanling on the team. Oh, Benny Boy is being used by Aaron's five star weapon. Okay. <clears throat> and then for the second half, they are using the freeze team with Diona, more. Uh, Diona, Mona. Wait. Yes, let's do this. Diona, Mona. Wait. You had Barbara. Celestial, you're using. You picked Barbara. There is no Mona. Shenha and. Yeah, there you. There is. There is the matchup. Okay. Oh my lord. Yeah, uh, Mona was. Get <laughs> it. Was stolen from Aaron's side. Okay. And then um, for uh, Aaron's team is uh, Eula, Bennett, Rosaria, Lisa. Yes, that's for the super conduct. And bottom half is Ganyu, Shincho, Mona, and also Chi Chi 
All right, both teams are looking good. Okay, so then since um, Aaron is player A, we are gonna, he's gonna start it off first. Um, at first, since you are player A, uh, you will have to head into the abyss first if both of you are ready. Please uh, enter the abyss, don't select the card yet. And then we're gonna be watching um, Ephmer start. Let me change this too. You don't know if this mask is correct, but I think you stream for 620 hours. Oh, oh, don't they convert it from uh, 24 hours, you know, to one day like that? No, points are not allowed to be given. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Okay, now here we are. Our predictions are over. And we're gonna have our uh, second semi man semi-final matchup with Aaron versus uh, Celestial Shower. And let's see how this superconduct Eula team with um, Lisa is gonna perform since they did manage to steal Bonnet from their opponent. I have my candy. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off with um, getting some Eula stacks right there. But net first, of course, 46k reverse melt. Nice damage. Then you're putting Lisa in. Using, quickly switching over for Eula. Hopefully Eula has a high crit rate. She does have Song of Broken Pines on her account, on their account right now. So, ooh, miss. Does that happen to snapshot with Bonnet's burst, by the way? Uh, due to the uh, quality, we're not able to see what damage, but you could already strike that. A chunk of the HP is taken away from the Perpetual Array. Now they have to work back on getting some ER too. Um, Rosario would be a good energy uh, recharger for Eula as well due to her low HP. Wow, 54k crit by Benet. That is one stack for Benny boy. Okay, going back in. Another Rose. Oh, missed out on the Rosaria first after the array um, dodged the damage. Dodged it. And now going to the minion phase after uh, just taking down half of their HP. Waiting for it to finally spawn the health bar so you could start getting energy again. Really funneling back in. Hit, 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 more hit. At least um, Nula's auto attack does a lot of damage in not regular. But there is no Lisa on the gameplay because they are relying on Nula for the super. There she is, just for a few of it. But it's gonna be hard getting some um, uh, Lisa energy particles in order to combo with the super content Eula. Aaron got pushed out of Bennett's first before Coop. Yes, that was very unfortunate too. Okay, now he's switching around. The minion is almost dead. You just need to use the burst down. Oh, but the burst is just right out of range from the main enemy as well. Uh, okay, but now we're gonna go in with another Eula burst. Let's see what kind of damage they're able to provide us. Um, getting the stacks in with Songs of Broken Pines. And just a little more and it's gonna nuke at no crit. Did I see that wrong? But still, there's still a lot of us, um, a sliver of HP left on the array. Two minutes has already gone by. Need to funnel some energy in um, for all of the characters. That's very unfortunate, especially when you are a Eula uh, player. Your main damage is coming in from her big nuke. Uh, nuke crit, and you have a low crit rate. Can you're gonna lose out on max DPS because of um, all the energy uh, required to gain her first back. Okay, Celestial's so 5 star is Polar, Toma, and Jade here. Thank you. Let's see if they are able to um, get a better time in the second half with um, the Mona, Mona, uh, Shincho, Ganyu, and Diana. Yeah, oh no, Chi-Chi's team. So both Cairo, both, both Hydro. Cairo and Hydro. Which is great for destroying um, the first two chambers, but we won't know what's, go how, what's gonna happen in the Magu Kenki. So they're destroying the three enemies fairly well. Chi-Chi is a good healer, um, especially... But it's gonna be hard to get energy particles for her and also for Ganyu. But you don't really need to focus on the burst for Ganyu when all you need is her charge attack shots. So one of them is already down, getting the Mona burst in, switching over. Ooh, the little uh, mage teleported away. Is he gonna be focusing on which one is it gonna be? Since both are so far apart. Okay, quickly getting the mage down without the shield. It's trying to hit the um, hit the mage closer to 
the uh, best luck here, but instead using a burst and then gonna just be focusing on the mage instead. Going back in, oof, that best luck here still looking mighty healthy, getting the headshots um, for the uh, guaranteed crit right now. Oof, the stream drops are lagging a little bit. I wonder if they can stream lower quality later. Okay. Um. Ethmer, can you. You change to 30. Hello, Shiro! Shiro Kage, welcome in! We're having a little abyss tournament right now, too. Oh, Gaji san, welcome, welcome! And being bad games. Oh, shoot, sorry, let me uh, pay attention to this. Um. To pay attention to this uh, tournament because right now they are gonna be very close in breaking the shield with Mona and they are gonna be ending this time at 5 minutes and 39 seconds. 5.39. So, um, so we're having a little Abyss tar PvP Abyss Tournaments. We are currently in the semifinals with um, our players uh, Aaron BN versus Celestial Shower. So what PvP Abyss is that um, I'm hosting this little uh, tournament where um, both players are fighting against each other to be the fastest time. All the rules and information can be uh, found on exclamation mark PvP Abyss. And if you want to see where we are in the bracket, it's exclamation mark players. So then uh, let me go back to here for Celestial's time. And Aaron's finished the first chamber in 261 seconds. But I hope you had a wonderful stream, Shiro Kake, and thank you so much for the follow as well. What were you doing in, um... Yes, in Genshin. Wait, what did I say? 261. What were you also doing in Genshin? Are you excited for the future um, uh, characters? Or did you roll for the, cur uh, for the current banner? Yes, welcome into Gachi-san. And if you guys uh, remember, we also raided Galaxy Sound last late last night as well. So if you guys um, have for, haven't checked them out, go do excellent. Uh, if we get a shout out for Galaxy Sound too. Okay, sorry. While well, I'm getting tricked, I'm missing out on my Husbando gameplay. Zhao doing a mess of DPS damage with Homa already. One Zhao cycle plunge is already to take down almost half HP of the Perpetual Array. Funneling some energy back guard and through Sucrose. There is no healer on this team, but with Zhao shield, you were, do not need a healer if you are able to c keep his uh, shield up and alive throughout the whole time. So look at that damage take, um, that perpetual Array is being taken by Zhao, being forced into the stage. Um, this is a mandatory minion uh, stage. Once you get the perpetual Array around um, a third HP left. Oh my gosh, nice placement um, of the minion too. Now it's placing next to the dead, I mean, the main body of the uh, of the Array, and then the minion almost dying right here. Quickly gonna be funding some energy to Zhao. Gonna, we're gonna see another Zhao burst right here too, finishing off the minion and then going straight damage into the perpetual array with the slight um, extra damage by Xiangling and also the Anemo swirl damage too. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Zhao going on, but be careful, he is at 5k HP but is able to finish that time in a minute and 30 seconds. You're speedrunning the quest and event? Oh, yeah, I really like how the Lantern fight, uh, Lantern Run event is done this year, uh, around 2 compared to last year. <laughs> and you're saving for Yai Miko? Yai Miko is also um, who I am saving for and super excited as well. I'm so ready for her to come out and I can't wait for the live stream. Okay, now we're going back to his uh, Ganyu as well, using a polar star from what it looks like. And with this Ganyu team, they're using also double, uh, oh no, they're using triple Cairo and Barbara as their um, healer and also for their hydro applicator. Because Mona was stolen from uh, the other team by Eren, Celestial makes it do with, um, bar with DPS Barbara, maybe? And thank you, thank you for the cosplay. Um, oh shoot. I also cosplay a lot of um, Genshin characters as well, so I have a lot in my closet. But I'm glad you enjoy the cosplay as well. Okay, so remember, if you aim charge uh, shots at um, the or do a headshots with Ganyu, it's guaranteed crit. So look at all the damage he's able to do with their um, against the her uh, best hero. Now he's gonna be forced into the shield phase. You're gonna need around 20 um, seconds to clear it out with just pure high will support. And there is Barbara gooding in work, especially with um, her super long cooldown of her skill. But it is gonna be. A able to do some breaking the shield already halfway done and put staying right next to it as well not wasting any seconds dodging and rather than shielding with diana and instead i mean there should be a little bit more left yes just a little bit no left for barbara in order to kill the best um like there and they are going to be finishing this time soon at six minutes 
and 50. One second. 651. That is almost uh, one minute faster than, er, uh, than their opponent right now. And putting their time at 189 seconds. Okay, now we're going back to Ephmer. Uh, 5k HP Zhao gives me flashback to your run. <laughs> Venus, hopefully Zhao will make this a first. Yeah, Venus, see, there are a lot of good um, Zhao being played as well, but hopefully this will inspire you to also make him stronger too. Okay, so now with this team... Oh shoot, the frames are still kind of difficult. It's still streaming at 720, 60 FPS. Let me ask if they could change it um, to 30 FPS later. Okay, but here we go. We're gonna be going with the Lisa Super Conduct team with um, with a Bonnet support. And there is nice dodge um, iframe from, um, the, uh, from his shower attack, but he is gonna be missing out on DBS because there's no shielder on this team. Oh my god, was that a 515 crit by Eula? This is what happens when you're Eula crit! It was unfortunately that he missed a uh, Eula crit in the first half with the perpetual array because look at the damage that he was giving out on the uh, Geo Bishop. Celestial Smurfy got that. Now, I don't know about that because right now Eren might be making a huge comeback as long as Eula is able to do another big crit like that again. And Lisa got her burst up nice and ready. Now we're gonna have um, Rosaria burst too. Benny Boy is gonna be falling close after, but he is very low on HP. Around 5k HP left. One more take and he might be down for the count. So he is gonna be focused on running around away, but then getting some heals back on um, Benny. Okay, getting the rotations in, but no Eula burst right now, too. Will he? Will it be enough? Since Eula does have very low ER. Oh no, he might be a lot of it going to waste. Not able to do a burst on Eula, even with um, Rosario Lisa combo, but it's okay because even with just an auto attack, auto attack Eula, he was able to clear it. I did not see the time, but he was able to clear it in a really fast timing. Are we sure Celestio is smurfing now, Thunderbird? Yeah, if he had critted against the uh, mechanical array, he would have definitely did a double time. That would have been a way for him to use a offensive reset. But with how the offensive resets are um, going well, we don't want to see any people um, making any mistakes or getting the nerves get to them. It would have been definitely disgusting. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how he will perform at the second uh, half of this, of this chamber. Right now, it's uh, two minutes have already passed, so we... While well, dealing with um, both of these abyss arrows, but at least both of them are grouped up together and dealing good damage together at the same time. Frozen, nice crowd control as well. Om uh, Omen debuff too. Okay, both of them are now at the same time. Probably gonna use a Chi Chi burst right here. Yes, uh, only able to get one on the abyss arrows, but it's okay because Chi Chi does some apply too much Cairo, uh, and what he, he, he needs to worry about is using Ganyu. And Ganyu has one of the biggest bursts in game as well, lasting for a super long, long time with her Celestial sa Shower. And let's see, to keep them stun lock and crowd control, and even with Chi Chi healing, uh, Ganyu is looking super healthy right now. And that's not another Chi Chi skills um, applying. Oh no, was not able to apply it. But no need to worry because Eren is very close um, and finishing up. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait! Better be careful! Better be careful! Because there is no shielding to protect Ganyu and Ganyu is right out of red HP. Oh my god! Uh, both of them are babbling around. He better be not be switching over to Ganyu. He's playing very dangerous right now. It's because he wanted to use the aggro on Ganyu, but taking another hit. Very close. Okay, he barely survived that dangerous moment between the two. That's gonna cost him a lot of time though for, with the two Abyss Heralds, because they are not going down without a fight. And now he's gonna be clearing this time. Holy crap! That's very close. Lots of ways of time, but he's gonna be clear at 626. 626. 214. Those Abyss Heralds are def uh, definitely put toward with him at the last extending it, uh, at the last like what 10 20 seconds, causing him to panic and run away and make sure Ganyu was still safe. That's gonna cost him again. Let's go back to Celestial and see how they're gonna do at Chamber 2.
You don't know what was in other people's mind when they were using an offense reset, but I was definitely tilted. Oh no, Beam. Offensive reset goes desperation. You know you lose either way, so you chance it. That too, but I feel like, yeah, offensive reset make, will make you also play probably more dangerous and reckless too. So it's, very, uh, it's better to always save the reset in the background. Okay, here we go with, um, oh no, Zhao, the, he lose out on his shield. This is gonna be da very dangerous for Le Celestial right now because Zhang Li does not have a shield and he's gonna be dodging that plunge. Oh, with a crystallized shield instead, but I believe the Geo Bishop did not take any damage and instead he is doing plunge attacks straight up with uh, Zhao, very low on HP, funneling some ER back to uh, Zhao again through Sucrose. Um, almost, his burst is almost up again, along with Zhao Ling as well, another fun, uh, funneling ER to Zhao, should be almost there. Uh, uh, Zhao Ling doing a burst, 505k, nice. Going back to uh, Zhao Ling. And then co-funneling ER back to Zhao again, gonna be using another burst cycle, let's see how well they're gonna be doing this time around. Uh, lots of good damage being done, but 900, less than 1000 HP on Zhao and still losing because that is just his passive. If you're, as long as you're in burst mode, you'll be losing HP every time. Only shield right on time as soon as it ended as well. Switching to Gooba back in, going through back to Sucrose, closing down the burst. Zhao dash dash in. No, not enough ER still. John Lee burst in. Quickly shield, Gooba down again. Oh no, Gooba was still on cooldown. And then Zhao should be having another burst by 818 HP now. Is he gonna risk it? Yes, he is. He's, this uh, Zhao cycle should be enough to kill um, the Geo Bishop, but it's gonna take about two minutes to clear the first chamber. You did it to showcase your bad <laughs> No, 12 p.m. You're jo you did fine from what I remember. It was because you wanted to play longer, right? I um I was not tilted, but I know I lost when Kokomi did more damage. Oh no! Okay, right now they're playing very um close range to make sure that Barba vapor uh Barbara application wet status is gonna hit both of the enemies and keep them frozen. But now they are unfortunately running away from each other. Let's see which Ganyu is gonna be the winner in the end, because Ganyu is on both sides of the team's second half. And then we're gonna be switching over uh, back to um, both of them are good together. Shenha is a nice um, character support for Ganyu as well. Both of them should be uh, super uh, close to dying. I mean, super close to changing to shield phase soon. And just uh, one uh, more charge shot on that. Abyss Hero. Yes, now it is. Okay, putting the Dahona shield up, putting Shenha skill in. Ganyu should be ready for her burst. Yes, it is. Catching them both in the cycle, but they are pretty spread apart. Let's see if they're able to come rip them up together again. Or is it just gonna be pushing one at a time? Got interrupted. That's gonna be lost on timing again. Switching to Shenha. Shenha does have a 10 second cooldown, but guess who has a burst again? Shenha! Right in, and Diona's very close and getting her uh, burst again. There she is. And that's gonna be another burst on Diona. Back to Ganyu for safety. Now that two of the bursts are ro rotating against each other. And now, one is almost down, second is almost down, but they are gonna be ending this time at 6 minutes and 34 seconds. 6, 30, 4. So just a few seconds faster than, um, than Aaron, but they're, that's gonna put them at a time at 2.06. Okay, 2.06, very close matchups right now. Okay, let me mute here and going back to Ephemerals. Um, how is the Zhao not dead? Zhao Li shield. Zero energy for chamber. Yeah, so right now there is no energy recharge for Eula, Banet, Rosaria, and Lisa team. They're gonna, uh, the rune guards and rune, sen uh, rune graders does have a physical resistance with Eula, but as we saw how big damage Eula was able to, bit to put when you are getting all of the burst down as well, we just have to rely on and Lisa super can but unfortunately there's no ER and Lisa, so we're just going straight up with Benny Burst and Eula. 
And let's see, what's the damage for this time? 255 and 275 crit on both rune guards. Nice damage as well, but it was not enough to kill them in just one shot, but did take down a huge chunk of HP that still took less than a minute. Now they still have to face the rune sentinels, I mean rune graders right now too. The second one is always going to charge at you, so just focus on one, on one, the one closest to you right now. Lisa does have her ER back. Now just waiting for Bennett Burst so she could, they could cycle all the in. There's Rosaria, then Lisa. And then Eula, this is gonna be another disgusting combo if they manage to um, get the manage to get the burst uh, to crit. Let's see what the damage is gonna do. He is taking a lot of damage though. Better be careful. Please switch out. Was not able to do the whole stacks. Eula very close to dead. And only one of them was able to take down. That's very disappointing. But let's see if he's able to make a clean comeback from this. Getting a lot of heals back. You, uh, Lisa burst back to um, Eula. Super conduct damage, 22k per, per hit. That's really strong. And but still takes him one minute and thirty seconds to clear the first half. Thunderbird, do you actually know um Celestial as well? Rune guard drops a lot of particles, so you're not worried. Mm. You're back from your midnight five and co shower? <laughs> How do you guys take a shower in five minutes? And why is it cold? Yeah, the tournament is still going, but we this is uh, the semifinals. And then we're gonna go to the grand finals right after this. So the winner of this stage is going to go to the grand finals calculator. Talk about play by play. Yeah, going elite. Uh, my voice has been dying since yesterday because I did a 13 hour stream basically hosting this. And it's already been six hours since we did the stream too. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, needs to actually damage them to get those. Don't can't remember if he had power on Ado or not. Ooh, I'm not sure. Uh, you came back from like to see Lisa. Life is crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of damage going on right now. So right here with the Ganyu, um, Shincho, um, Chichi, and Mona team, I believe. First base is already down, um, with the Magu Kenki. Hopefully, um, their Eren is able to push him against the corner to get the damage down. Oof, a lot. Okay, gonna be hiding around, gonna be alternating their cycles. So I have to keep the Maku Kenki backed up in a corner so they don't have to risk chasing it around as well. Nice burst by Amona. Then putting another burst by Ganyu. Let's see how what's the damage. Is it gonna be a hack and slash? Yes, a swimming circle. Managed to iframe it. Nice by the dash. It's hard to see the damage, but he is still aiming for those headshots for Amaku Kenki, but he gotta be careful because it's hard to see what attack he's gonna be doing next. But it seems like he has a lot of practice um, before by fighting Amaku Kenki using uh, Chi Chi Burst, um, Ona Burst uh, right now. And then gonna be getting some extra damage down while Omen is still in effect. He needs to dodge this. Nice. Um, with Shincho. And then getting some attack in with Amaku Kenki. He's gonna need to dodge again, I frame. No, yes, nice uh, dodging. Oh no, he's frozen! That's unfortunate, but he still managed to recover very fast. Back to... And then back to the corner, Maku Kenki and Go is gonna use a burst to dodge uh, the fry frames. And then gonna use another Ganyu burst, he's very close to death. Um, it's at 6 minutes and 18 seconds, 15 seconds. Let's see what the final time is gonna be at 6.13! 6.13! That puts him at a total of 227 seconds, and his final uh, score for him is 702. 227. Amazing, amazing time. And let's go back to Celestial. No crit again, Smosh. Hey, Viol, Viol, Lat, you're still here. Welcome in. Oh, yeah, Thunderbird, sorry. I completely forgot. I remember you were here to support one of your friends, but I thought it was just info. I forgot that you also know Celestial. Wait, so you're gonna already, um, already exposing Celestial is smurfing on here? All right, here we go. We're starting off with the Sucrose um, Zhao team as well. I, yes, if I remember correctly, Celestial does have one of the strongest Zhao in the, in the tournament gameplay right now. And here we go. We're going to be watching those plunge attacks right now. Oh my gosh, it was very dangerous. I thought he, it was going to... The enemies were going to be spinning attack on him, but instead, he managed to stun them and getting uh, them down almost at the same time. Now we're going to be focusing on the rune greater, even with the leftover Zhao attack. 
That folder child damages, getting some uh, DP, uh, some ER in for his child. Everyone is very healthy in ER. Nice to use the Zhongli first right as the other one charged over. Now he's gonna be using other first, getting some shield in. Get dash dash and then jump. There we go. Here's gonna hit both of them at the same time as well. Uh, they're both looking already half HP down. One minute has gone by, but Zhao is at 200 HP. As long as the shield is alive, then he he is able to kill them within just one minute and 11 seconds. <laughs> Chirp, you came back from work just lurch just to see Cardi. Thank you, thank you, Chirp. Alright, here we go with... <laughs> Here we go with um, the Barbara, Barbara Shenha Ganyu team. So while he does not have a Mona on our um, Ganyu like um, Eren does, they they have Shenha instead. So let's see what's the better combo. Is Ganyu gonna be um, is Ganyu gonna do more damage with Shenha on the team or with Mona with her own members? We're gonna see it right now, folks. So we're gonna have more uh, charge attack at the aiming at the headshots for the crit guaranteed crit. Lots of damage um, on the side. He's gonna need to dodge that. Or just tank it with a uh, Diona shield anyways. So I can't so I guess he is gonna be flexing that a little bit with just auto attack on you, hmm? So he's just gonna be doing that, going back to the side, using a burst to avoid that uh, slash. And going back to the straight up charge attack, 32k attacks, damn, and for Bloom too. For both ends, he's gonna doing a lot of damage right now. Maku Kenki is already half HP down. He's gonna do another style and manage to dodge it with Diona using both sacrificial on the side as well. Going back in, uh, use Shenha burst, use Diona burst to iframe, then Shenha burst again. He's gonna probably switching over to Ganyu with more charge attack hits while uh, Shenha is still in effect with her icy quills. He's gonna need to dodge away from that face tank. Yes, he did. Nice damage going on, keeping the Magu Kenny straight in the corner. That yeah, nice iframe dodge from that. It's already been a few minutes, but the years will be uh, finished up soon. With just a few more charge shots, and Magu Kenki should be de dying at 6 minutes and 55 seconds. So, the total time at the end. Wait, I already forgot. 185. So between the two of um, Aaron's uh, stage, his grand total time is 700, 702 seconds. And Celestial's sh uh, shower final time is 580 seconds. Oh, Oops. 580 seconds. So the winner of this bracket is going to go to Celestial Showers. And then before we move on to the next stage, let's get a word from our players. That is... <clears throat> man, that is a oh, two-minute difference between them. How does it... Uh, wait, hold on. I got some updates. Man, GG, GG. GG, well played by Celestial and also by Ephemer. <laughs> That's 199 HP more than needed. Yeah, he, they had a lot of faith in Zhongli. And I don't know if you guys could see, but Zhongli was actually at tw only had 20k HP. Zhongli's shield was only at 20k HP. And he was still able to survive through everything. 10k channel points incoming. Banger finals. <laughs> Alright, here is the outcome for you guys. Between Eren and Celestial, uh, Celestial advances to the grand finals. Oh my god, okay. I let's let's hear it from the winners. I mean let's hear it from the gamers. Okay. Um you guys don't have to uh, go off of voice chat for this, but since um congratulations for uh, Celestio for hopping um for advancing to the grand finals. Uh Aaron, how did you think you did you did um for your first tournament cup and you made it all the way to the semifinals, which is really well done. Um let me see if I if I believe 
Okay, yeah, you fought Zelda and then you fought Boy May Evil. How did you think you did against uh, Celestial Shower? The Eula not critting in Chamber 1 two times definitely hurt a lot on your timing as well. But by the time we were able to see her crit too, that Eula looked strong as hell. Alright, 60k on Maple Smash. But grand final, ooh, yes, grand final soon, Grace. It's gonna be the last match of the night. Breath of Flame. Oh, welcome in. Welcome back to Breath of Flame. Yeah, you believed in Thunderbird's judgment. All right, 60k on Maple. Someone match me or else. <laughs> sure. So Celestial versus um. Oh uh, yes, it's gonna be very close because let me see. From right here, uh, Celestial. Uh, yes, both Celestial and Unfriendly Casper had to fight an extra stage. Um, in the beginning, and they had to be all of their opponents and to meet each other in the grand finals. Even the people that had a bye was not able to defeat defeat these two titans of the stage right now. So let's just shower as um as uh shoot shoot shoot. Okay. Uh, as Thunderbird, sorry, I my mind blank out. As Thunderbird has said, Celestial Shower is the one smurfing right now. But when he, uh, will Celestial be able to perform well against our hidden well unfriendly Casper? <laughs> good luck to Celestial, and yes, good luck to um congrat uh congratulations to Celestial and GG well played to Ethmer, and I will. Um, I will be needing to, I will, uh, message everyone, um, for, for the bracket to get, give me your, um, sign-in so I could swipe on your account after. But, um, not only that, I'll probably message the, when, uh, uh, all the players individually about simple questions like, um, how did you hear about the, ha uh, just, it's like a little survey, you guys don't have to answer if you don't want to. But how did you hear about the Kargi Cup tournament? Um, why did you enter or so? And um, how did you feel like you did? Or, or if you're ready, um, do you think you're gonna be participating in the next one and such like that? Because I know we saw a, we see, have a lot of new uh, faces around this time around. But I'm very excited to have so many people show interest in it. Thank you so yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for joining. And your team was really strong. Your your Yula is one um that everyone would have been be very wary of. And uh let me see. And if she was managed able to crit on her first on the first half against the perpetual array, I'm sure it would have been a very close matchup even more. Okay, so now we are gonna go to um I need some Now we are gonna go back to here at the side. So let me catch up in chat. You got 10k so you could redeem Ruin Your Ears. Yuki, no, Yuki, I can't. Do you know what Ruin Your Ears is? Or should you bet? You should bet. Bet, Yuki, bet. This is, uh, since this is a Genshin stream, that means this is a gambling stream. Thunder, you got 21k points from Heartless. What is smurfing? You don't understand. It's true. There's no way you could smurf in Genshin. All of it is just artifacts and weapon. And I am checking on Celestial's uh, gear or Celestial's weapons and constellations too. And there's no way they could. Uh, there's no way that they are using something other people are not. They are. If anything, they're just better at dodging or aiming. Stop smurfing. Yes. Can you stop smurfing in Genshin? Smurfing in general is played at a lower uh, scale level. It's just, I don't know if it's possible to even smurf in Genshin. You wish your Eula was C0? Yeah, my Eula is C0 of Sharp, and you know how much damage she does? Not a 100k crit. <laughs> You guess lowering your world level will be smurfing, but not possible in but Yes, for sure, Graza. Uh, it's not possible to uh, lower your grade, uh, your world level in Abyss, because all, all the Abyss is going to be the same. Alright. <laughs> it's been... It's been a long journey. We have finally made it to the Grand Finals. But before we begin, I want to take a break and make another tea. So, you're learning more from these streams than playing? Wait, Luxoria, what AR rank are you? Yes, when you get to a certain uh, world level, you could lower your rank. I mean, lower your AR rank so um, 
the monsters are easier to fight, but uh, their drops will also be um, lower. Oh, only AR-30, no wonder. Uh, you should be able to unlock it later. I don't remember which AR rank, but I think you're going to unlock it later. You are so fun to play. Yeah, it's too bad we don't have toggle constellations, huh? With your C6 R5. Your baby to Genshin, but enjoy so much. Oh, look, sorry, I'm so glad that you're enjoying too. I know there might be a lot of confusion, confusing things happening um, with a uh, uh, Abyss tournament too, but I'm so glad that you're enjoying your time here, even though you're um, you're still new to it. But honestly, I'm you get to see which characters are very meta to choose, and maybe if they have a rerun, it will convince you to get to think. Okay, these are the characters I need to roll for. Um, because once you get higher leveled, a lot of play uh, people don't want to spend time building their characters to keep up, so they lower roll. Oh man, uh, Grace, uh, to keep the game fun and not as monotone. Grace, uh, I honestly love getting my character stronger. I actually wanted, as soon as I hit um, the next AR rank, I immediately ascend it because I want the challenge. I want my character. I want to struggle. That's why I love Abyss so much because with all the different team comps and style um, like that. Um, I wanted to challenge myself to get, um, uh, to get stronger and defeat the enemies. So this is why, um, I like to host, a uh, PvP Abyss too. Um, at least for me, and I'm sure some people who are slightly competitive, they are, uh, they will, don't mind, um, you know, getting stronger. And now that we have an opportunity to see how strong they actually are versus another person. Genshin is fun, but Guardian Cup is better. Aw, uh, see? I'm glad you're enjoying it too, Maple. I'm really glad that, um, you know, with the past few months, you are building up your characters, getting them stronger so you could participate in the uh, tournament. And now look where you are! You're in the grand final matchup against Celestial Shadow. How do you think you're gonna feel while finding, uh, fighting against them? I was super excited because I was hoping to get Shinchu from the Wish, and you got so lucky you unlocked him earlier. Yes, look, sorry, did you see how often Shinchu is being picked every, um... Being picked every day, um, every, basically at every match too. He is definitely a character necessary for your team. You love billing too. When did you free to play your video? So a little bit smart. Yeah, great stuff. If you manage to have a Yunjin and also Shincho, your that will uh, do so much damage for your Yomiya. And Yomiya works really well with the four star weapon Rust. There was a Yon yes, yes, there that too. We had a two, we had two Yomiya gameplay um in the style too. It was Yuki's opponent. Yuki, you fought against. Uh, was it Maple? No, 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 no. It was either 12 p.m. or Invo cards. I don't think it was Invo, was it? I can't remember all of the matchup, but but honestly, your Mia does really scary damage. Yeah, uh, your Mia is very strong. She is able, especially with a Yunjin and Shincho support, because Yunjin will increase her um, auto attack damage, and Shincho will do the vaporize damage. Mark your eye, we're solo, your Mia, a bit shall be yours. <laughs> Maple has no Mora, no books, and no resin. But you did all of that just to reach here, Maple, for the grand finals. You love the end results of the building, but the farming for iron. Yeah, that too, calculator. I spent so. I'm still farming um, Emblem Domain because I don't have a good ER cup for my Raiden. But one day, one day, we'll, we will all get good artifacts, huh? You did? That's why you were hoping for him? Good to know. Yes, and congratulations on getting him. The end is near. Yes, or am I evil? Um, I, um, only Yudia. Uh, Yudia for sure had a, um, Yudia for sure had a, um, Yormia. But then since Yuki, you said you were fighting, um, your opponent, it was probably either Invo Arts, Invo, or 12 p.m. But I don't think Invo had a, uh, Yormia. Let me look it up real fast. Yeah, Info did not have a Yormia. 
Your main comp is already your Mio on Rust with Shinchu and Union support. You suppose you're the definition of meta? That's totally fine. If you want to play by meta, play by husbando, waifu, it doesn't matter. It's like I said, it is a solo, uh, Gen Genshin is a solo game. And especially with a gacha game as well, just play your favorite characters or play whoever you think is, uh, good. I also follow the meta a lot as well. That's why I always watch, um, uh, videos on how to build the characters and such, um, because I also want to, because I'm the type that love to see big PP damage number as well. So whenever I see a huge crit by uh, someone on PvP events, I always call out on it. Because we love to see, um, see those big numbers flash out on screen, am I right? Yeah, Maple has a C6 Yormiya, so there, um, he did not use his. Your, uh, Yai, Yai Miko's Yormiya does 60 to 100k overworld and without Yunjin, you only got... Dang, that's really strong! Is it just, um, with Shincho's support though, or is it with Pyro, um, or just pure Pyro? Do you have 20, 250, which is 9 million more? <laughs> uh, the free to play save is real? Well, for me, Graza, my, um, saving for Yai Miko is, uh, in the power of the credit card. <laughs> Fun fact number four, with only one game left to play, Shinchu, Bennett, and Xiaoli have appeared in every game, either banned or picked. Wait, what about Ayaka and Ganyu? I thought Ganyu was pretty popular this time too. Oh wait, actually it was 12 p.m. Ooh, she, that was a really strong, really strong Dormia. You love it? Yeah, Beam has been keeping track of all these skills though. So. And welcome in, Winnie, hope you're doing well. You hate playing meta, you just enjoy playing your because she has funny fireworks girl and you love her. She is cute. I just wish that her um, auto target is not so scuffed. Because that did cost um, someone uh, extra time on their um, tournament runs the yesterday too. You built DPS Barba to divide a meta. It didn't work out well, but it was hilarious. Hey, great stuff with the, um, with, with, uh, the four piece Ocean Clam set. It is still possible with DPS Barbara. Yes, with, with Mel and Sucrose Benny. Oh my gosh, so strong. Hi, Cardi. Hope you're doing uh, great today. And the finals are going well. Yes, uh, we are having our grand finals with Cecil Celestial Shower versus Unfriendly Casper. And thank you so much. I did. Um, I had to get ready really fast as Kaching, but I'm glad it turned out well. Uh, my voice is still kind of dying, so I will need to be right back, you guys, right before the finals. Let me um, be right back real fast to make another cup of tea to soothe my voice. And thank you for the shout out, Sharp. So Winnie is the other uh, streamer I wanted to collab with in the future to host more of the PvP of this tournament tournament with. Um, there are a lot of ideas people are drawing out as Winnie for not only the Well Cup, but also um, doing regionals like North America, uh, North America, EU, and Asia server, and then fighting all the way to the top. So maybe um, whenever you have time, we could figure out the logistics on how everything's gonna work. We need, to, we definitely need, um, I, I was, okay. I definitely need more help with organizing this event in the future too. So if anyone wall wanna volunteer, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Cause I didn't, and I do wanna limit it to around 16 participants. Um, 16 participants, uh, or if I'm hosting it myself, I want to listen. Listen. Uh, sorry, I can't talk. Okay, yeah, no problem. I also need to. Hey, Queen. Okay. It's Tartaglia. Oh my gosh! Thank you for the gift. It's so wild. Too many. But okay, yeah. I definitely need help getting uh, some organizations and limiting it to 16 people because these past two streams are honestly a killer to me. And I'm still doing this in cosplay, even with a uh, little sleep from the previous night and streaming for 13 hours already. And tomorrow I have to go back to work. But yes, regionals. <laughs> that, uh, but that's if we manage to get a lot of people excited for um, from each region wanting to hop into. That sounds amazing. Yeah, I hope to see all of you guys participate again, like Boy, uh, Made Evil, uh, Yuki as well. Since I know because we have so much different uh, time zones. Um, I, and yesterday it was a struggle trying to get everyone, um, in at the same time, or other people had to basically wait the whole stream until their time. If we have regionals and set up time slots so we could have NA, um, part, uh, fight in this time, EU fight in this time, and, uh, Asia fight in this time, I feel like that will be better for everyone in the end, and whoever's the winners for those will get to fight each other, um, at the end too. Hand slipped. Lyle! <laughs> Stop slipping. I'm gonna have to pa swipe your hands then. You're off work on the weekends and available after PMPC. <laughs> hey, you're also in the same time zone as me then, Luxoria. 
And thank you for the gift of sub again. Anyone in Asia want to host regional for Cardi? Um, I don't know if word has been spread around yet, Beam, because I don't know how many people are going to participate. But maybe if I open applications again, and I ha and this time in the application, I did have people separate their, separated their time zone to see um, their uh, UID and also their uh, region. I mean, UID and also their server. So if anything, we could use this sheet and then sub um, basically and you know filter out the people and i guess whoever wants to host that will be checked at that way something like that i guess uh, there's still a lot to think over but it was it is a very interesting idea how people suggested regionals and um separating the time zones yeah since you can't participate you could help organize <laughs> you guys remember what i said earlier right where i'm very bad at asking help because i do not message people first and i take everything I take all the burden upon myself. But anyways, let me be right back. We are going to... Um, we're gonna go up to the region, uh, I mean to the final soon, and I need to make some tea. So, be right back for a few minutes. Um, just hang, hang out until, uh, done. Let me see, what's some good background music for you guys?
you. I forgot to say thank you for the follow for Ankit. Sorry, I disappeared for a little bit. But thank you, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying your time here. You have no issue for hosting those in Asia. Yeah, I'll have to see how interested people are, or if you even have enough contestants. Um, or if you have enough contestants too, because uh, since, like I said, the Cardi Cup is something um, I hold very dear to me. And I, I do, and I want to see it grow more as well. But it's also like I want to trust it, uh, uh, sharing this with um, people I know I could trust. That's why there has been a lot of times where um, I just do everything myself too. Um, perhaps you should have the participants fill in a form about the tournament. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, Beam. I was gonna message at least um, uh, the top eight. So, cause the, at least the top eight um, for. Uh, for information regarding um, their uh, how they felt about it and also their login information so I could swipe on their account but I don't want to create like a whole freaking survey or form and re have them <laughs> fill it out because I feel like that's uh, that's asking too much for them or too much of them if they want to uh, just reply back to my DMs that'd be cool if not then I'm not gonna make a whole survey to the for them 13 and 18 made it to the finals wait 18 and 13 huh wait what do you mean Yuki uh, technically we have 21 people Japanese music will work for it different, yeah I usually listen to a lot of Japanese songs in the background too Kasa emote? Wait, where? Where's the Kasa emote? Who that no one be picking him? Yeah, no one was- no a lot of Kasa picks Imagine- Maple, you get disqualified You pick Kasa, I'm gonna disqualify you I just said, oh, welcome back, Yudia. You can't live in North America, but everyone else is different. Yeah, everywhere is just different time zones. And the fun fact number six, perhaps everyone is using Zhao wrong, while Zhao only has 38% win rate. Both finalists today have won with Zhao in this tournament. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, but the thing is, Celestial has a very strong Zhao in general, and Maple has doing some really uh, nice combos with Zhao. Um... So we'll see uh, what they are gonna be seeing, uh, how they're gonna perform in the finals. Yudia, you woke up just in time, but because we're at the grand finals now, it's gonna be Celestial Shower versus Unfriendly Casper. Uh, your music takes us bipolar, so it's either soft J uh, rock pop or very loud noise pop. Grace, uh, I actually listen to a lot of K pop, but I know since not everyone likes K pop, um. Uh, in general, I end up listening to a lot um, to J-pop instead, um, and so and but I would say mine is also around rock, uh, pop style, or very, or very soft um, melodies. Hope you had a nice yeah. Hope you had a nice nap too, Yudia. Casper Kokomi can out DPS us. Also. <laughs> we'll see about that. Okay, so I believe everyone should be here now for both Maple and Celestial. And let me reset this. So after, so this is the grand finals. After this, let's have a little discussion um, with people still here uh, about how they felt about their tournament and how it was run. Because I know there are a lot of stuff um, we could definitely improve on. Um, but it has been a very long, tiring stream. <laughs> Can you pick Yai Miko? <laughs> yeah, the next Cardi Cup, uh, Maple. That's if you don't have her C6 already. The only K-pop you listen to is G Idol, but you love them. Ooh, I heard I do like G Idol songs too. Um, my I honestly have a huge bias for BTS, but I do listen to a variety of um, K-pop bands. You love K-pop, but you listen to everything as well. That's good. That's good. I'm glad I'm not scaring anyone away with K-pop. Realistically, you listen to any music but country. Mmm. I don't listen to a lot of country or um, metal or rap too. Your doll, your mom listens to K-pop. Hell, <laughs> wait. Okay, okay. Who, who's your mom's favorite band? Stan. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. Oops. Okay, my bad. I accidentally pressed something. Wait, no, you're ready. You're fine. Gee, I don't. <laughs> you're okay. Last fun fact before the final, is Kasua overvalued? Kasua has the lowest win rate among the characters that appeared in more than half of the games played. Beam, only Kasua was picked like for a few rounds though. He is definitely- I don't think he's overvalued, but I don't think everyone has a Kasua too, Beam. As, um... 
as that I believe it was Demi that said it before, but not uh, a lot of people skipped out on Kazuha uh, during his first run, and we haven't had a Kazuha rerun, so maybe not a lot of people has Kazuha in general. And is any Yuki lovers in chat? Oh, I never heard of them. You always think that I has. Wait, I don't even know where the I was or I or the brackets are supposed to go. So you already know a lot more than me. Okay. Okay. Let me see. I believe both uh, Celestial and now Unfriendly Casper is here. Um, we are gonna start off with the last match of the night. It's almost 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific Coast time on my end. So let's um, finish this soon. And then we'll have a little chat about how we felt for this tournament. Um, going for basically the whole tournament. I know there's a lot of trial and error. There is a lot of stuff we need um, that could definitely improve on. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to um, bring it up to me. And I will um, take everyone into consideration too. You're sadly casual unless you started playing during his banner and you're so sad you didn't realize how good he was? It's okay, yeah, Miko. There is a good news for you. There is rumor that Kazuha might come back. You asked that your mom's a BTS fan? Alexia, me, me and your mom also need to talk. Uh, can you ask her who, who her favorite BTS is? No, I'm kidding. You can use the when they announced you was dropping giant. Oh. Oh, wait, I think I know what song you guys are talking about. Thanks for not starting the finals. Yeah, you're back. Welcome back, Thunderbird. It's okay. I also went back to, uh, went down to make some tea because my throat is still kind of, um, in pain talking. But anyways, we are gonna be starting off the finals uh, between Celestial Shower and Unfriendly Casper to right now. So the winner of this is gonna get the $100 grand prize. The second place is gonna get the $50 um, prize. And for the third place winners for Eren and also Yuki, you guys are gonna get $30 um, in Genesis Crystals as well. So for everyone here on the top 8, I will be messaging everyone to make um, for their login information later. And after stream, I, that's when I'll be paying um, on your account and making sure that you receive it safely. Um, but otherwise, um, this one we are gonna be hopping over to our final fight between Celestial Showers and Grant and um, Unfriendly Casper. So, uh, please hop in a VC when you are ready and choose head slash tails. Yeah, that's what I heard to a calculator. But be careful in talking leaks in chat as well, just in case uh, we might get in, <laughs> get my in trouble. They ruined Kokomi so soon banner and made Mihoyo you barely any money. Braisa, um, if you could, if you didn't, uh, well, Kokomi did make her the least, uh, made the least money with her. She was actually a really good character to use, um, considering how many people picked Kokomi during their, um, during the tournament here. And with the, and if you guys check out the Abyss data, Kokomi was picked around 60 to 70% time in the previous Abyss too, because the Tertaser team was so OP. And that's from like the all of um, Abyss data collected from the servers. After, but today you don't know about Kokomi anymore? Because <laughs> you don't want to see Donut on the- Yeah, Donut! I don't know if anyone wants that. No, any Hoyo, they'll probably give Child another rerun because- <laughs> What do you mean? That we're starting off with a Tartaglia rerun again? I don't know if it's Casper Wallet or Kokomi being good. It is still like a C. Let me see, Yuki. Because the Kokomi Taser team is really strong. And for um, his Kokomi is only C1. Maple's, uh, I mean, Casper, Unfriendly Casper's uh, Kokomi is only C, C1. Now, what do you mean you don't know about her anymore? <laughs> Welcome in range. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We're starting the grand finals now. You always ignore her on accounts that have her. Oh my gosh, Yuki. Life is not that trouble. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyways, yes, Kokomi is good with the taser team. Celestio for the win. Hey, Gundercat, welcome in. Hopefully you guys are all here cheering for your friend. And we are going to be starting grand finals soon with Celestial Shower versus Unfriendly Casper. So, um, Celestio has chosen body... Oh, body. <laughs> 
heads, I think. Celestia has chosen heads, and Casper is choosing tails. So let's go flip a coin right now. And the winner is, wow, three heads. So Celestia, choose A or B. Your mom is your Junko staff because he's a Virgo and you're actually going to scream. Alexia, how do I DM your mom so we could talk about it more? After getting bullied by a body by Mandy Biscoma, you're confused? <laughs> Yuki is like, I'm confused and turned on anyways. Uh, Celestial is choosing player A. So let me quickly edit, edit this real fast right now. Player B is gonna be unfriendly Casper. Misha, welcome in. Oh, how did I type? <laughs> Misha, welcome in. We're having our grand finals tonight. It's Celestial versus Unfriendly Casper. And now, since um, we're doing the pick and ban phase, so everyone's tuning in right at the time. At the right time. It's a team effort for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Casper is good. Getting bodied by main TV is not just wait till everyone brings out alloy in it. <laughs> All right, Grace, so I'm waiting for your um, DPS alloy. Okay, we're gonna start off first ban. Uh, by Celestial. <clears throat> Can't believe your mom and Cardi are about to be besties. <laughs> oh shoot! Immediately right off the bat, Celestial has taken notes and is banning Child from um friendly Casper's team. This is definitely a target play um on his end. Much sad to Maple. Let's see what he's gonna choose too. First ban and first pick them. Oh wait, why did I click? Good luck to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. Uh, I really like Jungkook too, but my all-time favorite stand is Shyunggi. Yes, Misha, there's the bracket. It's exclamation mark players. Ban Ayaka on his end. Bring, um, bringing back the target ban um, for Celestial side. And his first pick is gonna be... Let's see it. Let's see what it's gonna be. Pick Shincho. Alright, now this is done. Let's go over to your first two characters, Celestial. So if we're gonna be guessing right, Celestial is gonna immediately pick Shincho uh, uh, stealing uh, Maple's side as well. And let's see what their other character is gonna choose. Probably... Oh, Banette! Yes! Shincho, Banette immediately pre preventing Maple from choosing Banette on his team. And getting this as the shared character. This is support impact. Very essential in creating a DP, uh, for supporting your main DPS. Okay, Maple, next two characters. Yes, it's finals already. And yes, I am enjoying some tea right here, Range. This is like my third or fourth cup of tea today. Pray G to both of them. You woke up so late and had to do some stuff. You missed some plays. It's okay, Misha. Let's just say for the previous rounds, a lot of people were getting choked up and, um,. Yeah, and we got a lot of unfortunate target bans too. You're building a DPS alloy at 5 a.m., but she has a pyro goblet because you don't use Cairo and she's level 40. <laughs> that is very sad indeed, Yaimiko. Okay, Maple has chosen Zhongli and Zhangling. Wait, where is Zhongli? Zhongling and Zhangling. Okay. Next two characters, Celestial. It's a minute and you're trying to watch those grants and study for a calculus test? Pray for you, Grace. Don't worry. We will be getting there soon. Oh, Celestial is picking the Raiden, Shogun, and Ganyu. Very strong picks for both sides right now. But, right, but Celestial seems to have a slight edge with getting both of the main, uh, main DPS down along with Bennett's to support. Okay, and they both for your fourth pick and second ban. But good luck, good luck on your calculus test, Graza. I hope that you are studying well. Don't worry about watching the finals. It will be um, ending soonish. But I hope you pass your finals tomorrow. Okay, and player B is. Pick Fischl for one character. And who is he gonna ban? Ban Shunha. Ooh, for um, preventing Celestial from using uh, with the Shunha. Um, wait, where is she? Preventing Celestial from using the Shunha Aganyu combo. Oh wait, wrong one. Ban from Maple. <clears throat> okay. 
second ban and fifth pick for um, Celestial. Oh no, the Fisho is here. But look at it, Yuki. Fisho is here, but Char uh, Child is banned from Maple Side. Ban Kazuha and pick Diona. Ban Kazuha and picking Diona for their team. All right, let's continue on. Uh, next two characters, Maple. They have to be trolling. <laughs> Kokomi ban incoming on a run. Oh yeah, Kokomi has not been banned yet. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they're gonna choose on Maple's uh, on Maple's end. Are she gonna choose a Kokomi? When or when will the world stop sleeping on Ningguang? Graza, we actually have a Ningguang gameplay the other day, uh, yesterday, and um, it was by Beam. Pick Chan Yung and Toma. This is, seems to be uh, Maple's bread and butter for Chan Yung Toma com combo right here. Let's see. So let's go next two. Casper's Kukumi does a lot of damage. Okay. Eula and Mona. Now it is Celestial's turn to ch uh, show off their Eula Raiden combo right here, too. This is gonna be look like a Raiden Eula um, DPS team, Superconduct team, and let's see. Okay, and next two character spot for Maple. This is gonna be a very tough matchup for Unfriendly Casper to fight against Celestial's pick right now. Celestial has both Bunnet and Shinchu on the team with the Raiden Yula combo and a Ganyu Mona, possibly a Morgana team. If they if we happen to get a Sucrose on the top pick or as the last character pick, but what is Unfriendly Casper is gonna do with his Zhang Zhang Li, Xian Ling, Shinchu, Fisho, Chanyu, and um Toma effect character? Oh, shoot, I don't have song request on. Okay, sorry, one second. Um, um, friendly Casper, for this last two characters picking Rosaria and Kokomi. The Kokomi pick has been chosen, as everyone has guessed it. Celestial, last character. Um, I'm actually listening to a playlist right now, so I could just link you guys the playlist right here. Uh, this song is, uh, at 23 minutes in. Pick Sucrose! There it is! We're gonna get, as I expected, we are gonna get a Sucrose team comp at the side. They could still do a Raiden national team, but, if, but, but with Raiden and Yula on the team, they have to be putting them together. Alright, gamers. We're gonna be going back, uh, I'm gonna be copy and pasting this one to the tournament chat. This is the final lineup for the day. It's gonna be the last uh, match of the night. And we're gonna start a prediction, uh, so you guys could bet your crystal chunks on who is gonna be the winner, um, today, um, uh, for the grand finals! Let me start a pre prediction. Grand finals winner... ...between Celestial Shower and Unfriendly Casper. You guys have five minutes to start. And then while we are here, they're gonna start getting uh, ready on their team. I move everyone onto the waiting room. Um, reminder, show. You'll be right back, restroom again. <laughs> Celestial is having a lot of nerves from what it looks like. They are also be right back into the restroom. Okay. Don't forget to show five star weapons. <laughs> but that shall should be enough, we'll see. You get shut down from the air, yeah. Without Zhang Li, it's very dangerous to play Xiao. You love seeing how different people's comps are from what you see on YouTube. Never see a Chanyu at this level before you watch this event. Yeah, Chanyu has been uh, a ver Chanyu Toma has been a very common pick on um, a friendly Casper side as well, and they are doing a lot of damage and breaking down um, the water shield. Moon glow on Kokomi, sacrificial Grayshore on Chanyu. And I believe since their child is not able to use, what are they gonna supplement for your for their third? Sorry, J color on uh, Xingqiu, yes. Bevonia's lands on Toma. 
stringless on for show. Is there a limit to characters that both? Are, yes, there is. Great. So all the rules are in the PVP um, abyss. How does the share character play? Yeah, so they can't play. Um, ooh, staff of Homa John Lee. So they cannot use the um, same characters, but only one character is allowed to be shared for both ends. So let's go to Celestials aside and let me share the screen for both ends. Celestial is on the left side. Maple is uh, unfriendly Casper is on the right side. Staff of Homa, Raiden. Polar Star, Ganyu. And Wolf Greystone on Eula. Black Kiss Sword on Bennett. Four Piece Nobili set. And that is their uh, weapons of choice. Oh my god, what does Maple actually have? Yes, he does. Yeah, he's been using Everlasting Moon Glow on Kokomi, Yuria. You want to bet, but you also want to... Just, just bet, Yuki! You don't want to ruin my uh, voice, do you? You believe in Broken Bennett, you're going all in. I mean, last team, even with Aaron's Bennett, he was not able to win with Broken the Broken. Oh wait, I forgot the timer. Oh, I did not set up. Okay. You know, it's already too late. Um, as But since both players are ready, as soon as the predictions are... Uh, oh, I forgot to change that. As soon as the predictions are over, that's when we're gonna start our matches. Um, Celestial will be the one to start first, but do not head into the abyss yet since the prediction is still going on. Let me fix up the time here. Okay, so this one is Celestial Team 6 to double check. They are using the... Oh! They're not putting Raiden and Yula together. Instead, it's Raiden uh, National Team with Sucrose, Bennett, and Shincho. And the second half is gonna be the Freeze Team with Yula, uh, Yula Mona, Ganyu, and... Daya Diona. Interesting. And then what about Unfriendly Casper's side? You lost with Bennett too? <laughs> Celestial's Bennett is built differently though, trust. <laughs> We're gonna have to see be seeing that soon. Okay, and then uh, Maple is gonna be used. Xiangling Toma, ooh. Xiangling Toma, Shincho, and Fisho on the first half. Second half is gonna be focusing on... Zhangli, Komkomi. Chanyoung and Rosaria. Alright then. The prediction is almost on. Just give it a few more seconds. Quickly get your votes and you have 10 seconds left for your prediction. Dang, sure I really got put 50k in on the friendly Casper. Okay. Celestial's draft looks good, not gonna lie, but you're not sure. All Cairo waifus in one side is his specialty. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see how they're gonna play out now. Okay. So then, uh, you couldn't vote, was too undecided. It's okay, Lazori, I guess we have to see now. Oh wait, Celestial is gonna go first. Better win Celestial. You have faith in you since you beat me. Straddles is cheering their opponent. Uh, the one that kicked them out of their bracket on help here. Okay, vote has ended. Um, Celestial player A, please head into the abyss. And you can start whenever you're ready. Okay, and let me... All right, here we go. We're going... We're starting off with the Raiden national team. With, uh... We're getting the Bennett first, the Shinchu first, and then gonna use the straight into the right and let's see what damage. 122 crate, but it was pushed just out of from Bennett's first. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 the audio is actually... I can... I don't know if you guys actually heard that, but it was so electrifying because Raiden did so much damage against the Perpetual Array. Now we're going back to farming the cycles, making sure everyone's healthy and uh, full of um, ER again. So there he goes. We're going to get one banana in, getting some Sucrose ER, switching back to Raiden, but just short of energy recharge. Once again, putting in the... 
putting uh, Sucrose ER then, I mean, and then another Shinchu first, and then Raiden's gonna do another burst. What's the damage gonna be? Oh, 131k around there, and force. Oh no, I missed opportunity because now it's gonna have to waste uh, Raiden's burst time while the array has to stalling him instead. That's gonna be costing um, Celestial some time now uh, for first seeing um, Unfriendly Casper at the Grand Finals. Now this is about half HP down on the minions. We're gonna be going, doing another burst cycle as well. Raiden's gonna be needing to go win that first, but unfortunately, Banette Circle is too far away in order to utilize the whole effect of him against the um, virtual array's dead body. So here we are, half HP down on the, a minute and... Uh, and 15 seconds has already gone by. Like usually a good timing in the first half, you would need 115, 130 seconds. But right now he's only got two, uh, still a third HP left. And then now we're going back to another Raiden of first. Oh no, I'm furry, I'm fortunate. Of the Ray was right in the vulnerable phase. Another missed opportunity. Another unlucky time by um, Celestial Ray. This is not him playing black, but this is uh, the, per the mechanical Ray back RNG messing up with him. Going back to another cycle, it's already been two minutes. This is gonna be a very scary. Celestial does have a really strong team set up with his um, Bonnet and um, with his Raiden national team, but with two missed first, how is he gonna continue on in the second half? Okay, here we go with the Cairo uh, team. This is seems to be um, another bread and butter team for Celestio. And as Thunderbird has mentioned before, or um, as her friend has mentioned before, uh, using Cairo Waifu is seems to be their top support. So let's see how they're gonna do with um, Polar Star um, Ganyu. So doing nice damage as well, immediately killing the three um, wolves. Now focusing on the fire ca uh, characters. And here is the Eula burst coming in. Getting the stack a nice 11k with just autos as well. 16k too. Eula's getting super strong even without a super conduct. But missed out on the crit from what it looks like. Very unlucky right now. But still the uh, half HP on the Vislector. And so he's going to be forcing that into the shield phase first before focusing their attention back on the uh, fire mage. And then now that's back there. We're going to be using a Ganyu first. Another Eula as well. But Eula has no ER and her... Ooh! He is gonna go for the offensive reset on the first chamber already. With the unlucky ride and burst, this might he might be able to get a better timing too. He has to understand that with those two bursts and the long cool and the unlucky timing on a, on the right, he is forced to use a reset. So here we go again. Here we go again. We are gonna go back to the ride and um national team hopefully the array is going to be doing some good timing he did a lot of damage already on the side while within the burst then switching back to um getting energy for everyone rotating the cycles again yes everyone is ready um even raiden so now we're gonna go banette gonna go beat shinchu going to raiden now is it gonna be a hit no it was another miss very unfortunate on the other side no damage was taken by the perpetual array then but he's still doing a lot of chip damage with um uh, his rotation on and then now we're going back to the cycle and get the infusion in with the uh, with sucrose. And now is he gonna be using a burst or is he gonna be waiting? Yes, he will have to wait because it is summoning the minion phase. Where is it gonna be? Where is it gonna be? There it is. So then he's gonna be focusing on that. Oh, got that knockback once. Gonna do some cycles in. Everyone is, needs to be collecting their energy again. Was not able to utilize Raiden's um, ER before, so now we're going back to Benny. Yes, but good opportunity this time because the um, minion is right next to the, the uh, to the main body, and Benet's burst is right here too. He doesn't care about using the other burst. He's just mainly focusing on Raiden and getting some extra uh, DPS hit with, while Benny was still on the field. Switching back again, cycling back again, doing a lot of ER collection. Sucrose is back on, thing is Banette. Where is the Shinchu? No, no, no Shinchu. Instead, going to Raiden. Raiden is so close to energy recharge, but he was not able to burst at the same time, too. Just a sm smidgen off. Very unfortunate, but here we go again. Still, oh, this time he managed to get the array again, but it is still around two minutes um before he could catch up out all of the damage. This is gonna be a very tough matchup. He already used a offensive reset. And all of this chasing around is getting just more time on the clock for him. <sighs> okay, here we go. We're having the Mona 
Mona going here to freeze enemy team along with the Ganyu on charge shot. They are having a really grip together and once again he is able to clear out the first three doggles in the very fast stage. Now we're going back to focusing on the Dendro Mage. Here's the shield, another um, Mona. And then going in with the Eula. Hopefully Eula does not crit this time. She is using both Greystone so her attack is gonna be stacked as F. But it's not her... Oh, is it gonna be crit? Is it gonna be crit? Yes, 239 crit! This time the reset was worth it because Eula was able to crit against the Pyro Lector, but he's still not very close to Shield Face and it is being forced into that. Here's Ganyu putting in freezing um, the Iron Mage going back in with Diona healing, shielding, charge shots again, killing the fire. Uh, gonna be aiming to kill. Whoa, 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 Mona, please, please, please! Whoa, 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 maybe that was all the luck that um, Celestial needs in order to play better, apparently, because uh, they're gonna quickly killed um, the Fire Mage and is doing uh, great damage against the shield, and they will be ending this soon in a few seconds at 6 minutes and 44 seconds. 6.44? One ninety six. <laughs> One ninety six. <laughs> Camera angle OP. <gasps> you reset on two as well because you won't win on the third. Mm hmm. The, yeah, the resets against uh, sorry might seem so, but his team for taking two is really good. Yeah. Resets are necessary if you want to be your uh, opponent time, but definitely Celestial needs to calm down and not get tilted because now he has to play really safe for his the next two chambers. The thing is, playing safe just to clear won't be able to declare time someone like Casper. <laughs> Damn, all of you guys are seeing um Casper as an enemy right now, huh? Okay, let me switch over to uh, uh everyone's uh. <laughs> for what everyone's saying to unfriendly Casper's side. You can't just hope for him to die randomly. Mm -hmm. Nice camera. <laughs> what was that? Zoom? Mona. Nice. Hey, Falcion. Welcome back in. Mola giving Celestial the motivation. Let's go. I hope you guys are enjoying this commentation because I am doing my best to make it as entertaining for the grand finals as well. You need a good Zoom. Let's go. We'll see, Maple. We'll see. Let's. Ha uh, you are using quite a few husbandos. Well, by, by few, I just mean Jean Lee and Toma. Hey, Victoria, welcome back. Classes are done and time to do homework. Oh no, good luck with your homework. Good luck with your homework. We're at the grand finals right now, so um, hopefully it's gonna be some hyped matches, and it's gonna be Celestial versus Unfriendly Casper. Uh, Maple, feel free to start whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go with the first Toma official, um, <clears throat> Shanling and Shincho team. Let's see how they, how good they are gonna fare versus Alessio's uh, Raiden National first half. Here we go, getting all of the rotations and getting the first in as well, putting in Oz, and then using a uh, quickly attack with um, Xiangling because Xiangling does have a lot of uh, fight, fast attack speed, and already get chipping out a lot of damage from that. Already a third HP almost gone. Quickly uh, getting another uh, rotation in with Shinchu, getting a rotation in with Xiangling. Fisho is getting putting out Oz, and then Toma is also getting in. in. Nice real nice rotation on all of the teams, and already two third HP is gone from the perpetual array with all of the damage putting in with this just simple four star team setup now it's going to be forced into the minion phase this is mandatory for in fighting fighting the perpetual array and the one that's um with the gold ring is actually on that side is he trying to lure it is he trying to lure it closer to the main body so he doesn't have to yes he is so then he doesn't have to chase it down and yes he's going to be cycling around even though a few seconds was lost maybe he could afford it with all the rotations going on and all of the team looking healthy and um and strong as well. Let's see how he's gonna be doing right now because I'm um, just a few seconds The minion is already dead and going back to the main body to quickly DPS it down Say so here we go. Here we go. Here we go a quick team match. Oh, no, and then getting some rotation in with this uh, Toma with Oz with Shinchu and also Shanling is he gonna be using a burst? Yes He is on that just in case to make sure that array is gonna be done in one minute and 30 seconds Yep, there it is 
me and Cher likes ma like Maple Peel as well. I think it's also because um, Maple has always been on my channel for the longest too, and you guys has always been on this channel too. So like you guys are know him <laughs> as one of our friends too. All right, here we go with the Kokomi Rosaria Changyun team with Zhang Li shielding uh, amazing damage by Kokomi freezing and Zhang Li and Changyun as well getting the quick DPS down. Getting the Zhang Li shield too. Two pillars, by the way. If you forgot, Maple tried to roll for C2 Zhang Li earlier, but lost his 50 50 to Dai Luke. And now he's coming back with a vengeance. Gonna petrify everyone quickly, putting down some DPS on um, with Kokomi with Jellyfish. Getting down the burst with Rosaria and then Chang Yun soon. And then he's already taking a third of the HP down from the. Um, from the Abyss Lector and almost gonna be forcing it into shield face in a second. But right now he's gonna be focusing his attention on the Fire Lector. I mean, Fire Mage going back to another burst cycle. Another nice Chang Yun burst. Double Ice gives out the extra crit rate, too, especially since the hit, all of his four stars should be C6. And then another nice um, damage take, uh, given by Zhang Li, even though it was 59k, it was still good damage, too. And now here is the burst fate of Shield Face. And then he's going to be putting Kokomi in, putting Zhang Li in. Geo does help. Geo does help with breaking the shield and giving particles for Zhang Li, and then here is another rotation going in, and Kokomi is going to be using the burst to quickly DPS the shield, and he is going to be ending this time at 7 minutes and 6 seconds. 7.06! Oof, this is going to be tough, because it is about almost, it's going to be a little bit over 20 seconds advantage. 174. Oof, this is gonna be a very close matchup, gamers. Let's go back to Celestial. How How is everyone gonna feel about this? Yeah, that's Casper, Yuki. It's not even funny. You got perfect yeah, sub substats on the Heishu Sands. Well, I don't know. Maybe you need to start playing to play on console. Oh, yes. I don't know why people find out someone's strong when you see it. Did you see Rosario first appeared on top? No, I did not. I missed out on that media. Okay, here we go. Um, with Celestial's um characters, uh, their right um their right and uh, national team is really strong too, and all of them has a good rotation, good energy recharge. Ooh, missed out on once again the Geofish have pushed right and away from Vanette's circle and missed out on a critical hit. crit. This is gonna cost um some time, but he is still making really really good damage against it. He is gonna need to counter that shield. Oh no, it was not able to take extra damage already. 30, 30 seconds passed by, but we've seen that the fastest time um, on um, on the first stage could be clear within one minute. So right now he's getting some DPS down with Raiden National Team quickly swipe, swipe, swiping down it all with um with uh, Shinchu and Bennett. And then now we have to go in back to rotation again. Raiden needs to get her burst back up. And then putting the Sucrose down, putting Bennett, putting uh, using to uh, yes. Yes, yes, all the right rotation and a nice crit rate to a uh, nice crit for that. And also managed to get the Crystallized Shield to also counter the Geo Bishop. Already wondered HP left on uh, for the Geo Bishop. And they're getting the rotation in back again. Switching every all the characters, putting out the Raiden, putting out the Bennett. Gonna go to Shinsho Kai, gonna go to Sucrose, yes. And then now I'm gonna switch to Raiden, but is it just a nice? No, it was away from Bennett's circle again. This Geo Fish app seems to be working against Celestial because he is blocking, uh, pushing Raiden away from the necessary damage she needs to get a ma get the higher damage output possible. Bennett is there with the circle, but Bishop is not letting him have it any at all. One last burst, and that should be... No crit! One minute and 45 seconds. Here is the second half. So this team is going to be really strong against the two Abyss uh, Lectors and since they are water characters and Mona is going to be there to apply the Omen effect and extra uh, DPS and nice healing on uh, Eula right there too. Let's see how what's the stack and what's the crit this rate on her as well. We're going to need both of them to be together so oh no! But still it was a nice crit even though it was barely just missed out on time. They're still able to take down a huge chunk of the Abyss Lectors HP. Both of them are going to be frozen together, going to be focused on Ganyu's charge shot as well. Let's get it, let's get it. It should be forced into the DPS very soon. Ah, uh, immediately prop the Wolf Greystone with less than 25 per, uh, Wolf Greystone uh, passive. But then now we're going to go, yes, changing to burst and keeping one of them stunlocked. To give the second one stunlocked, Diona is looking healthy. Our Diona needs some health back, I'm my bad. 
and then he's gonna, but instead, he's gonna be focusing on charge up because DPS matters more than health at the moment. Let's see how he's gonna do. Both of them are, uh, both of them are trapped together, which is a good uh, uh on his side as well. But he is able to dodge some skills, not all, but only take a little bit of damage. One of them is very close to death. Doing another Dino cycle in. Need to get some energy. Same thing with um, Rosar. I. Same thing with Yula, need some ER for the next stage against the Magu Kenki. But the, all this cycling is doing, uh, it's gonna kill some of the timing by dodging everything. Oh no! I think it was 643? Was it 643? Can you guys help? Can someone make sure to double check it was 6 minutes and 44 or was it 43 seconds? Um, yo, Raptor, what's it? What's up? Is this? Uh, yes, it's the Genshin speed run. Uh, uh, it's not a strategy guide, but it's more of like the speed run PV uh, player versus player. So welcome in, welcome in, Stra uh, Raptor. Homie broke four mirrors, walked under Santa's light. <laughs> this luck is so bad. Oh, six forty-two. Thank you, Zaz. Okay, six forty-two. Can someone else confirm just to, in case? Because I saw six forty-three or six forty-four. But if it's six for um, I don't know if anyone has a clip for that. I was just so distracted. I hope I am not cursing, uh, having any uh, commentating curse on Celestio because this is. Oh, can come from. Okay, thank you. Uh, the time is one hundred ninety-eight seconds. One ninety-eight. Oh man, this is gonna be a very tough matchup indeed. Okay, let me go back to make both side. Six forty. Okay, thank you all of you guys. <laughs> I hope the pressure is not getting over to Celestial. He may have the stronger team pick, but all, again, all of it depends on the artifacts, all the elemental reaction, all of the weapons used, and from... But let's see how Maple is gonna... Um, Friendly Casper is gonna fire against the second half, because there is a chance for Celestial to make a comeback right now. Okay, we're gonna get some burst rotating and getting quickly poke, poke, poke with the polearm users with that. And because Toma does have a shield, they are able to counter Geo Fishab's um, shower attack right now. Yes, as, as soon as I talk about it, he's gonna appear. And let's see how much damage he's gonna do. Yes, that's gonna a huge chunk taken off of the Geo Fishab. Another burst rotation in. Oz coming out. So is um, Toma's shield once again. It's refreshed. And very beefy from what it looks like. Oh, 45 seconds already passed. And like, with the way this way, uh, this match is going, it seems like the Geo Fish Up is gonna be dying soon. Just a sliver of HP left. And wow, look at that Shincho damage. And then getting some ER for everyone with um, Toma. Another burst using Varshan Ling. Is he gonna save his burst or is he gonna be focusing on just auto attack right now? Because it's always. it's um, But he still managed to clear everything in under 1 minute and 10 seconds. Yeah, I could tell. Celestial's pretty nervous. Huge chunk of damage cost. Toma shields count as pyro shield. Ooh. Jesus Christ, this guy's actually go to straddles. Alright, here we go. Petrifying um, both of them at the same time, giving some extra breathing room for uh, him to do some damage against all of the lectors. Both of them are also together as well. Even though they're sh getting shattered, they are being stunned and frozen at the same time with Rosaria, Spurs, and Kokomi's jellyfish on the side. And as long, and he has a Zhang Li first ready, so as long as they're able to stay together, he's gonna do another Zhang Li first to keep them straight some beautiful. Oh, thank you for the follow, it's cute. Okay, and then now we're gonna uh, have um, him focus on the second one because one is being forced into the shield phase, but the second one is gonna follow closely behind. He's gonna make sure that they are gonna be killed around the same time. Staff of Poma Zhang Li, I believe. Okay, two of. Oh, thank you for the follow too, Razor. You like the cosplay? Thank you so much! I love how- I'm sorry, I will talk to you soon. Because we're gonna be focusing back on the PvP Abyss, where it, timing and uh, every second matter is very crucial. You won't- Every second matters about making sure that you get the fastest time against your opponent. And right now, only one Abyss uh, Herald is close to death, while the second one still looks pretty healthy. But with Zhang Li first, he is able to get by him some time, so he's not able- So he doesn't need to change the Abyss Herald back and forth. But he is looking- Look at that time on the stage! Still within 7 minutes, still with a 3 star- 7 minutes and 33 seconds! 147 second half. One forty seven, right? Okay, but yes, thank you. Welcome.
welcome in for the new friends. Hello, is uh, um, I don't know if I could pronounce your name right. Is QXL and also Razor. Um, we're having a PvP Abyss challenge right now, so that's why um, I'm having I'm hosting this and also commentating. But thank you for enjoying my cosplay. I love all the Genshin characters, and I love um cosplaying um on stream as well. So I hope you enjoy your time here. Celestial stream. Oh wait, uh, did I miss something? Oh wait, uh, sorry, uh, I'm missing, um, uh, bottom bracket as hell. <laughs> no, don't worry, so I'll just do my best. Yes, for sure, it's just Celestial. I'm sorry, ignore my commentation. If, uh, if, uh, my commentation is distracting you, Celestial, please feel free to mute the stream. Uh, we got streamers and whales. <laughs> well, we definitely have whales here, Yuki. You're gonna go 0-4 on your gambas here, so you win your <laughs> makeup and trust me, this is a 5 head strat. Graza, Graza, good luck! You still believe Celestial? You could close the gap in just the chamber 3, let's get it. Johnny Cairo damage, Amonka okay, W. Yeah, Chan Yun is actually a hidden gem in this uh, matchup right now. Okay, we're going back to uh, Celestial's time. So let me mute here and put volume here. Oh, did you see this? He's gonna minus minus 15% defense to plus 40% attack bonus. Maybe this is what he needs. Maybe this is what he needs to close up the gap in chamber three. Yes. You freaking love Cairo Zhang Li. Zhang Li has one of the fastest attack um, animation for pole arms too. And welcome, uh, you could call you Q or Izzy. I think I'm gonna call you Izzy because it's a really cute name. Good luck in Naples for sure. And Celestion, welcome back. You like my. <laughs> it's Cardi Chin today, Celestion. Okay, we're going back to the Raiden national team for the first half. And he's getting the rotation out. We're gonna get a Raiden burst right at the edge of Jean, uh, of Bennett. Oh no, Bennett's Q is taken away. I'm not sure what kind of burst damage Raiden did, but it will still take a good chunk of the HP. Remember, he did force a reset, offensive reset on Chamber 1. So there's no more reset allowed on Celestial's team. He is, uh... Ooh, ooh, got pushed back by Shinju. This is gonna be very dangerous. Nice way to iframe the, um... The missiles on there. And then going back and quickly killing all the Rune Sentinels. I mean, Rune Guards out there. And then focusing on one no wait, no second is allowed to be wasted. It doesn't matter if he's face tanking or anything. Because Banat is able to heal everyone back to healthy. Right at the edge of the burst, he's gonna be... Shinju was just a second! Off too, so is Raiden. He has to switch over and do his rotation well. But that's a lot of time wasted out of Banette's first. And he's still able to snapshot uh, Shinchu, but not able to increase Raiden's damage at all. He's gonna be focusing on the more HP Rune Guard, Rune Crater. Gonna be DPSing both at the same time. Thank you for thanks to the Electro damage. I mean, oh, Electro Charge. Ooh, did you hear that static? Raiden is. Uh, ooh, ooh, all that static. Raiden is coming out of the screen to attack us right now because we are not having enough damage. It's gonna take one minute and 34 seconds to clear the first half. I don't know if you guys could hear that static change. Okay, here it is the Magu Kenki. The Magu Kenki is bane of everyone's assistance, as we've been saying this whole time, too. And with the way that he takes about six to ten seconds to stand up from this, where he's taking no damage and is in front face, that is gonna be costing them at this PvP Abyss um, tournament. He's gonna be creating some stack on Yula. Let's see what the damage was first. It's gonna be 367 crit, just enough to burst it down the first face. Now we're going back to the second. That was a beautiful Yula crit. Let's see how if they're able to do it again because Yula is gonna be very difficult and very difficult and getting ER for so nice for uh, nice dodge um, iframe on Ganyu as well but Ganyu is looking very low along with Diona Yula is so close on getting energy but Diona does have to heal us there so Mona is we and there we're going to switching over to another Yula burst let's get the stacks let's get it up let's see what's another good crit we're gonna see today hopefully Magukin does not run away and it should be soon we should be seeing that new and it's another 300k crit I believe Maybe this is what he needs in order to close the gap against some friendly Casper because this is uh, he has no more resets allowed to be used and despite his team looking very very red looking oh no Maku can't get ran away he's gonna need to use that Diona nice way to dodge without a shield too Diona was looking very low on HP is he able to use another Raiden burst no maybe not it's gonna be taken oh no Ganyu is gone he got a little bit greedy. With that, the only one he can, or unless he sac or maybe he sacrificed Ganyu in order to use Raiden. He's gonna be chasing uh, that down. Oh no, better run, better run! One more burst! Doing some quick charge, and it's... What's the time? Gamers, what's the time? Six minutes and... Was it... What's it? Six minutes and 40, or was it 50 seconds? Oh man, I was so... Okay, listen, listen. 
Listen, I am so immersed into watching the gameplay that I cannot keep track with the time too. Was it 649? Furry? <laughs> Perpetual nerd? <laughs> Okay, while well, I have you guys confirm the time for me. And yeah, Celestion, um, I mean, I do have blue hair under this, but I used to have purple hair as well. Not to this shade, it was more of like a purple pink hair, uh, hair color. But I really like Kachin's hairstyle. If I could dye my hair a pastel color, this would be one of the options. And thank you, you have her guarantee with two moons. Yeah, Graza has a lot saved up for Yamiko. Cardi Ching, <laughs> I didn't know what to use between my name, uh, mixing uh, Cardi and Kachin. So I was like, this is a kitchen. I am kitchen right now. Yes, right in the crit was very smudge. Just need another Mona Zoom. <laughs> yeah, that static is breaking all of our audio. Homie Celesto could go buy a lottery ticket right now with his back grit right? like and there's gonna lose the one now. So, yeah, I'm sorry. That one, uh, static attack streamer help. You think Celestio miss plus then crit have a yeah for sure beam. Yep, you guys heard it too. She's that right and that team felt really intense to me. It was really intense, Celestion, but it was unfortunate they um missed out on a lot of their rotations and also missing out the burst. Eula is very OP though. Without a super conduct team, they are still able to hit a very healthy 300 k crit. What would I give to get that damage? Me too. <laughs> Don't worry about it, perpetual nerd. Bro, Maku runs away. Yes, that is, that did hurt them in the long run. That gun, that damage can be yours. Just sell your soul to you, Mihoyo for good artifacts. It's like uh, six forty-eight. Okay, thank you guys. So the final time for um, for Celestial is six forty-eight seconds, ending at one hundred ninety-two. One ninety-two for his third chamber. Now we're gonna see um, Friendly Casper's final time. Yeah, you're too focused on the game too. I hope you guys are- This is a really intense finals that we're having. Where's 2F Zelda when we need the timer? It's okay. I was just- uh, I was just so focused I can't see the time too. Oh, Zelda is here, Lurky. You go to Jean today? Well, better than the Chi-Chi. <laughs> top 10 anime intros of all time. I need to find an anime introduction song for Zelda. So whenever he appears, I'm just going to play it immediately. Did I write one still? Yeah, me too, Falcion. I still don't have good artifacts. And I'm still trying to get one on Raiden. Okay, and you got a Noel. Nice. Noel is really strong. And yes, the final time for um, Celestial is 586 seconds. You got Kanyu when you're supposed to get Yanfei. Oh no, is he? But Kanyu is really good. Okay, here we are starting off the team uh, from Unfriendly Casper's uh, side. With all uh, putting out the um, burst put um, down with uh, officials Oz as well, gonna be poking um, their attack with just uh, deep with just uh, Shanling. So look at the damage and all the reaction he's able to put in with just one simple rotation of all of his characters. And Toma's shield is very thick, and able to su survive everyone's attack. And only a little, bit, only a little HP was taken away from their characters. Now that two is down, he's going to go for which one is it? Which one is it? He's going to go for the closest room grader. Getting another rotation in with Shanling, Gupa in with the Toma shield, making sure everyone is uh, carried up. How nice and healthy. And ooh, but four seconds left on Shinju burst. He's gonna be buying some time with Fischl, switching up, going back to um, go Gupa and Then we're hearing the Shinju burst. Another ring slasher, both sides. Nice, nice. Here's the burst rotation in. One of them is already almost down with just a little bit over a minute, too. This is a very clean time um, from um, Friendly Casper's side. And now we're gonna see how he's gonna fare up against Magu Kenki. What are good artifacts? I don't know, Yuki. Maybe one day if I get them, I'll tell you. <laughs> Can confirm Jean and her constellations are amazing. Yeah, con Jean is really strong. Mabel is playing like he's drinking G Field. All right, here we go. He's gonna be setting down the biller, setting, getting some ER back for Zhang Li as well. And now here is the shield for uh to for C1 Zhang Li. 
And then here he is, gonna be putting the Rosaria burst down, Changyun burst, and then some DPS by uh, Changling as well, getting the shield in. Nice crit damage with the Staff of Homa, doing a lot of uh, stam a lot of chip damage by switching out his character rotation. Nice Changyun burst at that time to switching back to Rosaria, putting another Rosaria burst down. Or no, not yet, because the first phase about to be ending, so he should be, yes, he's changing soon. He could tank that damage, he has nothing to worry about with Zhang Li on his side. And but Maku Kanki should be um, teleporting soon. Where is he gonna go? Which way is he gonna go? You need to back him against the corner to get a guaranteed good time. But instead, he's using the Zhang Li burst to dodge that iframe as well. And there it is. He's gonna be slightly back against the corner. He's gonna be doing a spin. But Zhang Li is okay because uh, with the shield going on. And Rosaria teleported just in time to have no time, no need to worry about it. Nice burst by both of the Cairo app characters. Zhang Li's shield saving him as well. Yeah. Oh, this time is gonna be a little bit difficult. Oh my gosh, that teleport! At least I took it with him, but it's gonna cost him something. Oh no, Chao Yun was very low in HP. What's he, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? A lot of, um, just a half HP already, uh, a little bit over half HP is taken or left. He's gonna need to do some, um, quick damage because uh, it seems like, um, we're gonna have a faster time. We might have a faster time for um, Celestial, but we're gonna see. There's still a few seconds he, uh, he's gonna be able to clear it out soon. Cannot three-star this chamber, but that's fine because the Maku Kenki is almost looking down HP. He's gonna need to... Uh, don't need to iframe because his shielding is just so thick with 37k HP on John Lee. And he, Kokomi is able to heal everyone back nice and healthy with just a simple jellyfish. And with one rotation in, he's gonna be clearing this time soon at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. 640! Very, very tough matchup. Chamber 3, they were so neck and neck. But with the way Chamber 1st and 2nd have have played out, um, uh, his ending time is 200 seconds at the end. The grand time for everyone! With player A at 586 seconds and player B at 521 seconds, um, friendly Casper has won! The grand finals for this matchup! Congratulations all around! We got a lot of amazing gameplay this last round. It was very nerve-wracking to watch the whole time as well. Let us play. Uh, congratulations, clap clap all around. Where, do I have an applause? <laughs> Let me play some applause soundtrack. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's... Um, okay, let me catch up on this on the chat. So, let's look at this. Even with the strong uh, picks by Celestial, unfriendly um, Casper's national team, with the exception of Zhang Li and Kokomi, was able to have a faster time than the Raiden Yula Raiden national team and the Cairo Babes of the second half. Okay, let me exit this uh, audio so you don't hear that in the background, and let me catch up on stream, uh, on chat. Yeah, there is no main DPS. Everyone just works really well together, and pole arm users are able to uh, have very fast attack ratio. She comes out for camp and comes back in like, huh? For your clam? Oh, you just unlocked Inazuma? Congratulations, Izzy. Good luck exploring it because Inazuma is very scary to fight in if you don't have good characters. But Juju, uh, well played, everyone. Even though Celeste lost, it's a banger finals. It really was a really uh, fun finals. And here is the fi uh, bracket. The one that has taken the whole tournament is Unfriendly Casper. He is the one that I had to fight an extra match as well, going all the way to end. But so does the wait, was this? Yes, yeah, so does Celestial as well. So from this end, oh wait, how come it doesn't show? Okay, okay, <gasps> order. You you guys get the idea. The winner is Friendly Castor. And now I'm gonna give you guys the points, the prediction outcome for um the Crystal Chunks. 
Damage should mostly come from skills and bursts. Assuming equal value, you guess Rosari would deal the majority of the damage. Mm. Yes, good game, good game, everyone. I was carried away. That was a very good team, Maple. I'm gonna be asking them real fast. Um, give me one second. What a fight, indeed. Everyone must switch to console if you want to play like it, Casper. Yeah, you guys did amazing. And Celestial was another scary opponent to fight against. Yeah, Maple plays on PC, but with a controller. Good matches. Yes, Kino Lamb. Hope I'm glad that you enjoyed it as well. Controller game, rise up. Can I play a game against the winner? Uh, did you want that, Straddles? <laughs> you want to play a game against Maple? Okay, Maple. Maple? Your <laughs> final opponent is me. No, I'm kidding. I'm, there's no way I'm going to play. Because I don't have any character scared. <laughs> I really like for, um, for, um, hosting this, but there's no way I can uh, participate in it. You can only play Honkai on controller because keyboard mouse is ooh. Ew. Wait, is Honkai also available on PC? Yeah, perhaps the Celestial. They did really good. Uh, but yeah, good job everyone. Um, if I mean, not just to Celestial, but good job to everyone that fought in the tournament as well. You guys gave it your best. And here, I hopefully you guys had a fun time with it. And... Um, our we our new contestant new friend to um to the channel is celestial taking the top half of the bracket all by themselves and maple destroying the bottom out half of the bracket by himself too facing off in the grand finals against each other and one with only about a what's the time difference between the two with only about a 50 to 60 second difference it was still a very good timing Close game. All cracked us up. You could barely kill four child with three stars, like Yeah. Um, it does take a long time to grind a fist for sure. But the all of these are really fun matches. And this was the hyped finals that I was waiting for the whole time. GG well played everyone. It was intense. I'm broke at 200 channel points now. Was at the edge of your uh, seat. Let's go. <laughs> if he's down, bet. <laughs> Alright, if I'm able to beat Maple, I don't have to pay him $100, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to go. Yeah, you think I'm gonna actually fight against Maple? Maple, come meet me IRL. I'll PvP you in person, then. <laughs> Beat Cardi C6 Husbandos. <laughs> okay, so I get to use my Husbandos, right? <laughs> Cardi said you had to win Cardi Cup before they did your. Huh? What did I say, Maple? Oh, Honka is on PC. Fairly party co on controls. Oh, I never tried Honkai before, too. Glad you could make it for the finals. That was real nice. I'm glad you guys, for everyone that has hopped in for the grand finals, this is definitely one of the most hyped up matches the whole day. But before I delay any um longer, let's hear any words from Celestial and Unfriendly Casper. So congratulations um for Unfriendly Casper for winning the finals. And you did amazing job, Celestial, for you basically coming in a fresh face, um, brand new player, I mean, at least brand new uh, player on our channel. How did both of you guys think you feel in your um, draft phase? And how did you guys, you perform? Because we definitely noticed that Celestial got really bad RNG in Chamber 1 and was forced to use the offensive reset. <clears throat> okay. Why can we, um... Uh, good talk? <laughs> GG, GG. <laughs> <laughs> I thought um, the draft phase was decent um, for me. I don't, I don't know if he plays IAA, but I was just following what everyone else was banning against Celestial. So, and oh, then... let me see. Yeah, he does have a Ayaka and Ganyu yeah. and Shunha. So, uh, any of those three Cairo characters would be very uh, difficult to fight against. Yeah, I wanted to pick Zhongli so he couldn't um, play Xiao comfortably, and I just wanted to pick Shenha or ban Shenha. Yeah, in the end, so, you didn't pick yeah. um, Xiao. Wait, let me see. Yeah, in the end, uh, Maple, you didn't pick Xiao instead. See, all the characters right here are still on. Yeah, he was basically using only two five stars with Zhongli and Kokomi and no Zhao gameplay. Okay, mm. um, car okay. <laughs> and I, I only I used know. Kokomi in the first half, the first chamber, and then I barely used her. 
<laughs> Dang. I mean, she was really good for healing. Um, I don't know. I don't think Celestial wanted to say anything in voice chat, but if they have any uh, comments mm -hmm. in, uh, they could type it out in the tournament chat too. Thank you for hosting this and everyone who competed. It was super fun to watch, and I'm glad you got to see um, some competitive mode in Genshin. Yeah, Graza. So, um, this was actually based off of a Chinese community uh, event um, that happened a couple months ago. And... Hello to Winnie. Huh? She's a good streamer. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Mabel has a nice voice. Okay, thank you for hosting this. Yeah, so um, there is there was based off of a um, Chinese uh, game, uh, Chinese style bracket, and I believe Ten Ten was the one that um, half it that commented on it before. Let me go check Ten Ten uh, Abyss. Where is it? He cause then oh yeah here CN Community Chan Championship. So he has two videos about it. Here is one. So this is the one that we based off of. Um, and so we decided to continue. Um, or well, I decided to host a tournament like this and giving out prizes for people. Celestial right now. Okay, wait. Celestial has typed in chat and they are saying. To be honest, I'm not sure I'll win against Casper. I feel whatever I ban is useless because he has a lot of roster, and Casper plays so well that with a team, uh, so well that with a team without using main DPS Firestar, he could finish it very well. Uh, Celestial, I still think that you did really well. Um, considering that you were just um 50 seconds behind his time, but you managed to beat basically the whole bracket um yourself, and you had to fight an extra match too. Thank you again for hosting this tourney. I honestly have more fun this weekend than you ever enjoy Genshin lately, to be honest. Oh, Stratos, thank you so much. Um, It was really fun hosting for me, and I always try to prep that I can only do it once a month, but I try to spend uh, time pre preparing for it as well. And I'm glad that so many people have joined in to, um, this past weekend and are enjoying the tournament. And I hope to see more people um, participate in the future too. Boromay Evil is going to come back with a vengeance. Do it. There's evil, uh, you have evil in your name for a reason. Also, can Maple keep talking? I want to hear his... Anyways. You seen the Chinese speedrun competition before and this you felt a lot more closeness, so you got a lot more investors. Yeah, Graza, because this one with all the character li uh, limitations in here, with all the restrictions with C2 only, C2 and R1 limitation, uh, it's made more for, I guess, uh, low spenders or We're well as... Uh, huh? Maple! Maple! What are you doing? Maple, stop! What are you doing? But yeah, Celestio said they were hoping to get better RNG in this matchup. Mm hmm. It was very unfortunate with the missed uh, crits on Raiden and the Perpetual Arrays half. But honestly, they had a really strong team too and was a very strong contender. I think that, uh, wait, every game I play seriously, you I will get back to you, Maple, as I'm reading chat right now. Every game you uh, play seriously, you've always been involved in this competitive scene to some degree. So it's nice to finally see something like this. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm... Uh, honestly, I really like watching tournaments. Um, the only uh, before um, I would watch Marvel versus uh, Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom three tournament rounds, and I when I was really into Overwatch, I would also watch the over oh, watch the Overwatch League as well because I really like the competitive scene. But I would never be the one to join it myself. So when uh, something like Genshin came out, I thought it was something really fun to try out. So me and another player, um, Beam, versus uh, each other. And once I realized, oh man, how fun this was, what if I do something like hosting this for all of the community and giving out a prize to the winners because I understand not everyone is able to spend money on gacha games. Not everyone has, you know, disposable income as well. And since I tend to well on my account, I figure why not uh, spread some of that back to the low spenders and free-to-plays. So this is why the restrictions are there to prevent whales from basically getting more money, even though Maple just won! <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Uh, but I also, it was really interesting to see everyone do the matchup too. Oh my god. Okay, I need to catch up in chat one second again. 
Uh, I think the restriction, yes, even wells are limited. Yep, and plus this is a small community. Yep. Yeah, honestly, Winnie, it was so ri it was originally smaller. Um, my community is really small, but it's just that the past few nights with everyone's support and raid and interest, um, I guess at least um, we got a lot of viewers, um, a lot of people interested in watching this Abyss tournament, which I'm very thankful for. So thank you so much for everyone to coming by and uh, watching something like this, because I do want to host it every month. And I do hold the Cardi Cup um, PvP Abyss tournament very dear to me and want to see it continue to grow and um, include everyone as much as I can. I need to rewatch with Celestials next story. <laughs> oh, need a rematch. You better start practicing, Straddles, because then now you can see where you are lacking in and what characters you could start gearing or pulling for. It was a fun time and you got to test my limits. Thank you for hosting. No problem, Yuki. It was also really fun watching your gameplay as well. I thought you were also another strong contender um, uh, for the for the Cardi Cup. But when you got your DPS character taken away, we could see that was a real... It was real detrimental to your account as well. So, oh, thank you so much for the follow, Lantern Sleep. So, I guess you need to know what to do next time, right, Yuki? Out of context, stats, but... Um... But out of the characters that were picked in more than half the games, the ones with the most wins rates are Xianling, Games, uh, Chong Yun, and Xing Chou. Wow! Wait, but technically, Beam! Beam, technically, everyone has a Xing Chou! So, uh, whoever won, Xing Chou was on your team too! <laughs> Winnie, I want to keep listening to his voice. <laughs> Are we both simping for Maple's voice? This abyss has so much RNG. Mark my words, I'll beat you next time. I believe in you all. Oh, you guys are so cute together. They're, tra uh, they're talking in the tournament chat on my Discord right now. And honestly, I love seeing all everyone's friendly competition too. Whereas when when some, like when Shadows Shadows lost against a Celestial, they're like, you better win home the championship for me. It's like a whole best of friendo anime arc where you respect the other pro opponent who beat you, but you hope to see them succeed because then you get to say proud. I lost to them, right? Thank you for hosting. No, thank you guys for coming by and watching today and yesterday. The restrictions definitely made it feel a lot more competitive. Without a ban slash pick face, it would just feel weird. For sure, Gray. I do think that even with these characters, um, with all these Kenshin characters and a shared pool, there is a limit on how many characters you could choose. But as you could see from Unfriendly um, Casper's side, where he was using basically almost all four stars, with the exception of Kokomi and uh, Zhang Li, he was still on par with a Bennett Raiden team, Bennett Raiden Shinchu national team, and with a Mona, Yula, and a Ganyu. So you could tell that this was a lot. Um, his artifacts and his um, DPS is no joke. He loves watching this and going to learn so much. Thank you for hosting and all the competitors slash players. Yes, amazing. To, uh, congratulations to all of them too. I can't believe. Maple with the gift itself. Oh my gosh! Man, just came back. Oh my god! Your hands slipped. Dang it, Maple! Wait, wait, wait! Oh my gosh! Lemon Lemon! Thank you so much for your raid! Hold on, hold on! Oh no, you guys! We, what are we gonna do? We just finished our PvP Abyss tournament right now! Lena, thank you so much for Ray. Hope you had a wonderful stream. I'm so behind. Um, I am so behind on messages. I'm so sad. I mean, I'm so sorry. I'm doing. Uh, it's ready for you. No one's and no one else is saying stream. Thank you so much, Wendy. And yet, like the first at four. Yeah. So, um, we do. Congrats on finishing at a reasonable time. Thank you for making all this content. You're. <laughs> but please break down the tournament next time so you don't go overwhelmed till four a.m. <laughs> yeah, chop. We we're gonna talk about the best PvP um right now that we finished all of the bracket. Congratulations to Unfriendly Casper uh, once again. But I'm so behind on measures. But thank you so much for the way. Welcome in everyone. I hope you ha had a wonderful totally stream and uh, Maple. Yeah, uh. Welcome in, Raiders of Lemon. Thank you so much.
much for the raid again. Were you playing Genshin Impact? Um, so what we are doing today was what we did today was a PvP Abyss challenge. So what it what it is about? If you play a lot of Genshin Impact, we are speed running Abyss. Um, where there's a lot of restrictions and rules, meaning five star characters are limited to C2 constellations, and five star weapons are limited to refinement rank one. There is a share pool with um eight picks and two character events. So, and we just had our grand final. So I'm so sorry you guys missed out on the most exci exciting match of the night. But this is a little um, tournament that I hosted, um, my third tournament that I hosted, and with the grand prize here of $100, but $230 prize pool. Um, we just finished our matchup, so we're just having some discussion, but this is the event I want to um, host every month. So I hope you guys um, will stay tuned and check out when's the next time I'll be hosting this, because we are going to have this as a monthly thing, and maybe having regionals, where there's uh, North America, EU and uh, Asia is playing. And thank you so much for the uh, follow, Sarah. Ann. Maple literally paid back his tournament wins with through subs. Welcome in, everyone. I'm so I can't. That's I. I just Cardi needs. To Oh, uh, welcome in, Bad Ram. Hope to see you are having a great day. Thank you so much for the gift to some people. Literally giving back the prize he won. Kuching hair, Ray. How do you know how to use emoji and Twitch? Last favorite thing is Abyss. Wait, really? Okay, I'm sorry I'm missing out on a lot of messages. Let me see. I hope uh, Lena had a wonderful raid. I mean, sorry, had a wonderful stream. And thank you so much for your raid. Um, I'm not sure if I'm able to see their message right now. But yeah, the, if you guys are enjoying Abyss, this is something that I um, have wanted to host for a long time. And this is uh, the third time we're hosting it. And thank you so much for the follow, Sora. Uh, let, okay, let's ha can't wait to see Cardi Cup National Champions in 2023. Dino, welcome in too. But yes, we do have the PvP Abyss. Go um, we just finished it. So now let's, going ba let's go back to... Oh wait, you have a special request? You are the Kachin? Wait, what is this? Alright, you know what? Since, uh... Since, uh, we, uh... I'm gonna pause the music real fast. Now it's again waiting for Raiden to come. Okay, nice. Toasted Toaster TV just sent you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Even though of all your hard work on playing that liar, Big Kick L. <laughs> oh my gosh, now it's time to wait for Raiden to come. But thank you so much for everybody. Hope you had a wonderful stream and welcome in everyone. I'm Cardi Dust. I do a lot of um, cosplays uh, on play a lot of Genshin Impact. And um, right now we just finished hosting our Abyss um, PvP Abyss tournament too. So uh, I'm probably going to need to finishing up some dailies on my account now. But you can play Ganyu's theme on the Liar, dude. That's mad props to you. I can cannot play any um, songs on the Liar at all. So it's really I always admire people who are able to play are like are musically talented too but okay since uh I, i'm locking on to genshin i can't believe make ball i can't believe it he basically paid at his tournament win you know i still have your password and login information right maple i am going i will be uh getting uh spending on your account at least you will get five um 50 rolls um for your yaimiko Bye, all the best for Yai Miko. Maybe if you cosplay as her, you get her. Celestion, I have cosplay as Yai Miko before. You wanna see? No, I'm kidding. I have cosplay as Yai Miko before. She is actually one of my most used cosplay um of my uh of all my Genshins right now. Let me see if I could find an image of her or probably not. Where is my archives? Anyways, probably not. Oops, oops. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, never mind. I, uh, you, you know, I'll cosplay Yamiko when she comes out. Uh, yeah, good night, good night, Celestion. Thank you so much for hopping in and watching the grand finals with us. I hope you had a wonderful um, time as well, and I hope to see you next time, even if I'm not hosting the tournament anymore. Wait, you also need dailies? Okay, well, technically, I finished my dailies earlier, Genchi, but um, I meant clear my resin. I know, so you can. Wait, you want me to do your abyss? Oh, you gotta go, Izzy. No problem. See you next time. Thank you, thank you for hopping in. Sure. Why didn't you guys want me to do your abyss? You're already nine. You already nine started. You look killing this cosplay. Oh, thank you so much, Brad Ram. I actually have a lot of uh, Gantry cosplay suit. I have a Mona Ayaka, um, Lumine, Yai Miko, and KSC Noel as well. Uh, so this um, was voted by the community because they wanted to see a Kachin cosplay today. And, um, I'm... and yeah, I just like to cosplay in general. <laughs> yes, do sure the best too, so I could, you can spawn on a secret units. You mean watch? Hey, uh, let me... you guys wanna see, uh, let me about to expose Unfriendly Casper's, um, his account right now. It's okay, Abyss reset soon. Wait, okay, let me go back here. You guys want to see something uh, very pogo? You know, um, Celestial, I don't know if you were paying attention earlier. Or uh, C Celestial Shower, if you're still here. But the way that you banned um, Kazuha... It was actually hinted that Maple had a C6 Kazuha, but I did not say much about it. And when I saw that you banned Kazuha on his end, I was just like, Oh no, that's gonna be a wasted character. Yeah. Um, so I just thank you so much for hosting this stunt. Cardi, I'm going forward. Uh, you're looking forward to me, Gulli, some resin, don't over. Oh, thank you so much, Celestial. I'll do my best. I do have work tomorrow, but I'm really glad that we only ended it at 10 p.m. Like Chop said. <laughs> that it did not go all the way to midnight. Cardi, you did great. Love the cosplay casting. Thank you so much, all of you guys. I'm very honored that you guys had enjoyed your time here as well. And I did my best to, um, basically, uh, uh, shoutcast whenever I can and it was very interesting um, having base you know it was very interesting seeing all the hyped matchups and join my discord if you haven't yet to Celestian it's usually uh, where I post my next cosplay or post uh, have a this community vote on when you guys want to see me um, or see cosplay next but yeah no problem thank you guys and what's what's a kid uh, welcome in RK and welcome in everyone um, we're gonna if someone asks for yeah, you say it says in your dreams, like she said, <laughs> just ban it all smosh. Uh, I think his Zhao is definitely C0. Ito, I helped him roll for his Ito, and it was very painful. His Yoimiya cannot be used, his Ayaka cannot be used, his Shunha cannot be used, his Yula cannot be used, but his Ganyu, these are gonna be unlocked soon, and the weapons as you guys requested. This is just a, a character flex account. He's using Amos Bow because Thundering Pulse was on Childy. Yeah. So this is, um... I guess one of the biggest well you will see on my stream. People gonna ban Maple's mains and homie gonna say that's fine. Let me hit 200k with Barbara real quick. Yeah, check your Ar Amos Bow on your Mia. Yeah, that's why Ganyu cannot use Amos Bow because it was on R2. C6, R5, Kazuha as well. Yep. This is why you don't even bother buying Attica because I know I, uh, Casper cannot use it. <laughs> and he had to ban Yeah, but he banned it on your side, Yuki. <laughs> Can't use Raiden either. He will do well in C6, R5, Abyss too. Yep. I wonder what will uh, Maple ban for you. You two have very similar characters though. People shy. I am banning your Amber, and I'm banning Lisa. <laughs> Giga Wells. Oh, for all of your new friends here, you know I was not able to show off my character list. Hey, you guys want to see? Wait, we're sharp. Hey, you guys want to see another free-to-play well? Look how cute he is. I can't. He has this up on his uh, profile for so long, and I can't believe he still hasn't deleted it yet. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your, all of your support too, Sherp. And okay, so for my, I am um, also a small whale in here. I have uh, at least one copy of all the characters, but um, 
And let's just say I am a husbando connoisseur, a husbando collector um, with uh, Jolly Chow Tartaglia and uh, Dai Luke. He's not C6 yet, but soon he will be. And for everyone else, I just have... Oh, I forgot how C1 Ito. I, uh, I might have um, wailed a bit in this game as well for Hu Tao and um, Kazuha. So, uh, I know I was um, talking a lot about uh, our competitors in the game, but... Um... Yeah. What are we looking at? Ban your alloy. I know Sherp's so cute. Best mom, best friend. Oh. <laughs> People shy. Well, Sherp is also cute, but Maple, you are very... <sighs> How do I say this? I, I mean, let's just say you already have two people wanting to hear you talk again in BC in voice chat. Oh, hey, yeah. Oh my god, that thigh look. <laughs> Rip C2 Shally, it's guaranteed now, right? All right, Um, it says, Zhenqi, um, uh, Zhenqi needs to do some, uh, clear some resin. Oh, wait. <laughs> Help with Nobilis? Yeah, I'm on my way. But, uh, yeah, so that is. The PvP Abyss Tournament. Okay, so let's get some talk. Uh, let's have some talk. How did you guys feel about it too? How did you guys feel about the tournament? Beam says he does want to have um have some feedback regarding the rules to make it more free um more fair to everyone. But for everyone else that have um participated and also were watching, what do you guys think about um about it in the end? It's been a while since I actually played on my account. I'm gonna need Kazu. Ooh. Oh, wait. Genji inviting for. Oh, Nobilis. Okay. Because then, uh, let me see. So, I do. Um, like I said earlier um, before, I do think that we need to cap the participants um, in the future to make sure that uh, we don't get like 12 matches again. Um, I was thinking. 16 participants um, will be good. And because then we're gonna have a nice even bracket from 8 matches one day and then 7 matches on the next day. It was a very pleasant experience and you hope to join it next. Yeah, Yuki, um, I know you were here for a while too, but it's very no it's, I'm very surprised to see you join this time around, um, which I'm very thankful for as well. And I'm glad that you at least had a fun experience. You lost your 50 50 because of Chi Chi? Wait, where is that song? I lost some... <laughs> I pulled a chi-chi. You enjoyed watching and it was a pretty cool idea. I'm so glad too, Catfish. And welcome in, well, uh, I mean, I mean, sorry, Alexia. And welcome in, Catfish. Yes, uh, you gotta give this some, most likely, uh, from um, friendly uh, Casper's gift bomb earlier i can't believe it even though he won the tournament he should be using uh that money on himself it's okay i'm just gonna be paying it back to his account soon the tournament was awesome gave a new perspective to your account we'll try th to join again yes boy made evil i'm so glad too um i will try to host more in the future um beam this that he wanted to um and have some more restrictions on it as well i'm not sure what he want to do with that um, but then, re I think it is a good learning experience. I mean, for your account, and it gives you a goal to work towards for, um, basically gearing your character, so making it stronger. And for all of you guys who have lost against, um, Unfriendly Casper, I want to let you know that three months ago, when I first hosted my, um, tournament, we only had four players, and he was one of it. After that first tournament, he started grinding his characters, grinding his account, um, getting hero wits and um, talent levels up for all of the 4 stars. Because you could see that his 5-star um, characters are basically almost all C6, R5. But now, since he knows that is limited, he is using uh, the 4-star characters to basically carry throughout the whole team. Wait, where's the other one? He didn't teleport this way, wow. So, if you guys um, have enough... Um, if you guys are able to also grind up your characters as well, you are also able to clear Abyss even against the 5-star DPS as well. So he did take a lot of months preparing and um, prepping for today too. 
and it was a very fun matchup in the end. You're gonna have a uh, see. Uh, wait, see which one, Chi Chi? Chi Chi's your worst nightmare. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that bad round. To be honest, it was your first competition with these uh, crowd on Twitch, so I was very nervous and shivering. No, you're totally yeah. I understand the com the competitive nerves too, um, Celestial. But you performed really well. Like you always get nervous against any competition, which is fine. That's why I want to reassure you guys. Like you know, don't get um just just calm down, especially during the pick and ban phase. And then um and you you guys wanted to mute my stream to avoid listening to my commentary. That's totally fine too. In the first or second Cardi Cup, you can remember you played on the first one, you died and lost it, and bring a healer for your child. Yeah, that too. Like, uh, Maple lost. He couldn't even clear Chamber 3. Uh, ch clear Chamber 3 in the first cup. And in the second uh, Cardi Cup, he also lost as well. I don't. Oh my god, they didn't teleport here. Wow, those jerks. He also, uh, he also was not able to. Um, clear it as well but this is the first time he is winning this and if you guys remember a uh, beam is actually the one who won the previous abyss tournament so a lot of the torn uh abyss out with the rotation in as well it just depends it just depends on which element of the abyss is currently favoring so to this time it was around hydro Cairo. but then next time it could be in your favor with your uh with your geared characters too you're now having a C6 Chi Chi? It's your worst. What character would you have won it? Well, who are you pulling for, Bad Ram? Because right now the banners up are for Zhongli and Ganyu. Were you trying to go for a Ganyu? You had to go AFK a bit, but told my streamer to raid you, Cardi. Wait, Stratos, what? Was that for Lena Lemon? <gasps> oh, wait, yeah, it was Stratos, yeah, we did get a raid by um, Lemon. I did follow them back earlier, too. But thank you so much for your support. And it was a very good experience you. Yeah, Celestial, your account is already strong, so what you need to focus on is also um, maybe artifacts or um, al alternative characters um, to work with. Cardi, you talk as if I'm an expert on this stuff. Well, you did great, fams. Um, I hope you participate. Yeah, Beam, I have a mad respect for you because you're always taking such detailed notes on all of it. And you're also, and you always give out a really good feedback. So like I said, this tournament would not have been possible if you were not here helping me too. Oh, uh, Cardi left out the part where you died and then clearing the first tourney. I didn't want to expose you like that, Mabel. I just said that you just needed to, um... You're, you are definitely needing to improve, right? Now you're having a C6, uh, Chi Chi. Oh, it's your first number. I'm so sorry to hear that bad ram. But at least you get a guarantee for your next character. We're just gonna corner all of these mages, huh? Pick and ban was nerve wracking for sure, Misha. Misha, would you be interested in the next um, tournament as well? Oh yeah, for sure. I was nervous so bad before your match. Your body was shaking. All of you guys are just shaking. Beam is low key OP. Mm -hmm. Then during the match, I'm deaf because you can't hear anything except the game itself. Ah, so close. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, <clears throat> we oh shoot, I should probably change my tile. But we finished our PVP Abyss tournament right now. I'm finally playing, uh, going back to play some Genshin on my account. Oh, whoops, wrong one. But I hope you guys are having a fun time, had a fun time watching the tournament and is enjoying your time here. You play some, well, only as being like you said, it's only for this. Um, it was only for this matchup because because abyss changes so often. Um, with every new patch and rotation as well. You'll never know. Maybe next abyss is gonna be favored towards you. Yeah, this abyss was just rough torture character. But Beam, you had a you have a very strong um, Geo team. Sometimes you just go against people who has the same um, comp. Wait, sorry, I could not read chat. Look at my small ride and damage. Okay. Sometimes you go against someone who has the same comp and draft it better. Yeah, um, I think we saw earlier as well. With as long as you target ban a character from someone, their whole team comp is completely destroyed. They weren't even able to clear, um, you know, the 
clear the chamber at all. You lost all your 50-50 to Chi Chi. You lost, um... Oh my gosh, really? Kazuha, Raiden, Ito, Ganyu, and now Jean Lee. You have two Chi Chi's in Kazuha's banner, so she is your worst nightmare. Yo, bad ram. Okay, like, this song is dedicated to you. This song is dedicated to you, my dude. Oh, Chi Chi. I pulled a chi chi. I pulled a chi chi. I'm not feeling very good. Can I get a? I pulled a chi chi. Oh wait, I think I need either books or. Was fifty fifty. Can I get a carry, please? Can someone come in? <laughs> this song is really catchy, not gonna lie, okay? <laughs> I <laughs> Let me play some Genshin songs now. <laughs> this song is just very catchy. <laughs> all your cons is very strong, um, all your opponents is very strong, and as well, you learned many cons from them. Yeah, I'm glad that all of you guys who are uh, participated had fun too, and I'm excited to see you guys next time. You came in with two teams repair and had to use Kakin. <laughs> wait, wait, Yuki, don't worry. You had Cardi Ching on your side, upset. Um, yeah. Good luck next time around. Maybe you should fill, uh, maybe you should farm more for Kachin. The first and only Kekin. You know my friends are laughing at me. I know. Thank you so much for you uh, bringing in your friends over and enjoying the hype. All of you got all of you. Wait, where's where's my where's my maple carry? Where's my sharp carry? In the oh wait, oh I as I said it. In the end, the most units appeared for Zhang Li, Shincho, and another you forgot. Zhang Li, Shincho, and Diona. Uh, Diona most likely, right? Banette, you believe? No, Banette was banned a lot. Oh, hey, nice. Chop soil, too. Jincho is very needed for Lecter because of his high hydro value. Yep. Child has it, too. Uh, but you don't have a child? Hey, how do you not have a child? He did, like, uh, let me see. Child had, like, three runs. It's time to get... That's Tartaglia then! Did you see that C0 Tartaglia by, um... By, by, um, Friendly Casper? That's why! Uh, it was, he was banned from Celestial. Okay, where's my Yunjin? Wait, what? Hmm? Wait, is this the right book? Oh yeah, it is Book of Light. GG people arrive. Uh, where's my Yunjin? <gasps> What's that song from All Shadows you wanna hear? It's called I Pulled a Chi Chi. <laughs> I heard it from, I think, Ducky's stream the, um, a couple weeks back. And it made me laugh so much that I just kept on putting that on. I wish Genshin- Yes, me too! So cool, Sue! Um, I was hoping- I really want Genshin to allow crossover so we could play with everyone from, like, you know, NA, EU, Asia, and such. It's not that bad to me, honestly. You took it all for yourself, so you're saying you don't dodge me next time, though. <laughs> I'm- It was really fun having the tournament. You got gifted the sub? Yeah. Now you're laughing as not your friend- No, Yuki! Yuki, do not say that! You still performed really well. Uh, at least, okay, let's just say, are your friends also helping you strategize next time around too? Because this, you could take this as a learning experience for the future. Your friends call me that your wife was Chi Chi? Oh, that's very unfortunate. And that's also very illegal, bad ram. <laughs> oh no, I missed. That's also very illegal. Can you guys? 
Okay. Stream comes and goes, but Cardi will always be here. Celestion, you only know me for two days, but you are ready. <laughs> You're already gonna be here in the future? Wow! You tried so many Noel comps and you couldn't even find one? Wait, Noel! Uh, why not Jolly, Noel, and Goro together and Albedo? Those four are gonna be really strong too, no? Ah, thank you so much for the follow, Ivana. Hope you had a wonderful day. Um, I'm gonna be doing some uh, condensed runs real fast. I'm probably gonna be calling it a night while there's still time for me to get some rest. You played a lot of child when you're on others' account? Hey, you wanna test out a C6 child? No, I'm kidding. Do not. I'm kidding. So, Kale, okay, oh, welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you had a wonderful day. How are you doing today, Kale? Yeah, you only have Asia account? I only have NA account, too. Noelle sucks in this abyss, to be honest. She wasn't in your book for this tournament, actually, but you drafted so badly you had to fall back on her. But Beam, your uh, Noelle team is really OP. Our Geo team in general are... But you did get target bound with Ningguan. Both your Ningguan and Albedo are, will pair, re, pair us up really well together. Oh no, both are separated. Oh man, I couldn't... Doesn't do enough damage versus all the Geo Resonance. Oh. <gasps> Oops. Oops. Don't worry, don't worry. We got a lot of food here. We're fine. Unless I kill Yunjin again. But that's not gonna happen. Because we got Chop healing me, right? Right, Chop? Chop? <laughs> With the jellyfish? Yeah, see, we're, we're okay. No one died. It takes only a minute to know which streams you love. Dang! Did it take a minute for you to fall in love? No, I'm kidding. But if your friends caught you that your waifu is Chi Chi, you'll be the child and he'll be crying. Yeah, bad run. Do not call Chi Chi your waifu. That's very illegal, man, sir. You're doing good. Lots of debut prep, but uh, and you got a lot done today. Oh, congratulations, Kale. I'm so excited for your debut too. Uh, next Friday, I will definitely beat her. We also finished our PvP of this tournament today as well. So we are just going to be running over through some resin while I can and resting up for work tomorrow but I hope that you um, are I'm glad that you got everything done and I'm really excited for your um, de uh, debut too no one was quite bad against bosses and geo complex against elemental show all oh, true dang maple just knows everyone too the new yeah the new youtuber model is really nice I think I saw a sneak peek of it as well. Oh, thank you for the sippy. I think I still have some tea left on the side. So I will be drinking that in a second. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, I also want to get my character stronger um, with all this Abyss tournament too. Nice. I need to farm a lot of bookies for the next patch. Um, shouldn't the um, live stream be soon, right? Oh wait, how come you guys are still in the tournament? <laughs> Hello? Uh, Maple, uh, Friendly Castle, and Celestia Shower are just still gonna hang out in the tournament chat room, huh? Yeah, pretty soon. Wait, oh, let me see. I think... Still 50... Oh, there's still two weeks left. So I think this upcoming weekend should be the live stream. Because they usually announce it one week before. Uh, what? Okay, I'm gonna play this. They usually announce it one week before the patch. Oh, I'm gonna fix it. Oh, my hair. So let's see on your head to go now. Seeing all you play Genshin makes you want to play too. Yeah, go get your dailies, get clear your rest, and get strong, good artifacts. And hopefully you win all of your 50-50s in the future. There is a Lanternite event um, for this month as well. So that's going to be very fun to do. Um, I don't know if they added anything new right now for the event. 
but I'll probably check it out tomorrow instead. So how many C6 characters do you have, Cardi says you seem to be a Kikiwell? See, I don't have any R5. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I do not have any R5 weapons because I do not trust um, the weapon banner. But I only have uh, three C6 characters. I have not wailed um, hard in Genshin for a really long time. Um, th so the last one I wailed for was uh, Zhang Li. So that was quite a while ago. And, and I pulled one copy for every character instead. And right now, I am saving for Yai Miko and um, Ayato. And I uh, and a lot of my um, funding has actually been going back to the tournament now. Um, a lot of the tournaments, so I slowed down on doing, you know, crazy C6 um, rolls. So no R5 for me. The only R5 weapons I have is the four stars. You need to come out, Cardi. Thank you a lot for this tournament. Um, and GG well played to all, for especially your opponents. Yeah, Celestial Shower. I'm gonna DM you um, after stream to not just you, to, but to the top eight participants to give me your login information so I could swipe on your account. And congratulations for, um, you know, getting so far ahead. You are the second place of today. Um, so you'll be getting a $50 in Primo Gents, and hopefully that will help you in rolling for your future characters too, Celestial. It took you a whole month to form um, Wanderer's Trope for Ganyu. She, I finally got her at 67 and nine, oh, 67, 196. You're so happy. Yeah, Wanderer's Trope is a very hard thing to farm because she, it's only dropped from mob, from bosses. And it's not like a specific domain you're, ab you're able to go after. <laughs> it's okay. I feel like, like I said, um, not a lot of people are able to spend in gacha games. And since I have um, some disposable income and I am, I am saving, uh, basically saving for the next Husbando character, I figure I could just spread some commu uh, some love back to the community. Watching on 760p is nice. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Because I don't know how my stream setting is actually like. Hopefully, it's all. I have a few contents I could do. Hopefully, it's all smooth for that. Yeah, so I saw some leaks for Ayato already, at least for, um, like, 2D art. His scenes has been leaked, you love- <sighs> So let's I saw a lot of fan art as well too, I've been trying. I've been trying to hold back and not look up to it. But his outfit kind of reminds me of... How do I describe it? It does not feel very Inazuma-like, for some reason. His outfit does not remind me of Inazuma style. Okay, let's do a few artifacts. And reminds me of like a Otome, Otome game style. He looks like a... Not Japanese style, but like a Victorian prince. Yeah, it feels Western. Yeah, that is. Like, very Westernized with the suit. Ah, uh, this is Nobelis Domain, by the way. Like a white suit you wear in parties. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about that just because I was expecting some uh, traditional style from... Um... Wait, hold on. This is... This is... This is... Uh, emblem domain. Uh, okay, let me actually bring an ice character then. <gasps> Lovely Lua, thank you so much for the follow and welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We, uh, uh, my title is a scam right now. We're not doing, oh, we're not doing PvP Abyss, but I am finishing up my dailies resin and before calling it a night too. <clears throat> the, a lot has happened um, the past weekend, but I'm glad that we at least finished everything in a relatively good time. Um, and I will have a lot of um, messages to send after stream as well. But it was pretty fun, I think. Despite how tired and overwhelming it was, I hope everyone had fun watching too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, please, maybe today we will get the Raiden artifact. I really want to get my Raiden stronger with how well she performed. Oh no! Uh, oh no! Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
Oh no, my carry! Sure, you're almost done with work, right? 30 more minutes? I believe in you, Chop. I believe in you. We'll just keep on uh, applying <laughs> applying Cairo. I believe in you! <laughs> Where's the C6 bar, probably five? My poor French team is so weak. That's okay, that's okay. See, we're gonna keep it stung off. And then we're gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of switching character to do this. And yeah, see? Almost done! <laughs> what? Thank you for the follow return. Hope you had a wonderful day. Are you excited for the... Are you rolling for the current banners or saving for 2.5? I'm going to treasure it. Oh, never mind. I'll just not die. It's okay, Maple. Um, you, we're, we're clearing this at a really fast pace, as you can see. Don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's almost there. Just a little second. Little bit, little bit left. By the way, Cardi, for the tournament stats, do you want to see a ghost sheet or do you want me to digest into an infograph for you first? If you want to see a sheet, you can just give me the sheet. That seems like a lot of work, Beam. I'll just go check out the sheet when I have time, too. But yeah, thank you so much for all of that work, Beam. Oh my god, Fong, that 8-hour degen. Hey, it's not degen because it's still 10.30 uh, for me. You should have been here yesterday where it was a 13-hour stream instead. Now that was real... That was the true pain. But welcome in, Fong. Hope you had a wonderful day. You just got a Zhongli the other day as well. Congratulations on your Zhongli. He is so fun to use. Or he's so safe to have. You're grabbing Diona next time? <laughs> Wait, we just need one more. Don't you guys want to have like five minutes in a clear? <laughs> what do you mean you guys don't want to spend five minutes in Abyss right now? I mean, not this. Five minutes in a uh, chamber. Yeah, my voice is gonna be pretty tired for the next few days. Hopefully I'm not getting sick though. I don't think I am. I think my I'm just tired. Damn, look at that Aya cover. See? That is uh that could have been what happened. That was like the first run. Easy. His voice is great. He's like your butler husband. Oh, what voice language do you play it? Um play him in I actually normally play my game in Chinese volume, but I know a lot of people play it in um Japanese or Korean. Not Korean. Japanese or English. Yeah, English as well. I did not meet um, the English voice actor of Zhang Li even though I had an opportun opportunity to. Instead, I met Tartaglia's voice actor, Griffin Burns, instead. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Let me look at these four artifacts real fast. But yeah, his voice is very smooth um, in English. Oh, I have no artifacts though. I'll, art, I'll upgrade that later. You need Kyra Reggie? Okay. Kyra Reggie is fine. Let us go. I kind of want to play Toma now. I am inspired to play all of these characters. If Zhongli was a Pokemon, what would his name be? Geodude! <laughs> Perpetual nerd. <laughs> I think... I, what, I do like seeing a lot of fan arts where um, people are choosing... Uh, oh my god, I didn't mean that. Wow, I didn't even need to do anything. Nice! 
I helped so much. I helped so much. <laughs> I like seeing the fan arts where people do like the Genshin and uh, Pokemon crossover. And for right now, I think I s let me see because I usually lurk on uh, Twitter a lot too. And I have mad respect to all the artists as well. And I just love seeing all the fan art. There was um one I saw recently of like the Team Rockets, but it was Kaya, Kaya, Rosaria, and Cleas Mail. Wasn't sure Maple was just flexing or actually farming. <laughs> well, who knows, Chop, because I was not there to see it. <laughs> I, w I was so helpful, you know? I teleported in and it's already dead. Gonna hit the hate boss here. Oh, good night, Epic. Yeah, I'm actually needing to go to sleep soon. Let's see. Thank you, guys. Since it's almost gonna be 11 p.m., uh, let's see who I could raid right now as well. Cause I am also getting very sleepy. I'm probably need a shower, clean up after this too. Maple, thank you again for all your gifted subs on your support and sub and um and carrying me as always. Let's see who is available right now so we could raid. Give me a few seconds while uh it's loading. Hmm. Okay. We have a lot of people up, but who? Oh, maybe. Okay, I, it's been a while, but I mean, I do want to raid TK Noodles as well. It's, I haven't raided him before, but he was hopped, um, hopped over to my stream earlier, and he was uh, very excited for the tournament too. So let me hop on over here. Wait for the ads to end, and then move over to the side. I was farming Kyrie World before Cardi asked for help, so you figure I was just finishing Cardi World. Needed to send a Rosaria. Wait, are you getting Rosaria to 8090? Okay. Um, we are gonna be putting this back here. Okay, I have a lot of tabs up, so let me slowly close them. Alright, where's my kitchen? So we can end it off with her. And we are gonna play my ending. It's been a very long stream and from yesterday and today as well uh, but for sure fuck the but thank you so much for all of your support for today oh return hello there hello there to you too i'm actually ending right now um because i uh it was been eight and a half hours it's norm this is longer than how um than i normally stream oh you couldn't chat because of verification oh no I guess I will have to see you next time then return. Um, unfortunately, I would not be cosplaying um, next time around, but stay tuned in the future because um, I'm really excited. Maybe in two weeks, you'll be seeing a certain fox make a comeback on this channel. Um, with the new Genshin patch, possibly. Uh, you damn you that she is still missing some data points, but all the important ones are there. No problem, B. I take a look at it. Um, no need to rush on finishing on doing your sheet as well. And thank you so much for hopping in to return. I'm so sorry. I did have to um, activate the two-factor authentication, but we are um, going to be ending soon. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to hang out um, in the future, I stream Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays Pacific Coast time because I'm in California. And if you're in the East Eastern time zone, then just come, you know, add... <laughs> add, add a time on for that. Uh, add a day for it. You'll be here next time. Oh, thank you so much. Jennifer has a Discord. Yes, we do have a Discord. Thank you so much for the plug, Yuki. I might be. Thank you for the stream and Tony. No problem. I will actually be messaging the top eight um, contestants, which is gonna be uh, Boy May Evil, Aaron, Beam, Celestial, Yuki, Invocart, um, Rifo, Maple. Oh, wait, Maple, I have your login. And all, yeah, all all eight of them, so I could swipe on their account. So once again, congratulations to Unfriendly Casper for winning the tournament, even though he basically put that money through subs. Maple, I'm gonna have a, I have a very strongly worded essay I need to give you later. No, I'm kidding. Also, uh, anyways, um, but then. <laughs> But thank you so much for your support um, And thank you all of the new friends that came in We had a lot of raids the past few nights as well And we are made a lot of new friends So I need to go back and check out their Twitch channels when I have the time But thank you guys for just basically being so hyped um, along with me For watching this tournament And I hope that everyone has fun Because we, I will want to host this more in the future 
Good night, Kachin. Oh, thank you for the wonderful stream card. Thank you for being here too, Alexia. And it's, yes, we're gonna go get. I'm gonna clean up, get some rest from Cardi Ching. Get a hundred and kiss me. Yeah. Unfriendly Casper has spoiled me so much throughout the past six months that we've known each other. And he always carries me through um, my account and such. I don't know how. I don't know what I did. I, what I did to deserve his friendship and also for sheriffs, but I appreciate you guys a lot too. Maybe in the next big, um, another next big subadon or so, maybe I will have another love letter to written for those specific people. But until then, until then, until then, we are gonna get some rest, or I'm gonna get some rest. I'll DM all of the top eight contestants, um, contestants as well. Uh, check out the Discord if you haven't yet, because that's where you're gonna uh, see me most of the time. And we'll uh, catch when I do announcements for giveaways, uh, streams, and um, cosplay events, and um, the next tournament too. So thank you for the Discord plug earlier, Yuki. Uh, we are gonna be raiding TK Noodles because TK Noodles is a new friend that we have um, met recently as well. And he did come over from uh, Key Lime Pie's raid the other night too and was very supportive in seeing PvP Abyss. Um, <clears throat> so it... <sighs> sorry, my voice is dying. And so here is the raid messages for uh, the subs, um, and then another raid message, uh, free raid message for um, the non subs. And hopefully, uh, you guys could join me there to spread some, um, spread some hype and love for him as well. Let's see, and because he is currently gonna be clearing abyss right now, floor twelve. Let's see how well he'll do. Since we just finished our PvP abyss tournament, let's see how he's gonna do in his abyss. So if you, um, I hope to see you guys next time as well. Thank you for all of the, um, all of the subs, all the follows, all of the biggies, all of your, um, all the lurkers out here too. I'll see you guys back on Tuesday and, um, hopefully with more fun content. Until then, I'll probably see you on Discord. Good night. Asahi ga sasu, yoru ka doko ga.